I miss you, Mai. Um, I'll just start game now. I, uh, the game capture. Oh, yeah, chapter. I mean, I didn't mean to switch to my game scene yet. So you wouldn't get voided, but alas. Uh, by slow, I mean. I don't know what I mean. I was too stupid. <laughs> Wasn't slow at all. My brain is a bit fried. I don't even know why. I got a decent amount of sleep. I crawl my Andy. How have you been? You're good? That's good. Um... Twenty thousand for attack too? Sheesh! maxing that's good uh press triangle near an enemy we are down being grabbed and you're down the enemy while your health is low triangle while running two one you're in a wall the extra drunken fist Pick that up to get rid of it. Gotta get rid of our drunkenness. Oh my god, 20,000 SP. Sheesh, okay. Can't progress with you. Can't progress with you. So all we have is robotics and the new one. Amasawa. Hey, Amasawa. You want to talk to me about something? Yes. Yes. It's about a new community. One that just recently became a part of the city's underground. Either way. Ah. So what type of club is it this time? Athletic? Cultural? No. No, it's not really a club, per se. What? It's not. Um... It's more like a safe place students made for themselves instead of school. Uh, honestly, it's what most would call a motorcycle gang. Huh? A motorcycle gang? Yes. The largest motorcycle gang in Ichicho. They call themselves Made in Heaven. I want you to go undercover among them. Might as well hear the details. Hey. What kind of people are these Made in Heaven folk? Um. Oh, another judgment game so bad? Yeah. Well, in general, motorcycle gangs fall into one of two categories, wolf packs and illegal racers. This one is a group full of illegal racers. For wolf Does packs. You mean the street racers? Yes. Uh-huh. They're obsessed with speed. They're not like the wolf pack motorcycle gangs who tend to ride around in a big group getting in the way of cars. The Made in Heaven leader has a lot of power and influence. They call him the representative. That being said... What's really interesting is how they use... As how they race using, uh, abnormal methods, even compared to other street racers. Aside from how insanely fast they go, they also perform a lot of dangerous maneuvers on purpose. In other words... It's on purpose, maybe they're testing their own bravery. True, but it's a dangerous test. The racers can do anything, like attack and interfere with each other. Yagami-san... What would be really helpful is to be investigated this third year kid who just recently joined the gang. His name is Yuma Suo. This kid has some relation to the professor? No evidence of that. But I do think someone with ill intent must have talked to him to joining. It's like he's taking a dramatic mm -hmm. turn. Dramatic? What do you mean? Suo Kun was known for his good grades and conduct. He was even a disciplinary committee leader. What does that mean? When you was the one enforcing the rules, that's the exact opposite of a kid who joins a motorcycle gang. Yes. Exactly. That begs the question, how did he get involved in gang activity? Seriously, he had a reputation around here. Other kids used to call him the Rule Hunter. Rule Hunter? Yeah, if you weren't following his, uh, school rules to the T, he'd hunt you down. He'd even go after the really wild delinquents, kids you should have been scared of. 
matter who you were, if you broke a rule, he'd show up. That's how he got the nickname. Hmm. So like that became a biker? That is a dramatic reversal. He didn't just become a biker. He, just one night, he became the representative and made, a, made in heaven. He climbed all the way to the top. What? You heard me. A leader of the school disciplinary committee, feared as the rule hunter, became a biker games representative. You never had a case like this. That's not my hypothesis. That someone else talked him into this. Someone with ill intent, like I mentioned. I see. Right. A night and day contradiction in this kid's behavior. Any ideas how he got involved? Well, well, the thing is, so Kun went to negotiate with Made in Heaven himself. Who's the leader of the school discipline committee? Based off against the gang all by himself, trying to get the other stereo students to leave. Huh? See, by himself? He didn't even blink as he stared into their souls and tore them a new one. The other stereo students said, he said, uh, you need to get the hell away from this group. Or to tell him he's gutsy or just lacks common sense. <laughs> How do the students who dedicated to rules this and become the leader? Pretty strange, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I admit this case has piqued my interest. Um. Uh, by the way, when you said undercover, you didn't mean. Yes. Of course it. Did. I hope you know how to ride, young son. Seriously. You can't be serious. But you think someone you to do while you're undercover? First, find out why So couldn't suddenly become the leader of such a band of miscreants. Very much need an answer to that question. And if you can, I want you to talk to these kids who are doing such dangerous bike stunts, trying to get them back on the right track. That's right, they're all gonna end up dead in accidents. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'll give it a try. Where do I find them? Some made in heaven guys seem to hang around Hamakita Park at night. I'll have Kento bring my father's bike to you. Can you meet him at Hamakita Park this evening? Okay, well, it's night time, we'll head over to Hamakita Park. Well, we can't do that because it's not night yet, so. I guess we're gonna do robotics for a club for a bit. Well, I thought Yagami is just drunk right now. But just letting him fucking advise these clubs while not sober. Definitely stinking of alcohol. Considering how drunk he is. Our opponent for the preliminaries has been decided. Huh? What? Who is it? Uh, Jonan Technical School. Whoa. They're one of the teams that made it through the preliminaries in last year's RE Rubber Rally. We can't underestimate them. Hey, so the prelims are friendly here, huh? That's right. Indeed. If we win, we'll be in the main tournament. Okinagawa, who's going to be in charge of the prelims? We can't show up without a leader, right? Please. Thank Yagami you. Yagami-san, can we count, uh, Yagami-san, can we count yeah. on you? Yeah, of course. That was my plan anyway. I'm the operator. Whatever happens, I'll beat the prelims. Thank you. Akira Sensei probably wouldn't have made it to the tournament. Yeah, she has no motivation to. Indeed. You're right. She's never had any interest in robots in the first place. Just the opposite. She makes fun of it every chance she gets. The other day, she just looked at the robot and said, When you graduate high school, hopefully you'll graduate from playing with those toys, too. These aren't toys. It's like she has no clue how much the world relies on robots these days. <laughs> she doesn't understand anything outside her own little world. Don't pay her any mind. <laughs> you got that, all right? Well, at least talking crap on the advisor helps them bond. Like me, son, please let me know when you're ready. The time has come for the fourth Robo Rally prelims. This is where it all goes down. Uh, Yappy? Hey. Our opponent of the prelims is Chunin Tactical School. It's supposed to be pretty tough, right? I to guess. Right. However, according to my estimation, throw out an opponent we can't beat. Oh, uh, it's exactly what we need in our preparations to be flawless. Pretty confident. Of course. 
first. Before you run out, Yagami san, this all comes down to your skills as an operator. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll win. Not like we have any other option, right? Please, thank you. Right, I'm counting on you. If you win this, I bet more members will start to trust me. Let's do this. Nah, I'd win. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I accidentally discarded it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Alright, so all of the robots are dead. Yes. Oh my god, out of my way, buddy. Not looking good. Nice. Jesus. My own guy getting in my way on what's cost us. Unbelievable! The Serial Robotics Club is top of the mighty Chonin Technical School. We could have ever predicted such an incredible outcome. The Serial High Robotics Club has now clinched their spot in the main tournament. Yay! Yay! Can ever match you make it past the prelims? <laughs> this is the Serial Robotics Club's first real achievement. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe we beat those guys in the technical school. Every one of us had a hand in this victory. No. Let's not lower our guard just yet. We've barely made it to the starting line. Come on, don't be such a buzzkill. Takamori, don't let this victory get to your head. Our objective is far beyond this. Mm -hmm. right. Objective? That's right. Our objective is to win the RE Robo Rally. Huh? Win? Huh? Us? Mm. I plan to tell you all after we made it to the prelims. This is the Serial Robotics Club's ultimate goal. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Are Dumpy Little Robotics Club actually winning? Come on. No matter how, I, how you cut it, that's some wishful thinking. <laughs> This is wishful thinking, nor is it reckless. Our milestones are perfectly aligned with the path to victory. As long as we meet each milestone one at a time, we'll get there. We'll reach our goal. You stupid. That's some serious confidence. You're actually trying to win the thing? That's one hell of a challenge, to say the least. <sighs> well, whatever. I was bored anyway. Might as well stick around to see that. I'll give it a shot. Itakura Senpai's worth the manpower of at least 100 members. And we have Yagami-san, yeah. too. Of course. I'll do whatever I can to help. <laughs> Let's go, Kurumazaki. Huh. <sighs> Oh, okay. Nah. Man, this club just doesn't seem like it's on the right track at all. Dude, we almost have focus level 5. Jesus. I guess skateboarding. Actually, I don't know if skateboarding. I don't think skate did it at all. But uh, esports was all focus. All right, today's topic's concerned development direction for the first round of the tournament. Do you know who we're up against? <laughs> Here's the tournament bracket. Our opponent in the first round is the Mega College Robotics Club. For today, I'd like to have a discussion about our countermeasures against Mega College. Strategy meeting. Let's do this. Fine, guess I'm using my whole brain for this. I have to guess. Now, they seem to thrive in close quarters tactical formations. If that's the case, we must prioritize offensive weaponry and formation breaking tactics. Well, I guess to focus on weapons development. To get us started, I prefer the parts lineup that I'd like to serve as the foundation of development. Read the schedule of milestones as well, be sure to check when you need to deliver your work. Didn't even get a chance to speak. Okitagawa. Hey, Okitagawa. What? What is it? 
you say you want to have a discussion, you know, with everyone? Indeed. What? Correct? But you had everything all decided already. What even was there to discuss? Hmm. I apologize that you misunderstood my words. The, crap? the whole point of this was just you telling us what to do. And that's the most optimal solution. The optimal solution presented itself. I think you're all bad. Man, I'm getting really goddamn tired of this. What? If you like to voice your opinion, I'm listening. What? Huh? Why are you patronizing me? Hmm. That wasn't my intent. Look at this fuck. What are the. Uh, I like the hmm. anvils they have. So, this is Okinagawa's infamous top down approach, huh? Maybe I should try to ease up tension? Okinagawa. Okinagawa, how about we have an idea meeting with everyone to go over the weapon development lineup? An idea meeting? Yeah. yeah, by hearing all sorts of opinions and points of view, it might spark an idea you never would have thought of by yourself. What they call a brainstorming session. That being said, yeah, there may be one of them, um, uh, maybe more of a brain scattered session. Besides, I reviewed the lineup countless times. Well, you never know till you try it. Why not give it a shot? Yes. Very well. If you insist, the Agni song. Great. Listen, there are all kinds of rules for brainstorming. But the most important one is never deny another per another's opinions. Instead, dive in, try to expand them. Got that? Mm. Denying bad. Yes, I understand. Yeah, anyone want to share a thought? Excuse me. Oh yeah, actually I was just thinking, wouldn't projectiles be badass? That way you can wreck the enemy from a distance while lining up for a block, right? No. What? Project it. Excuse me? With the radio controls as they are, achieving delicate handling will be difficult. Even if you aim, the line of sight would shift and the bullet would miss its target. Actually, even Mizuzaki, the previous operator, tried ranged weapons, but it was highly impractical. <laughs> Damn it. And now Kitagawa, shooting down someone's opinion during brainstorming sessions against the rules. Mm -hmm. Right, this is quite hard. Mm -hmm. Hmm, what should we do? This is the counselor. Should I see this meeting and get them inspired? I expand on Takamori's range weapon idea. I'll ask the ones who haven't said anything yet. It's Akura. It's Akura. What are your thoughts on Takamori's range weapon idea? Mm. Well, like the guy was said, I think it'd be hard to hit the target. In that case, why don't we adjust it so it still hits with a broad range? What do you mean by that? If having a hard time with a single shot, make it rapid fire like a machine gun. Make it rain hard enough, and they're bound to get wet, you know? Oh, I get it. Impressive thinking, Unicura Senpai. And how about a shotgun? It should hit with a broader range, since the shot will spread out. I suppose. Good call. That could work, hey. too. That's what they put on the table. What do you think, Okitagawa? <laughs> Never considered that point of view? It might work quite well. Let's, ranged, uh, let's add ranged weapon development to our lineup. Going surprisingly well. Hey. Like more, what are your thoughts? Does it even matter? I'd never say okay, the guy will just reject it. If you have a sufficient argument, then by all means. My opinions are brainstorms forbidden. Yeah. I don't really have any other opinion. I didn't even mean to talk to him. I hit the wrong button. Uh, Sucker could do you have any thoughts? Huh? Me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rack my brain if it comes to mind. I was clutching his head earlier. Rumazaki! What's your opinion? I. Huh? Uh, uh, well. well. I really want us to have cool yeah. weapons. I'll take you in my mm. cool weapons. I think if we attach some blue lights and made it transform while it lit up. Well. Understand how you feel, so we don't have the funds for that. Rather spend them on something that will increase chances of winning. Sorry. Sorry. No, no don't apologize for using your mind while we're brainstorming. It's important to be able to voice your opinions without being afraid of screwing up. If we have your ideas may be totally out there, that's fine too. We try not to reject the ideas out of the gate, instead, go with it and try to expand <laughs> on it. You see, that doesn't make sense. So cool weapons. Let's book more Kuru Mozuki's idea for now uh, while we think. Ew, that was a workout for my brain. I'm beat. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. We got some solid ideas in the weapons lineup, I say. Uh, indeed. Let's finish off this lineup with ranged weapons like machine guns and uh, shotguns. We should have been listening to me from the start. I got them all pretty amped up. Awesome. Teamwork moment. Everyone pitching during our brainstorming with me. How embarrassing. It's nothing to be worried about. Huh? We're all better at some things than others. Put your effort in programming instead. Right. Yagami son. Yeah. Scrimmage. Okay, we got a new battery. We don't have the wires for it though. We have new motors. Modules for ranged attack and ammo. 
and retaliatory reduction. Range damage reduction. Shark Drill version 42. Right, we got a spider shot, shotgun I'm gonna assume, an MG Firefly. Master grade, I wish. Machine gun. This is the people you actually fight and beat, and then these are the extras. We'll have a practice match so we can get the ranged weapons. They're fucking killing my guys. Easy, actually. Yagami son. are balance only. Okay, so guns can't be used by mobile types. Interesting. So that works out for you. Need rusted electrical wires. Oh, 
None of them have. Okay. Where do I get rested electrical wires? Blast judgment robotics. Be where I get parts. page material slash other uh, see That's not happening anytime soon. Yeah. how I like slid in. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yeah, we literally win. Yes. <laughs> that was the fastest robotics match I've ever done. Built a straight line to the fucking base. Excellent. We collected some useful data from this match, too. Hey, Okinagawa. It's, if it's cool, look over these parts again. I think we can make some modifications. Takamori. How long do you expect it will take? Mm -hmm. Half a day, maybe? Looks like your schedule's about to open up, so you should have time for now. All right, you can go ahead and look modifications. Yeah. Right to that. Okinagawa's been listening to everyone's opinions a lot more than before. Could it be because of the brainstorming Good session? Senpai. Uh, Itakura Senpai, how's this? Not bad. Yep, now you've got Yay. it. Yay, thank goodness. Everyone seems more cheerful, cheerful than they were before. Are Masaki good? Are the designs coming along okay? Uh. Oh, yeah. Are you, all in, are you enjoying the work? Mm. Just doing my best. Right. Get a pretty good read on Okinagawa, Takamori, and Sakura Kun. I need more time getting Kuru's, uh, Kuru Masaki to open up. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yagami San, would you mind stopping uh, by the club room sometime? Got some new dirt on the thieving robot incidents. Uh, some new dirt? Nothing want to hear about that. I'll invite you to curl to it. This will be a good chance for to come back to the MRC. Itakura. Itakura, why didn't we head to the MRC room? I must have some new info to share with us. Huh? Me too? Is that a choke? You know, show up. You're basically letting Kento Kun win. Doesn't that bother you? Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll tag along, but I've got some business to handle first, yeah. so go on ahead. blocker soon I know it I feel like oh you need to progress the story more I'm gonna be like but I don't want to this is the story hmm the curse still isn't here I hope she, uh, hope she shows up mm. who knows after what happened last time we could blame her 
mind, she's right here. Hey. Well, here I am. This is a seat you do. I've acquired some new information regarding the thieving robot incidents. What is it? I see we'll get a picture of the robot in question. Was that it? Yes. It was it was up on social media. When it seemed to have snapped a photo. By analyzing the information, it seems like the robot's more powerful than it was before. As it runs away, it spews out a smoke screen, even disperses caltrops from its oh. rear. The spiky balls ninjas throw when making a getaway? Yes. That's right. Likely a countermeasure in case anyone chases after it. Do you, Kara, do you think the Serio Robotics Club would be able to install functions like those with everything they know? No. That's an impossible task for them. They're kind of a second-rate robotics club. From what I hear, that thief spot's supposed to be pretty agile. That sort of control program is extremely complex. I might fare better, but it'd be impossible for Okinagawa or Sakura. In other words... I mean, the Serio Robotics Club would have one heck of a skill barrier to face. Excuse me. One more thing, you're gonna be silently take a look at this picture. Are we able to see a bolt? The bolt on this part? Mm hmm? Yes. Bolt. Does it look like a cherry blossom mark on the head? No way. Are those the custom bolts the Serio Robotics Club bought? Yes. Yes, if they're indeed one of the same, you may be, need to be more wary of the Robotics yeah. Club. Actually, Emma Saw, can I get the data for this picture? What? what are you planning to do? Ask the Robotics Club about this. Huh? huh? So soon? Won't that make them suspicious? There's this first year named Sakura-kun, and I remember, remember he's the well, he's the one who always opened up the most. Is that anyone who could trust, uh, we could trust to keep a secret? It'd be him, right, Itakura? Mm hmm I can definitely see that. Very well. I'll say it again, but please be careful. Let's just talk to him. Hey, soccer can you got a minute? Huh? Huh, what's up? Wanna grab some tea with Ida Kerr and me again? Yay! Yay, sounds great! <laughs> I'll go buy some snacks. Ah, oh, boy, you really don't have to do it's that. Ida Kerr, let's head up to the yeah. cafeteria. I love that, that voice line. Yay! Itakura Senpai, I bought potato chips. Even got your favorite flavor, Konsong. <laughs> Not bad. How sweet are you? Alright, so I'm gonna be a drink too and make it ginger ale. Yes! <laughs> okay. Let's go, I'll cover it. Price is no object. Ah. Well, fine. I suppose it's a necessary expense. Yay! Hey. Yay! Anyway, soccer cut. I think you can take a look at this. I'm sorry? Alright, uh, what is this? It's a thief bot that's been the talk of the town lately. Huh? What? A thief bot? Mm. I heard rumors about it, but this is the first time I'm seeing the real thing. Huh? This robot. Mm. What's up? I think I've seen a robot like this before. What? You have? Where? Uh, um, um, well... Huh. I remember. The robotics club room. What was that? Seriously? Do you know that locked cabinet in the room? Inside of the blueprints the robotics club has made over the years. The president looked me, let me look inside before. I think I saw a blueprint for a robot with an arm just like that. I'm sure about this. Mm. I don't know if it's identical, but it looked very similar to the robot in this picture. That the robotics club wouldn't even know how to make a thief bot. It could have sold the blueprints to outsiders. If that was the case. <laughs> Suspicions are mounting, hey. huh? Darker Kun, who has the keys to that locked blueprint cabinet? Just the club president, Okinigawa. The robotics club's most important assets are its ideas. For years, the president has always been the one regularly, who regularly manages them. That means Okinigawa is the only one who could have pulled out the blueprints. Lock the cabinet. If I can take a peek inside, that'd be definitive proof.
Amiibo Labo. The Nintendo Labo. Inside that locked cabinet are all the blueprints their box club has drafted over the years. Probably wouldn't look good as their counselor just unlocked on my own. Yagami-san! No matter, Yagami-san? Nope. No, nothing at all. Oh, well, alright then. Just need to stand and cover in the box club and see what else I can find out. Lock me parts. Gleaming aluminum clean electrical wire. Noble Valor 2, Noble Valor Type 7. XO5 and XO7. Guys, this comes. This has a built-in AI. Mama bot, daddy bot, and baby bot. I'm so far behind on batteries. I'm not getting wires. But, they seem to be fine without them, for the most part. Nice! Nice. Go! Yes! Yes! Nice! Go! And that's the most optimal solution. There we are. Perfect. Now we're ready for the main tournament. Okay, to go. That's probably the first round, huh? Oh, that's you. What about you? Okay, to go. You got a moment. Akira uh, Sensei, what is it? You're here too, Yagami Sensei. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Huh? An acquaintance of mine happens to be a police officer, and they asked me a curious question. Police officer, don't tell me. There have been reports of frequent thefts in each show performed by robots. Those are Vox Club Advisor, they asked if I could get your thoughts on the matter. Not a suspect, simply for reference. When this acquaintance described the thieving robot, and it got me thinking. I might have seen it before. Hmm. This isn't good. Hey. That cabinet. You recall allowing me to see the documents in there previously, yes? One of the blueprints I saw at the time looked rather similar to the thief bot. <clears throat> Akira Sensei, what are you trying to say? Don't worry, I haven't said anything to the police yet. Good grief. But you should know this is trouble for me. In the event you were acting unfavorably, it'll fall under my management responsibility. What? You don't know anything. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? Because I think it'd be better for you if you were just honest with me. What? You gotta be kidding with me. Not going well. Now what do I do? Excuse me. How can I say today? You said you haven't gone to the police yet. Does that mean you're planning on going on to them now? Mm -hmm. It all depends on the members of the right attitude. Huh. Attitude? What are you saying? The robotics club must disband. On top of that, if you get rid of that blueprint, I won't say a word to the police. That's so? Looks like you think the robotics club is guilty. But if 
you're making statements like that, when that's your actual stance, you've essentially instigated a box club to tamper with evidence. Huh? Tamper? That's a vicious thing to say. <laughs> you know, I can say this guy's a lawyer. You probably don't want to say anything stupid. Huh? Uh huh? Uh, a lawyer? Former lawyer. Either way. Just for the record, if you don't disband, I'll tell the cops, is a textbook threat. Teacher threatening her own students, suggesting they tamper with evidence, that's not a good look. What's going what? on? We are done here. Anyway, all I'm asking for is their uh, all I'm asking is for the products club to not do anything Crying stupid. Robots are just toys at the end of the day, play with them in the club room. Ha! <laughs> 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 Rakuta didn't have shit to say to that. <laughs> she went white as a ghost when Yagami san gave his counter argument. This feels so great. Yagami san! Thank you, Yagami-san. She doesn't seem to resp uh, respond to reason, so we always struggle with her. <sighs> I'm angry. hate hearing our robots being called toys. Mm -hmm. Mizaki-kun. We need to win this tournament. <sighs> right. Let's show her what robots can do, so she'll never call them toys Let's again. Yeah, you said it. Let's show that crummy teacher what's up. Yeah, I'm getting all fired <laughs> up. Sweet and simple, this bunch. Guess we got a lucky break. I could have sent same to bring everyone together before the main tournament. Dr. Like Misan, let me know when you're ready. We'll head to the first round of the tournament. Level 5 focus. Man, I never knew, I never knew Yagami Sun was a lawyer. That whole Akira Sensei thing was like out of a movie. <laughs> well, we had Yagami Sun from the get go. Elephant Cannon Alpha. As always, you must save just in case. I don't think we'll lose. Do 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 do. We're finally here, round one of the RE Robo Rally tournament. Uh, a battle between Serio High Robotics Club and Mega College Robotics. Are you nervous, Kurumazaki Kun? Yes. Yeah, Mega College is a tough opponent. Plus, this is the first time we made for the main tournament. Up till now, we were lucky enough to lose in the prelims. Now we're suddenly cunning to win the thing. Alright, that's enough talk. It's starting. Now we're ready to kick things off. Let the robot battle begin. Espa Arma Scudo. Nice. All right, that's one dead. Yes. That's two dead. Nice. Yes. Son of a. Go. Looking good. Oh damn, they're gunning after me. Well, they're all dead now, so. And I win. Pathetic. Amazing! Stereo High Robotics Club comes out on top. They made it through the first time of the tournament. <laughs> we won! This is so cool! Now I'm starting to believe we can actually win. So you're the Stereo Robotics Club? I'm Rikio Moriaki, president of the Toto College of Science Robotics Club. Huh? Toto College of Science? Last year's champions? Huh. Champions? Well, that's pretty impressive. So 
way more than impressive. They've been undefeated three tournaments in a row, and they're favorite to win this time, too. Serious? Really? So this came out of nowhere. Our president just wanted to say hi to the up-and-coming Serie Robotics Club. Oh, I'm Hisako Sakamuro. Nice to meet you. By the way, I checked out your match earlier. You're an interesting bunch. It'd be nice if we could take each other on sometime. If that's your wish, I'm sure it'll be granted. <laughs> At least, in the finals. Whoa, so you guys are shooting to make it to the finals? Yes. Yes, we'll be there. That's a promise. You will, huh? Guess you're pretty confident. That's cool. Except, well, I don't think we'll end up facing each other in the finals. What? What? I don't think you really get what this competition is all about. Oto College of the Science Robotics Club. Last year's winner. Winners, huh? If we're on their radar, must mean we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Traps. For now, we just need to focus on winning our next match. Team we're going for. Ooh, big SP. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna hit a block now. Okay, we're good. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, we hit a block. Well, we no longer have a choice. It's main story time. The hand of fate has forced us. Everything is literally blocked by main story right now. Wait, that's not true. There's one club that's not main story locked right now. It's only stat locked. And that's the dance club. There is still hope. Pretty sure just doing uh, the dance club mini game gets me appeal, and we are close enough. But I don't think it would take that long. energy drinks, huh? Got a song in mind? Which step got a song in mind? Go ahead. Yeah, we do got an S rank though. Which step should we work on? You got breaking. Here goes nothing. 
Trying to cover that last bit. Ah, I'm so close to an S rank. I can taste it. Got a song in mind? Okay, let's go. to play the guitar for a bit. I wish Square and X were an or Square and X. Oh, we did it! This was an S rank! And we got a peel level 3. Uh, I wish X and Triangle weren't next to each other in that rhythm game. It's so stupid. That's him. Excuse yeah, it's me. like a. Hey, Kamigata Sensei, right? Huh? You like me, son? So are you back because you changed your mind? Plan to start helping your club out mm -hmm. again? Thought maybe, but ugh, I still don't have an enemy. Just thought of him dancing. Oh, my gut's already churning. <laughs> you alright? Give me some. You can have this. I don't know, think I have the stomach for it anymore. Damn it, light and energy drink. Uh, thanks. Uh, bye now. Good boy. Hey there, dance jam, uh, dance jam prelims are coming up. Yes. Hi, Yagami-san. Uh, yeah, this will be huge for the rabbits. We're going to be up against the strongest competition we've ever faced before. That includes Norizuki's crew, right? Eventually, yeah, but they're a seed school. They get to advance straight to the finals. That's why we can't lose at the prelims. Let's do our best. So, how about we take this all the way to the finals, huh, rabbits? All right. You can see you're running a show of confidence. I'm sure Norizuki had something to do with that. I'm going to step up to my, step my own advising game to make sure they get through the finals. Time for the new song. Got a song in mind? Esmeralda. Go ahead and pick a costume. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. What do you think? What do you think? Got a song in mind? Let's see what this silly little idol outfit looks like. Okay, let's go.
combo. Describe it as, as like when you see bots like that, you're like, damn, that's someone whose account got hacked. It's like seeing ghosts. Uh, man, this new song tempo's uh, this new song's tempo is nuts. I think I'm too exhausted to dance anymore. Uh, I still need to go through it a bunch more times before I'm even close to memorizing. So the rabbits are struggling a bit. We are. This new song is really hard. I think the first years are having an especially tough time. Does that mean Yuri is gonna end up winning Dance Jam? What? No. No way is that happening. <laughs> right. I'm counting on you. Don't you go losing to her, okay? Hiragi Senpai, thank you so much. I'll make you proud. Sacred Rot. One Mountain Dew bot. I wonder if that thing is still going around. God, I hope not. Ah, this is so hard. You okay? You don't have the moves down yet. I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble keeping it all straight. Mm. I can understand that. You've been dancing for as long as some of the others. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Captain, let's huddle up after this. Yagmi san, could you join too? Sayaka, it's about Katashina-san. I think her tune might be beyond her. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that too. It's kind of clumsy to begin with, and she gets really nervous. If she messes up during finals, mm. we'd be a laughing stock. I've been thinking, should we try a new formation without her? Huh? What? I mean, we can't afford to lose uh, this most of all, Sayaka, you know, the thing. That's, uh... But we've all been trying so hard. At any rate, this is the captain's call. Nishizono, you know what you want to do? Yes. Something by, you're gonna help us with practice. What? Just watch this practice. I'm not watching the video, I'm practicing. Got a song in mind? Okay, let's go. And one and 
two. Full combos in a row. I almost had to sneeze in the middle of that, and I was really scared. I was not going to be able to mute. Excuse me. Um, Yagami san and Maria and Mikey, and talk to you guys about Katashina san. Make up your mind. Yeah, when it comes to our lineup for dance jam prelims, we're not changing the formation one bit, even if it means we lose. What? But Maria. Maria, the rabbit's motto is dance like nobody's watching. Winning may be important, but even more important is that we enjoy our time dancing while we can. I'm playing the fucking Yakuza sub story music. We will Kanashina Sun now. It take everyone's spirits. None of us would enjoy ourselves, and our routine would probably be lifeless. Hi, Eka. But. Would you really be okay with losing? What about Hiragi Senpai? I won't like it, that's for sure, but I just can't turn my back on any of our fellow rabbits. That's not what a captain does. You're right. Sorry, Sayaka. I just got caught up in your situation. Okay, Maria, you help me remember what matters here. Okay, team. Well, that's it for the announcements, everyone. Let's work harder than ever and nail this routine. So, it's more important to enjoy the dance than to win it, is it? it doesn't sound like the kind of girl who'd try and get her competition kneecapped. Or could it? Dance practice. Let's rabbit it up. Let's freaking dance. Got a song? Go ahead and pick a costume. Yeah, nice. What do you nice? Got a song in mind? Okay, let's go. I fucked that up because my brain once again thought X was square. But when you go left from triangle, you hit square. You know, I think I've got it. Yeah, it was like impossible before, but now it's almost simple. Ah, I think we finally nailed the whole thing. Looks like we're ready for the meat, but no time to spare. Oh, Hiragi Senpai. You look busy as always. Well, Dan Champ prelims are almost here. All right, that's really soon, isn't it? In that case, maybe we ought to wait until that's over. Huh? Wait, why? Why? Well, if there's something I need to tell you, but I shouldn't take your... If there's something I need to tell you, I shouldn't take your mind off the meat. <laughs> Can't have us both being nervous. What? Wait a minute, shut up. Uh, shut up. Were you just gonna ask her out just now? Huh? 
Oh, uh, I really don't want to make a scene on this. Anyway, hit me up after the prelims, all right? Yargi Senpai and the captain would make such a cute couple. Uh, couple? Couple. Uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll actually happen one day. Oh boy, what do I do? Great. Wish the kid hadn't run his mouth like that for prelims. Can he wait until Nishizono wasn't so pressured? Um, we should head out, so, uh, we should head out soon whenever you're ready. SP 12,000. That help. I don't need... Well, I do need help, but not that kind of help. Not the kind of help you can offer me, Judgment. Uh, dance me! So, this is where they're holding prelims this year. Amazing. It's huge! And we get a dance here? Awesome! Ah, mm -hmm. uh, boy, they really do it up for nationals, don't they? We're so close to the finals, I don't even know what to say. Do our best. Don't worry, we're gonna blow them away. <laughs> and you've got something else you can use to occupy your mind, don't you, Captain? Hey! Ah, I can't think about that right now. We're really gonna compete in a national meet on the same day Yuri and Noriyasuki is supposed to get attacked. Hmm. Find out who Dancing Bunny is before that happens. Which song now? It's freaking dance. We're up. Yeah, my nerves are starting to get worse. You guys, you're gonna be fine. You all are. From what I've seen so far, you just need to go up there and nail it, and you're headed to the finals. Plus, the moment the music starts, whatever's on your mind just disappears. All that's left is the routine. Okay, team. Come on, rabbits, it's go time. Huddle up. Smile, spirit, spunk. Go. I love the, like, dramatic intro of him sitting down in the audience like a disappointed parent. Oh my god, how did my hand fall off the controller like that? I might have S ranked if I didn't fuck it up there. Great job, girls! Crushing it. Did you see that, Yagami son? final winner of this year's National High School Dance Jam. The team is moving on to the finals. We'll be competing for the top dance club in the country. Here we go. The last team we move on to the finals is... The Serio Rabbits. It's Serio High. We already knew that. It's a video game. What? Oh my god. We really did it. Come on, Sayaka. We did it. We're going to the finals. We're almost teamwork level five. 
guys. Great job, everybody. You all put so much hard work in this, and you really killed it up there. Still can't believe it. We're actually going to compete for national champs. Saikachan. That was amazing, Saikachan. Couldn't take my eyes off you the whole time. <laughs> then fire here. Of course, I promise, remember? <sighs> oh, yeah, remember? Free now? I got us reservations at a Swinky Cafe. Really? Ooh, I can't wait. Let me say bye real quick. Bye, guys. See you at practice. Hey, want to know something, Yagi-san? I just convinced Sayaka to tell her Yagi-san how she really feels about him. Huh? You did? What about her deal with Norizuki? Huh? What about what now? Ah. Oh, damn. You weren't here for that, Maika. You already know Yuzuki cut a deal with Sayaka. Whoever wins Dan Sham gets to confess her love for Hiragi Senpai. What? Why? Is that for real? Uh, does that mean I should have done the thing I did? Hmm. Well, I guess there's no stopping true love. Besides, she knows how Hiragi Senpai feels. We just gotta let things run their course. Ah. Hope everything pans out alright. Can't wait for to find out he's got a secret American girlfriend. Where's uh, Nishizono? I guess she didn't come to school today. Uh. That's odd. I wonder what happened. No clue. She even had perfect attendance until now. I'm trying to reach her and see what's up. Nothing so far. It's kind of concerning. Mm. Maybe something with here. Uh, something, something happened with Hiragi Senpai. But yeah, they went out together after prelims, didn't they? I hope things turn out. Maybe, okay. maybe things went too well with Hiragi Senpai. Now she doesn't care about the rabbits anymore. No, not her. Yeah. No, not her. Who knows? Especially with a good, especially with good girls like Sayaka. Uh. Looks like it is. Anything can happen. Okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, I am concerned about her, though. It's not like her to leave the club hanging all alone when this close to a meet. Hmm. I'll have to wait and see if she comes to practice. Guess so. Let me guess. Appeal 5. Appeal 5 and main story progress. Okay. Well, it's finally time for main story progression. Fucked up as it is. I need empty extract vessels. Chance of life, boon of fire, can't get. Energy ball. Unyielding wave. Telekinesis. Lightning blade. Yoko 99. Yokohama 99. I don't know why I just said Yoko 99. surrender and look at that that was a thousand sp just a free quick 30 1000 sp
so slow with his attack. I can't fight them. At least you can keep grinding. I don't like how it kicks you off. You can get grinding and uh, skating. Wow. Not a single one of them. But I got the extra one. Or 10,000 points in section jam. When 16 times at the esports club game? Come on, bro. You only have to fucking do it five times. I gotta win four times though taking damage. In a first round KO. Oh jeez, okay. That's probably gonna take a lot of grinding. Build parts and then win. Just complete the song over X amount of points. Ooh, the second floor. I wonder how much money I'm gonna get from the cat statue. Kaito-san wasn't happy about you going solo, you know. Eh, he live. He can cry about it to Sugiura. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice Skenda Law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Fascinating, if not perplexing. Yeah, and its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? <laughs> Already done, I'm afraid. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the school I could find. If memory serves, he was a third-year student who hung himself at home. The name of the deceased, Toshiro Ehara. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So, I was right before. No mistake in it, that's the same person as the photo on Sawa-sensei's desk. His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully, and promptly took Serio to court. But without enough evidence to back it up, system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Huh? <laughs> What's that sound? 
I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. Thought I fixed this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> Perhaps that was a bit of hyperbole. But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi, do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Oh yeah, that was a real trip. I pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep, and this system I've developed is a souped up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? We'll start with this little window. It displays all relevant chatter posts after filtering the fluff. And these posts are all pinpointed on this map of Ijincho? Right. It maps out where in Ijincho each specific The Arachnid Man? Spider-Man? So oh my god. constantly combs through chatter's database as it updates in real time. Then it extracts only the trouble-related chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I read the chatter post by Good Boy. Arachnids sexually reproduce, but their peepees must be so tiny. Matter for display on the map. That's me screenshotting that. So it actively seeks out trouble. Oh my god! It's wild that you can program around such a vague concept. Well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah. Since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have the kind of rep that brings in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. Buzz, buzz. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment. But directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. Uh, at least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. <laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. <laughs> you sure cracked that case quick. Anywho, let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honors? Go right ahead. And that should do it. No, actually, I won't let you install okay, your proprietary app, but I have no idea how to install onto my phone. Um, this is just a big mess. How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm, this is indeed too much noise. In fact, this is entropy in motion. This won't do it all. To solve this, we narrow down the keywords. In other words, simplify our search? Yeah, by manually filtering keywords, we can decrease false positives, thereby locating the right spot more accurately. How do we do that? Does the AI do it for us? No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords Why is that guy's... Emphasis here on the word... Chatter enemy. name. Meaning, it turn out bugs every now and again. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. And therein lies the predicament. To narrow these results down any further, we must depend on instincts, experience, and even inspiration. So you're saying human intuition? <laughs> Precisely. Even in this day and age, human intuition will trump AI every time. So true. That is, until we all become cyber. Humans beat AI. But that's getting ahead of myself. As it stands, Yagamishi, You've got the best intuition out of all of us. Well, let's just start with a post that smells like trouble. Who is good boy? Some other random chatter. 
How about this one? I oh, smell the trouble brewing already. Oh, interesting. Then let's filter our results around that specific term. And there you have it. See, there's a concentration of suspicious keyword usage on this street here. As to what sort of trouble office. is brewing, you'll have to rely on your good old-fashioned eyeballs. Boy's the one who says Iraq can sexually reproduce, the but the peepees spot, must be so, so tiny. Maybe think of it as a sort of treasure hunt. A treasure hunt for trouble, huh? Does sound right up my alley. <laughs> Doesn't it? I can already picture you out there, helping people in need until it all pays off. What could await you at the end of the trail? My heart rate is already spiking. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. Hey, you know what? That reminds me. I also have a gadget here you may find useful. Can't always be glued to your phone, right? What is this? It's a high-end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. A sound collector, huh? I could use this to pick up cries for help. Or even eavesdrop all over town. <laughs> or even eavesdrop. That's the idea. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a trouble terminator. <laughs> I could use Guess this I to hear cries from wanted. hell, or just snoop on people. Now, I do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. Listed on pacemakers. Oh yeah, you hear that? That guy's hurt. Doing not doing too bad. Go all the way over there, huh? Okay. Stay down. Uh, all right. Should not have turned into the Gobi Journal. Skateboard is faster than a car. He did that on his own. I didn't hold the button down at all. A chatter about hearing Rackman Man's groans around here. I think. Need to figure out what's up with the groans coming from above. Gadget Sukumo Gaming will come in handy. There it is. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Fall? What the? That came from somewhere above me. What's that? Is, is that a person? Yipe, I'm about to fall. I can't hold on. I'm gonna need to help him now. Well, uh, look, if you look carefully, there's a series of uncharted. Naughty dog, uh, pipes that I can climb. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh, I can't make it. Excuse me. Hey, you okay? Huh? Who are you? Where are you here? I saw you from below. Came to help you. You saved. How did I ever let my hand slip? Wow, thank you so much. Come on, what's all the commotion? Eek! 
What's going on? Please. Oh, you guys in here? Listen, could you call for help? Don't tell me you're the Arachnid man. Wait, there are two of you. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. Excuse me. Uh, it's a bit dangerous out here. So, do you mind if we come inside? Uh, sure. Dude, that was close. Thanks for letting us in. Letting letting us in, man. What the hell? Why are you two out there so high up? Yagami. I'm Takuyuki Yagami, a detective. Yep. A detective? Yeah, you see, as I was walking along, I saw this person about to fall, and... Okay. Uh, my apologies for causing a scene. My name is Shinotaro Tamai. And I'm Yutori Okachimachi. By the way. Oh, Tamai-san? What in the world are you doing out there? <laughs> oh, uh, well, that would be... Actually, I was birdwatching on the roof, and I just took a wrong step. Mm -hmm. You were birdwatching. Oh. Yeah, because the thing is, I heard there was a rare bird living around here. Rare bird, huh? Which one would that be? Um, well, a swallow? Huh? A swallow? Ah, <laughs> They think swallows are common. Well, you know, it's a white one that's fine from a spontaneous mutation. Found someone talking about it on social media, so we came here right away. Your acting man does bird watching? Something's off about this. You guys in this apartment building? You're not, are you? Just a minute ago, you said someone was talking about this bird on social media, so you ran over here. Oh, haha, very impressive. The detective, you're a sharp one. Apartment has an auto lock, so how'd you get in? Er, well, that's. And the door to the roof is locked most of the time, so you managed to get up there. Uh, well, that's because I did the same as you, detective. I climbed up the wall of the apartment. Climbed up, just to do some bird watching. Y yeah, I love birds so much. So, the Arachnid Man everyone's talking about, is that you? Yes, it does seem there are a lot of rumors about me. I want to bird watch from high places, on the buildings the city allowed non residents in. But I've been climbing up the walls. The color Arachnid Man is just a nerdy bird lover, so it doesn't make any sense. Pretty suspicious. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Swallows are migratory birds. Shouldn't they be overseas right now to pass the winter? <laughs> huh? Granted, this is from the internet, but swallows who pass the winter in Japan are usually in the western region. It's like they'd be pretty rare here in the Kanto region. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They're very rare here, which is exactly why I wanted to see one. Huh. Yeah, I see. You didn't think to yell and get help from the residents inside? <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess I could have done that. I didn't think of that. Pretty suspicious. Well, this is fishy as hell, it's not gonna have any evidence. I don't have any evidence, I should back down, but times like this, oh, sometimes helps to just observe. Most of my controller drifting. Ah, it had to be exactly what we were all thinking. Suspicious. Can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Something else was detective? Not in your back pocket <laughs> there. This is, uh... I know what they are. They're panties. Ew, are those? Uh... This be yours, okay, uh, Munchy son. You saw my best panties have gone missing. I see. Here's you fell when you were stealing panties. Fuck <sighs> the police. Yeah, saw them not so fast. No oh, way. great. Oh, great. Die. I should have killed him normally. He didn't deserve that. Deserve to go out so gracefully. I was gonna be the next Professor Panty. I know all about Professor Panty. Cut him myself. Took him down. I really wish I had him. That's oh, great. Great to the end. Honestly, you pale in comparison. You'll never rush up to him. Was it worth measuring up to? Are you forgetting that thief? Yep. It's happy to help. You're a yep. detective. You're working at Kamurocho and taking a work here at Fijicho too. I'm currently working out of a detective agency called Yokohama 99. Feel free to contact me if you're ever in trouble. Going around helping people while also promoting your business. Smart. I get it. Well, next time there's someone I know in trouble, I'll make sure they find their way to you. Yes. Another, another case closed for now. Another penny thief case. Wish it wasn't. Yeah, 
Get up. Really, guys? here for the materials, the new battery, the robotics club. I don't have to do it anytime soon though because we're main story locked, but who knows how long. Why is my controller struggling to connect? Every time I just swerve like I'm drunk. It's because it's my controller not connected. No. My controller briefly, like, he said me. What a waste. The problem with the boxing stance is it doesn't help uh, help you get SP because you don't get any SP bonuses from fighting and boxing like you do in the other stances, DLC stance. So I actually never want to use it. <laughs> I want SP. Wow, I'm already at 30,000. I just get almost 1,000 for... Yagamishi, how was your first outing? Not bad. I handled the problem and name dropped you guys, so all in a day's work. <laughs> awesome. Sounds like the system's working gangbusters. By the way, if you'd like a little pro tip, you can enter keywords on your own, independent of any post. Why would I do that? Say you pick up a rumor in town, or hear someone drop a dubious phrase. Putting that into our keyword database will help refine the results algorithm. I see. And thus, the program becomes more effective. In layman's terms, the more you enter new data, the more my program can learn. Gotcha. So this thing can hone its street smarts along with me. Correct. Do make use of the system often, if you could. Uh... Fire keywords used in the filter can be fired from chatter posts or conversations with people in the city. Upon the server search for keyword, keyword required will pop up. I know this is a lot, but one last thing. We've also got a bulletin board for case requests. Dude, I've done, I've done so much school capacity. stories, I forgot that there's side so content outside of like that. It, maybe you can pick them up. Hey, never hurts to have more income. I'll take a look sometime. Try cases. They're side cases. Oh, what's happening with Sawasan says at the place on Nisizaki Road? The Forbidden Taste. The phantom ramen stall that suddenly appears in the late night streets of Yokohama. The ramen researchers travel across the globe, suffering many delicious noodle. If you have to eat, a phantom, eat at a phantom stall, the ramen there is a captivating flavor that can't be found anywhere else. Made with such a forbidden broth. Uh, it's like the wrong one there. I'll be waiting for you, Meng Wu, with more details. All of these are just main story and very other things. Probably, they probably come in sets of three. So it's clear that a forbidden taste, clear what comes after. And then this is just another one. Clear the previous one, clear the previous one. Uh, one second. I'm gonna check something real quick.
I'm looking at food, I'm hungry as hell. Expensive. Um, I'm just gonna go make food, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back for a couple minutes, because I have food in the toaster. My controller is disconnected already. No, it hasn't. I'm just not tapping into the game. <laughs> Thank God. Buzz, 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 buzz. The body model walks? Science is moving. I mean, it makes for a decent scares for high schools, uh, high schoolers. A lot of people are talking about it at once. Kind of unusual. Maybe we'll look into it and find it. Okay. Body model walks at night. That sounds like a fun side story. But if it's nighttime now, oh, okay. There's also just side quests on the streets now. If it's nighttime, that means we can do. Oh, we can also do another club. Um, well, I was going to say we can do uh, a Made in Heaven motorcycle gang. Biker gang. Damn, he's cool. Oh, hi, Yagri Science. You're going undercover as a bike gangbanger? Sounds heavy. Well, I imagine you have it hard too, Kendo kun. Amasawa seems to uh, overdo it whenever there's an incident. Yeah, well, I guess so, but that's fine by me. Whenever my sister chases a mystery, that's when she looks like she's having the most fun. <laughs> you look like she might die from boredom before, but she got her mojo back when she started to pursue the professor incident. You really do care about your sister, huh? It does make it difficult sometimes, but yeah. Well, here's the key to the bike. <laughs> I'm using a moped? 
Talk to Scooter. Uh, take this. Mm -hmm. My sister gave it to me. What is it? Your outfit for infiltrating the motorcycle gang. It's one of those cool jumpsuits. Uh, do we really have to wear this? Yeah. Duh, you gotta look like one of them. No way you can do that without the outfit. It's gonna be worse and worse. Come on, Yagmi-san. Why don't you change in the bathroom? I'll keep, I'll keep watching the oh. motorcycle. Biker jumpsuit. Let's fucking go. <laughs> amazing, amazing. That really suits you, Yagami san does it? Uh, oh, it's too good. It's like you jumped out of a show era manga. Yeah, laugh it up. You'll definitely do okay with that outfit. I think you're, uh, they'll think you're a gang member 100%. Oh, I guess I'll go show my face then. Made in heaven, huh? Let's see how this goes. Be <laughs> when I'm a 30 year old dude, a 40 year old dude wearing this shitty ass fucking biker jumpsuit and I drive off on a moped. How do you do, fellow bikers? Hmm? Yo, who's that? You know that guy? Nah, no clue. You new recruit? Yeah, first day. <laughs> what a coincidence. We're all new too, so I guess that means you're friends. Yeah. Friends? Yeah, I guess so. I'm Karuta Asawa. I'm Koichiro Haruna. It's me. I'm Takayuki Yagami. Nice to meet you. Asuma. Damn it. I accidentally clicked too fast, so I had to just guess based on the overlapping voice line. Uh, hey, hey, you're doing it wrong. It goes like this. Right, <laughs> hey, holla! Uh, okay. How do we do it together? Huh? huh? I have to do this. It'll be too suspicious if I don't. Right, nice to beat you! <laughs> <laughs> This is a real biker suit, don't you think, Yagamichi? Um, Yagamichi? Yagamichi! Come on, it's time for the meeting, let's go. <laughs> a rep suo san is here today, it makes me kind of nervous. Suo's already here? This is moving right along then. I need to see what kind of guy he is. Incredible, made in heaven is this big? Yeah, I mean, it's three Jinchu gangs put together, after all. Three gangs? What do you mean? Yagamichi! See, Made in Heaven was founded a few years ago. A guy named Reiji Murasaki used to be the leader. So that's... He was the group's first rep, legendary hero among all the all the delinquents. He used his influence to merge the three Yokohama street racing gangs into one. A real rock star. Wow, he was that amazing, huh? Then about a year ago, Reiji san died in an accident. Without his leadership, Made in Heaven split back into three groups. I'm confused. You just said it was one. What happened? Luckily, Suo-san came on the scene and got them all back together. He pulled that off even as a new rep? Yeah. That's right. Some say Suo-san is the second coming of Reiji Murasaki. It was more interesting than I thought. How could a guy who was once a discipline committee end up like that? What's on a discipline committee end up like that? Well, I gotta go make my sandwich. So I'll be back in a couple minutes.
Sorry, I just kind of left you in that void, huh? No audio, because I paused. But anyway. But evidently I'm back. Listen, Yagamichi, we're all unified now, even though technically three factions still exist. There's Akuan Rairyu, then there's the Raging Angels, and of course the main faction, Made in Heaven. Does that mean... Factions, huh? Is there much competition between them? Yeah. Not anymore. Although each of the three groups sees things differently, um, they coexist because there's one, le uh, there's one thing they do agree on. Whoever rules the road, writes the rules. That was handed down from Reiji-san. So his son resurrected it, and that's how he keeps the team in check. So you're saying Suo became the group's rep overnight thanks to a single rule. Yeah. Right. In a death race where he could have used attack, Suo-san snatched victory away from the second rep using only speed. Ever the way Suo-san rides is exactly like how the legendary Reiji Murasaki used to. I see. Whoever rules the road, writes the rules. I'll have to keep that in but mind. Anyway. Well, don't let your guard down, Yagimichi. Don't let you guard down. Damn. I wasn't expecting a typo from this game. Not everyone thinks it's a golden rule like we do. Like Ghost and his followers. Ghost? He's a real mysterious dude who keeps his face hidden under helmet. No one even knows who he is. Ghost isn't really about racing. He thinks beating is the way to control the team. A lot of time he's fighting with Suo-san and the other officers. This group may not have the numbers. They have the raw brutality. Oh, this is voice. This guy's the fabled ghost, huh? You guys must be the new blood. Ito? Yes, sir. Ever heard, whoever rules the road writes the rules? It's been our mantra ever since day one. Uh-huh. But if you really want to show dominance, inflict some fear and pain. No, that's Matthew just Mercer. Like the beast inside crazy. Is it? No. I think it just. You get me? It might be Matthew Mercer. <gasps> I have to look it up. Um, Lost Judgment Ghost. Oh, it's Ray Chase. Okay. Doing it. Exceedingly deep voice. I guess the mask filter that's over it also helps make it harder to tell. Whoa! Hmm. Seems our first rep, our leader, forgot to factor human nature into the equation. I can hear it now. Because out there on the streets, the only language outlaws speak is violence. But I'm sure you clowns must know that. Yeah! So to welcome the new guys, let's give them shit lists. That's the... Oh, well. Can't read that. And you... Up. Now that's strange. I heard there were only two recruits. Really? Nobody told me. Who got you in? Oh, well... That's the thing. <laughs> Can't answer, huh? Hey! What the hell? I'm thinking he's an undercover agent. Interrogate him. Find out for sure. Yes, sir! Hey, wait! This is all just a misunderstanding. Yagamiti! Damn it. Hey! Anyone know this shit for brains? One of you invite him? No? Oh, it's a bad look if not a single vet can vouch for you. Makes it seem like you're hiding a badge. It's bad. I don't know if take them all at once. He's alive until he squeals. Yeah! Damn, what do I do? Hey, stop that shit right now! Ghost, what the fuck is wrong with you? Something about this guy stinks. He won't even say who let him in. Did you forget our code? You don't lay hands on civilians. But we don't know who this shady bastard is or why he's here. 
We can't risk him being a lawman. That's not the point I'm making here. You know, Ghost, for a man who wears a mask, shouldn't you be giving me the benefit of the doubt? Huh? It's true, no one here knows your identity, right? Because you're always hiding your face. So isn't it just as likely you could be working undercover? What was that? Accuse me of being shady all you want. Uno reverso, you do no you. Anonymously, kind of weakens your argument, don't you think? You realize who you're talking to? Your ass is about to get me! Enough! This guy's really something. Sure, son! This guy's Suo? He must have a steel sack to speak up in his position. I'm almost impressed. Suo-san! This guy just shat on our boss! We'll set a bad example if we just do nothing! Kanasugi, how do you know which one of you is right? Between me and him? Uh. It's not for us to decide. There's a system for determining what's right, and it's quite simple. Whoever Erased. rules the road writes the rules. Oh. That's made in heaven's sacred code, our foundation and mandate of justice. So I don't care if it's a cute idea or the constitution. Any other rule can eat shit. Remember, our code is king. Everything else is for the peasants. I can't believe that's really how he thinks. Got that, Kanasugi? You want to talk big? Then obey. And if you don't like it, settle your issues with a race. A race? You don't mean. Huh. A death race. You'll have to put your life on the line. Yeah! What part of this has to do with me? We're going to figure out how to deal with you our own way. If you beat Kanasugi in a race, you're free. If you lose, Kanasugi decides your fate. So all I have to do is win, huh? Your code really is simple. Not to mention, it's fair. Hey Suo, if I'm a free man after I win, does that mean I can join Made in Heaven? Of course. No matter who you are, no one can complain if you win. You sure about this man? really might be a cop doesn't matter code must be upheld i also uh all right some more mess station to do during the team up with my best bat i also am a cop who's gonna win the dude on the motorcycle or the guy on the moped there's not anything goes in the space punch your opponents fuck him up all you want think a rookie like you can win on skill alone better bring a bat or a knife or something your life on the line and race against the factions of a biker gang. Each course requires a certain number of laps. Winner is first across the uh, winner is first across the finish line. Or you can race against a gang's leader to beat all the subordinates. Take them out by ramming them using boosts. Uh, race against the leader will start. Finish line is the start of the set at the start of the race. Go ahead of the leader. Uh, get ahead of the leader on this lap. Cross the finish line first to win. Yeah. Oh, do you any of that? I know what I'm doing on wheels. Plus, I burped in the middle of talking. That's embarrassing. Wow, interesting. You didn't pull any t dirty tricks to make it to the top, did you? Hey, idiot, you're not on Suo's level. Now you think you're gonna pull this off. To the starting line, then. If I don't win this, the whole thing is over. Dude, I'm literally like some someone's dad. Someone's uncle. Uh, accelerate with R2, break with L2. You unmark, you follow turns, staying in your lane. First, uh, use the boost with circle. Uh, drift, or pop a wheelie. Uh, you can ram to other bikers with the boost to kill them. Ram into them. Uh, 
guard with L1 or R1. Customize ride, change your ride once you have multiple options. Better for practice, no bosses, start the death race, night only. We are not as death race against leader, get to the finish line before they do. Did he just shoot me with a grenade launcher? I don't know what he was locking on. <laughs> he had something he was locking in on me with. Uh, that's an appeal. That's, I don't need them. I took a big bite full of food because I was just giving it was going to be voiced. Yubibi Kanasugi, not too shabby. What's your name? name? Yagami. <laughs> Yagami. I'll remember that. I beat him, so you got to keep your word. The rule is absolute, right? The of rule course. Is absolute. You all better remember this Yagami guy. As of today, he's a member of Made in Heaven. It's working. Just like Sue thought, whoever rules the uh, rules the road, writes the rules. And logically, that means if I beat Sue in a race, even he would have to listen to me. But I could ask him what I really need to ask. I could even ask him to disband the motorcycle gang. Hey. Hey, Sue -san? What? What? I want to race you. What do I got to do for that? Not that easy. Maybe willing to acknowledge you, you're still small time. Don't race small time guys. First of all, you need to beat three leaders, and they're almost all as fast as I am. I mean, the leaders of uh, Fakuro and Rairu, Raging Angels, and then Ghost Faction. If I have this right. Beat them first, you'll race me? Yeah, you have my word. Take a while. I'll well, we keep my true goal of dismantling the entire gang a secret for now. Yagamichi! Yagamichi, that was amazing! Hell yeah, when Ghost sets his sights on you, so when Ghost set his sights on you, I thought you were a goner. <laughs> yeah, I almost pissed myself when I saw that. Alright, celebration of Yagamichi joining me in heaven. You want to do that thing again? Again? Sure. Nice to beat yeah, you. That was good. Yeah! Oh, Yagami. <laughs> See ya, Yagamichi. Did you be out this late, kid? Yagami san. Great work out there, Yagami Sound. Looks like you really fit in, even with some pretty edgy types. Um. Ah, you're observant? <laughs> that outfit really suits you. Oh, shut up. By the way. By the way, I'm a Sama. What should I do with this motorcycle? There's no place to park it. How that? There's a garage my father rents nearby. I'll take you there now. I just want to finish the last of my sandwich. Is this it? 
This sure do look like a garage that your father rents. Oh, it's kind of fancy. My father said he could use it whenever. That's generous of him. Uh, it's just cheap property keeps leasing. On that note, he sends his regards. You can leave the bike here and gotcha. I'll get it fixed up. Customize, practice, depth today, change drive. Oh, this has very poor. This is very good handling. Everything else sucks. This is a lot worse handling, but everything else is good. Oh, that's a lot of money, huh? This is the money sink. We of course go purple. A family speed gig. We've kind of got the ultimate ride. Head out for the death race. I should have Yagamichi. been eating my food. You gotta race tonight, yeah. Yagamichi? Of course. Wanna get through him and race the rap. Man, Yagamichi, you're such a speedster now. Yo. Speaking of speed, Baku and Ryder are supposed to be here today. That's one of the factions, right? What sort of guys are they? Well, there's Junpei Hanasaki, aka Bomber. He's that group's leader. And while he's still being insane. Insane how? And why Bomber? Yeah. Because whenever he rides, he throws bombs. No Wait, really? Bombs? You know this is Japan, right? Well, they're technically fireworks, not bombs. He's the son of a fireworks maker who's been in the business since the Edo, uh, the Edo era. Every single race, he pops off these wild explosives. I see. I'm glad it's not bombs. The fireworks don't sound a lot better. Hmm? Hmm? Fucking Fist of the North Star, Mad Max last motherfuckers. It's Baku and Ryru. Ryru. Dumb, huh? Hey, come on. Which guy got special treatment from the rep to join? That's me. <laughs> you? Damn. You sure got a set of cold dark eyes, man. Eyes of a killer. <laughs> and you My are? Matatabi. My name's One Matatabi. One of the four kings of the bomber faction. Mm -hmm. Woo! Unbelievable. Uh huh? Mm -hmm. Matatabi san. What, you know him? Yeah, of course. Matatabi was born to be a biker. Even the really badass misfit kids would shut the hell off when he came around. Heard his first words was a mom or dad. I was wild! Oh, shut up. Well, that's got me nervous. So my first contestant is a dangerous one, huh? <laughs> What's your name, Yagami? Hanasaki san said I should take care of you today. We'll see what you can really do on the road. Wahoo! Alright, I can take a bite of my food finally. I don't like how you can wheelie too hard. Although it seems like just like Yakuza 5 with the taxi missions. 
the taxi death races. It doesn't matter how far ahead you get, they will rubber band to you. It's often better to not <laughs> boost ahead near the end like that, because you could have boosted back to me. That was awesome. I'm always gonna be betting on you, Yagamichi. <laughs> yeah, you beat me. You got guts, man. It's gonna be one of your brothers from now on. Whoa. Whoa, now, now what? what? Oh, thank God it's voice. <laughs> I heard from Suo we got ourselves a real smart ass on board. That's you. Oh, shoot. That's bomber song. So this guy's the leader of the Bakuong Rider. Damn straight. The name's Junpei Hadasaki, and don't you forget it. Now feel the heat of the street ticking time bomb. Feel the heat. Feel oh, the God, heat. Feel the heat. <laughs> Boom! You like it when shit blows up in your face? That was a reference to Hades from Kingdom Hearts seeing that one voice line over and over. Well, that was that. Keep your fireworks to yourself, uh, man. Anyway, I figured I'd mosey on over and check out the new guy. Yagami, was it? You think you could take me? Yeah. I need to beat you to get the Sua. Well, top titty! Cause it ain't that simple. See, I'm the type of fire starter who likes to put on a show! And if it's a death race we're talking, I only take on challengers who can give me some entertainment! Entertainment? No, yeah, yeah, I gotta beat the other three kings. Races, his crew sets off hundreds of fireworks. One say craft traditionally by hand. Part of his claim to fame is leaving his opponents bewildered as he speeds past them with lights and explosions! But he'll only accept opponents who can give him a bewilder. Why should be a waste of time and effort? Yeah, what he said. Now allow me to burn that into your memory. Ah, damn, that's hot. It burns. Ah, my eyes. This is so silly. Right, so I'm dealing with a maniac here. So you won't race just anybody. But if I take down your crew, will that prove I'm good enough? <laughs> Mayhaps. So, you really think you can take the heat, huh? Yeah. Just watch. You'll be in the hot seat soon enough. <laughs> well, you've got my blood boiling. Funny if Yami conveniently showed up to one of these races with a buster sword. Pulls out a giant sword, screams Final Fantasy VII motorcycle escape minigame. Excuse me? Ugh. Another one, huh? Excuse me, you're gonna be son, right? You recently joined Made in Heaven? Mm hmm? Huh? I really wanna ask you. Do you have a moment? How does he know I joined Made in Heaven? Is he a cop? Meant to be alarmed, not a cop, at least not anymore. Not anymore. Nice to meet you. I'm Kotaro Sayama. I'm with the Biker Gang Prevention Group. Huh. Biker Gang Prevention yes. Group? We're volunteers trying to form at risk youths to participate in reckless motorcycling. Or I joined or worked in the traffic division of the Kanagawa Police Department. Pleasure's all mine. And I'm Otsuki. Then for a deputy representative, a member of the prefectural assembly. Excuse me. What can I do for you? So I want to tell you about Made in Heaven. Instead of standing here talking, why don't we go to a cafe? It's for the times. Oh. 
What's that squirrel? Apologies. That very obviously not supposed to be there squirrel. Uh, sorry for just showing up on the blue. How'd you know I joined Made in Heaven? I heard about you from Aston McCoon and the others. You had to come and meet you? Does that mean... You were in contact with those yes. guys? Yeah, the biker gang convention group regularly makes contact with the youths in those gangs, one of our main activities. We learned about this group when we talked to us, uh, Asama kun and Haruna kun the other day. I see. Yeah, that explains it. Asama kun said there was an incredibly skilled guy named Yagami who joined them. <laughs> and I heard that it, I realized something. You're acting with the same intentions as we are. Hmm? Based on your reaction, I think it must be correct. Well, who can say? <laughs> are you still not going to show your cards? Like a game prevention group. Do I know if you uh... can trust them? First off, can you tell me what sort of things your group actually does? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Look at that squirrel on the left that seems so out of place. Uh, it's a good opportunity. You should get some information out of them. You familiar with Made in Heaven? Yes. Yes, we've known about them for some time. Two years, actually. But the traffic division where I work and the youth division of the Kanagawa Police, we all started watching them. Hmm. It's a long time. By the way. And by the way, do you know about the first representative, Reiji Murasaki? Yep. Heard the name. Supposedly he started the group. Sounds like everyone really looked up, uh, yes. really looked up to him. Yes, and now he's a legend among the delinquent youth, good old Murasaki. From our time in traffic, faced off him, faced off against them often. He had all the charisma he needed to recruit a lot of kids. Some worshipped the guy, others hated him, but the one thing no one could do is ignore him. No one could stay neutral, especially troubled teens. You know what they say, the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. And yeah, with his larger than life personality, either loved him or hated him. Um, um eventually he died in an accident, yes. right? Yeah, about a year ago. While some patrols from the traffic division were chasing him, actually, he died instantly. That's too bad. So that is good friend Masu Akatsuka kun becomes the second rep of Made in Heaven. Him. Saw that guy at the gathering. He was the one who told off those underlings who thought they'd teach me a lesson. <sighs> those who didn't get along with Akatsuka left, eventually, until eventually Made in Heaven was split into three factions. Reiji Murasaki's charisma had always been uh, the only clue holding it all together. Yagami-san! What do you think these wild youths really want from us adults? What do they want from us? I believe that deep down they're not true rebels, they're just tired of adults who don't pay attention to them. I think it's an attention grab. Adolescent boys and girls more or less believe that adults just don't get them. That's why they act out and make a scene. They get the grown-ups' attention. Motorcycle gang is just the latest example of this. What I know. Wear flashy clothes, kick up a ruckus, I think it's all because they want people want people to see them. I see. If you're right. We have to face this problem. These kids are crying out for us for uh, for us to care about them. I really don't want to reject them without giving them a chance. I'm going to open a dialogue. They're too soft. Personally, I think Sam is not too much of an optimist. The bikers are all idiots. There's no way to reason with them. We need to get tough. The police can't handle, can't get a handle on it. We should. Cops never cracked down on Made in Heaven? That's right. Not since Reiji Murasaki died in the middle of a chase last year, the bastard. But would blame the police for the death, and the traffic division was slammed with any protests. Act off to avoid another incident in public score. Meiji's hmm. accident showed me a side of the forest I've been blind to. It led me to turn my badge and found the biker gang prevention group. To get the root of the problem, and talk to these kids. Hmm. Double sentiment, but we're never gonna get through to those fools. What makes you think you can? Some kids don't get it no matter what logic you use. Honestly, they just need a good ass beat. Atsuki kun! Atsuki kun, they're human beings! The Yamasan and Atsuki san seem to have very different ideas about this. By the way. By the way, there's this guy made in heaven. I'm curious about. Uh, his name is Ghost. Oh, him. Now there's a problem, child. Even compared to the other guys that made in heaven, he joined a bit randomly, just a few more months before Suo Kun became the leader. They have good racer. Aside from Suo Kun, no one can beat him. Hmm. Seems dangerous. Like he wants to control things through violence instead of racing. Yes. Yes. Sadly, I think he sees violence as his ticket to rising to the ranks of the Ichincho Underworld. The Underworld? Where'd that come from? In Chicha, there are some groups you really don't want to get tangled up with, like the Gomi Jewel and the Seryu Clan. Best if you don't even know who. You, uh, best if they don't even know who you are. Yep. And any brush with the Neo Kiki gang is bound to get messy. Uh, thank you very much for the talk, to Amazon. I learned a lot from this. Good. Why don't we get going? Oh no! Wait. This is where I need to go for the main story. Yagami Sun, I know it's a sudden request, uh, but a uh, sudden request. But thanks for talking no. to me. No, thank you for giving me so much information. Had to keep challenging me to heaven members and races. Yep. Yeah, until I can beat Yuma Suo. That's your plan. I can guess what you're really after. Well, I'll just leave that to your imagination. Talk to the traffic division, let them know I approve all your actions. Huh? Why? <laughs> I used to be the section chief, so there's still some influence in the division. If I ask them to turn a blind eye to your actions, you won't get arrested for violating any traffic laws. Really? You still have that much yes. influence? Yes, I'm sure they'll agree. They haven't been successful in any of their efforts made in heaven anyway. 
And I do not have to load off my shoulders. People are ready to contact me anytime, take care. Like a game prevention group, or working together will lead to something. Don't send me into the story. No, oh, it sent me into the main story! Plage, this is where Sawa Sensei told me to come. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. Well, I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can put away my plates and get more water because my voice is killing me. So just give me two minutes. Sorry, I'm back. I also went pee and stuff. Deal with that. Let's get out of here! What's your problem? That's new. Building chairs. Hopefully, the business doesn't charge them for these broken chairs and tables. <laughs> so, since he's like, wow, he's late. Stereo High School, Class 2 2. Yes? Um, sir? Take your break. Uh -huh. Take your break. You guys don't say much, do you? 
after this is over, you better start talking. She disappeared. You, know. you shoved her back inside, closed the door, and she was erased from existence. Too slow in the quick step, so I just got hit and did the hook instead of dodge hook. Well, there goes his mask. So I got hit very hard for that to happen. Sir, are you okay? I hung up with the cops just now. Really? Just now? <laughs> you want to keep going? Yo, need a hand with these guys? Huh? Good job holding them back on your own. No. Dude. No shot. This character is. You, you're kidding me. That sucks. I'm gonna pick them. Don't oh, get into it. You're not the only hero here. But, but, I mean, where did you even come from? I was watching from inside, man. Okay. You shouldn't get involved. Relax, fella. Allow me to show you how it's hey, done. Hold on. Listen up. I'm just gonna warn you. I'm a better fighter than this guy. Huh? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, you're welcome. Right. Thanks for making them slink into the night before I could even ask who they were. Huh? Later. Um, can I help you? No, I came here to meet someone. I'll just check upstairs real quick. Oh, finally. Sensei. Just the you thought okay? that she just missed that entire thing. Someone was here. Did someone get here before me? I'm sorry. There's nothing I can say. I can't tell you anything you don't already know. Uh, what happened up here? Did someone come to intimidate you? Someone who might be involved? I couldn't make out who the woman was. She had sunglasses on. But what did she say to you? That I need to stay away from this. The whole Mikoshiba Kun case. And then she said that you need to do the same. Me too? Yes. And what if I were to refuse? If you said no, then she told me I should give you this picture. This is Miko Shiba. I'm so sorry, but I... I'm leaving. Wait! I get it. At least let me walk you home. Just stop! I 
don't want anything to do with this. If you come back to the school, I'd appreciate it if you would stop talking to me. There's nothing I can do to help you anymore. That of the Dark Souls boss slain. Witness intimidated. Thumbs up. The bad guys walk away smugly. Uh, quick search mode, examine piece of evidence. Yeah, Suspicious. Yeah. I got here with Makashiva, you got worked over, you still competing at some point. In a pretty nice suit. Was he on his way to teach when he was abducted? Hey. Inside in the back, that way you could have escaped that. Hmm. What the? So much trouble. Where exactly is this? Don't recognize it. Corpus found in Eugene show, if I remember right. The woman who gave us the Sao Sensei must be involved in some way with whoever killed Mikushiba. Otherwise, she wouldn't have this picture. In that case, were those guys just now the ones who killed Mikushiba? Why would they come after me when the police have already kicked off their own investigation and everything? Still so many unanswered questions. That would be the white mask of the Yokohama Liomang. These guys would break your knees for the right price. So they're just a bunch of thugs for hire? Pretty much. Well, he's vaping. Anything else I can do for you? I've earned something of a reputation here in this town. But you've got a face I haven't seen anywhere before. Why are these goons picking a fight with you? Got any ideas? No. I've got a hunch. But I'm gonna keep it to myself. A tight wad, huh? Didn't I just bail your ass out? A handyman? It's Kuana. You got trouble here, I'm the one you call. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I can handle shit the cops won't deal with either. Handyman Jin Kuana. Not exactly a service I'm in need of at the moment. Crossing that line is tough, and I prefer to do it myself. Oh, really? And what line of work would that be? I'm a private detective in Kamurocho. What is it now? Some competition just showed up on my turf and made a scene, man. How would you feel if the situation was reversed? You wouldn't tolerate any disrespect, would you? So state your name, and then you say, Sorry, Kuana, I made a bit of a ruckus here. Exactly how high up the food chain is a handyman in this town? I'm just trying to teach you some manners. People let you teach manners around here? You can't even exchange cards right. I see you know how to block a kick. So let's move on to the next part. Don't let me down now. Let's move. I've done a lot of school stories. I have a lot of SP. That's just me jumping over you. It's not very fancy. Hey, what else you got? Yeah, man. Yeah. Bring it up. Okay. Watch this. Itchy bone fried rice crackers. Oh, did you see that? Oh, 
for PSV because I was, uh... This man's face is extremely punchable. Better than I was expecting. Uh, right back at you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, you want to tone it down? Or you want another lesson? I'm listening. You don't know when to give up. Time's up, both of you. The cops are almost here. <laughs> you want to ask like you didn't just so lose? Hirakun. You know each other? After we get out of here. Come on, let's use the back way. Seriously? How do a couple of grown-ass men end up bickering like that? I was just finishing what he started. Yeah. And you can thank Sugihira-kun here that you're still standing. I kicked your ass. How do you even know this guy? Uh, Kawana-san's our senpai here in Ijincho. He's the local handyman. He's got tons of connections both above and below ground. So... Definitely a higher tier of service than us. <laughs> Have you been working together? No, but we did pay our respects before we opened our office. Bowed our heads, asked for his blessing, all that. Unlike someone, Sugira kun knows his manners. Settle down. So talk. Who were those idiots back there? Kawana-san says they're a gang. The Yokohama Liumang. Specifically, Liumang assassins called the White Masks. They were surprisingly inept back there, though. Nah. I like how they have to introduce really another... Hold up. Assassins? Of... Why would someone... Like, that, that wasn't a thing in, in Yakuza 7 at all. It's like the classic, uh... Yakuza games, um... Adding yet another mysteriously unheard of, unmentioned until now member major family of the Tojo clan every subsequent Yakuza game, right? One put a hit out on Yagni-san Maybe they were just out to scare you I mean, I doubt even the Liomong would take someone out in public. They don't like crowds Whatever the case can you find out who hired them? I prefer to know who wants me dead No can do even they don't know their clients. They get all their gigs piped in from the dark web. Good news is, you can hire them yourself, too. Want me to hit them up for you? No, thanks. I'm good on the contract killing front. Man, oh man. What kind of shit did you step in? If you're gonna make a mess in this town, I want in. Some things are better left to the locals. Especially when it starts turning gray. Fine by me. What is? Having someone around who knows the ins and outs of a gene show, man. Besides, don't you owe him for saving your ass from the white masks? He didn't save my ass. Well, pull the stick out. He buddy. did. I can tell he's cool. They barely hit me. Yo, want to grab a drink? On me. <laughs> now here's a kindred spirit. You're on, but I'm getting round two. <laughs> See? I knew you weren't half bad. Wait, you show me now, do you? You coming with Tuck? No, no I'm going to do I'm going back to I doing more school stories. Agency. Got a few things to sort out. Your loss, as they say, always take what comes, never chase what leaves. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Except maybe a little more fancy. <laughs> It's like we're already old friends. So making the trek back to 99 alone. You're not going back to 99, Yagami. You're going back to the death races. Ah? Don't get me down to that lip. Please be reasonable. Hmm? What's going on? Wait, another guy. That's the san the hermit from Kamro Show. Think he's in trouble. Extracts. Again. Hey! 
Hang off the old man. Hey, y'all give me some? What, this guy your buddy or something? Yeah. He's a friend from back home and comrade trying to be tempted on getting violent, I won't just stand and watch. Who said anything about violence? This is merely a uh, business negotiation. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Yama's son here has got talent. His extracts are exquisite. First class commodities. He sells them for way too cheap. If he really understood the economics, he'd jack up the price much higher. Maybe even get an online shop going. Then he'd really be raking it in. As I've said before, it's a terrible idea. These extracts are prone enough to endanger a life. I refuse to distribute them haphazardly. Yeah, well, look where's that attitude's got you. You'll be a bum forever at this rate. If you want to change that, I suggest you work with me. Not a chance. You just don't listen hey. to reason. They made himself queer and I got lost. He's all being to shut you up first. This may be my last one, but what the hell? Down the hatch. That was one of my extracts. I did. Damn you, Casamia. Did you steal it? This shit's got a real strong kick. It caught me feeling like a goddamn superhero. Mm. That more like what a super villain would say. Underestimate him, young me son. That extract he took can amplify a person's strength several times over. The way he is now, I don't even see the final you could take him on. Unless, of course, you would try this. Mm. Warrior's Onslaught. Yet another powerful extract. Uh, match him gotcha. below. Uh, attack strong enough to break the enemy's guard. Let's play right. Let's go. Oh, I have to use it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Yagami san. You helped me out of real pickles single times. Yeah, we brought you out of Ichin Show. Oh, two Ichin Show. Uh, you're not telling the comrades you're good, are you? Same here as part of my journey, journey of self discovery. Uh, I mentioned this when we first met. I was abandoned in the mountains yep. as a child. You said when you're found, you already had the extract formula on you. There are any relatives? Old document remains the only clue of the past I have. Uh, so I'm really studying it, see if I can shed some light. You also claim you might be descended from the Tengu. Not sure how serious you are, but did you find anything out yeah. since then? Can we cheat? Uh, probably not. Uh, can we cheat? Show might be something in the right direction. Let me see that. Uh, can we know researcher who lives here? Ancient Codex. I see. You found a lead. Uh, I figure I might need to stay in Eugene Show. Opened my shop not long ago. Doug set his sights on me. Uh, I don't think we got extracts on the market. Someone's gonna come look for a profit. Because mass produce them would be utterly irresponsible. Good point there. Uh, why don't you stop by my shop sometimes over in Chinatown? Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Endless love. Uh, this is Yamasan's new place. This is what they make you feel like home. Good, this new home reaches as bad as the first. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know how to do this. Huh. <laughs> uh. Eye of the Dragon, Rainbow Pyroxene, Sacred Wood, Pork Tonkatsu. Makes me want to, wants me to do this one, but I don't want to do this. I have the dragon though. That was the rare material in all the Ryakuza. I think that almost does it. Quite simple. Takes from the city, on rare materials, on the broth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, empty extract vessels. Normal containers would corrupt or worse melt. Okay, let's go to my little empty extract vessels. Wherever they go, picking up reason them, you'll be doing yourself a favor in the town of favor. Hmm? Uh, the research I mentioned on the ancient codex. Go all in the research, access to rare materials. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Former calls for natural materials, being a city dweller, learn to use appropriate substitutes. Other bizarre things, promise to be proper reason. I remember he once had me collecting cat food and certain latex disposables. I'm still collecting. Mugwort. I've got plenty of mugwort. Hey, buddy, good news. 
make this mug work. Grace enemy encounter. Skateboard acceleration. Uh, parkour grip. Oh, allows you to pick up motorcycles. So I can't just buy fucking vessels from you? That's stupid. Also, drinking a fucking extract doesn't give me the vessel. Super strength. Uh, I got the was quite a loop. Nice, we had more materials. It's kind of silly that I can't buy fucking vessels from you. Can't buy bottles from you. Chinatown, right. Well, we have a new side case. Is uh, he refreshed? So now I can go get more materials for him. Hate to be the very bad news. I started yawning. Uh, neither of our documents seem to match anything on record. And when the words let us themselves are a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Who is this, the yama uh. The owner of the ancient codex I was telling you about, but you didn't know I was acquainted with the college professor? Gotcha, he's only been helping you with your research. I am Tetsuyomi Yoshikawa with the Anoshima College of Cultural Studies, specializing in ethnology and folklore. Yagami. I'm Yagami, detective. What's the codex? Ancient manuscripts. Codex is an ancient manuscript. My family for generations. Uh, my answer is held for such state, injured mountain dweller, given the Codex's things. Codex is an unknown language, and no message ever understood the contents. Yeah, my son here might be able to change that. Our shark formulary possesses nearly identical to my Codex. I put a lifetime's worth of research into uh, it. I uh -huh. see. A slow, painting process. Language slightly differs between our documents. Uh, this one's truly a chimera of all the extinct languages I've encountered. Maybe on Sunday, because unscientific to say, it seems otherworldly. Oh. As in, you think it can be written by aliens. Kind of prefer the Tengu theory. To, uh, kind of prefer the Tengu theory. Yagi son, I've asked you to gather materials. This was part of the research. Hmm. Hopes by recreating the extracts, we have to decipher the document as a whole. Does that mean? Well, deciphering the tax parts may prove difficult. The document is strong, so extract materials too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Substitutes. If you collect certain materials, bring them in to extracts, confirm the effects on the body. Hmm. One letter at a time, we'll be able to eventually decipher the codex in its entirety. Ah. Uh. Fast chasing is nearly within reach. Curious people in possession of arcane knowledge that surpasses modern science, perhaps they really are tender. <laughs> that is scholastic or a personal thing. Uh, I got high hopes for Yagami San, let me help an old man discover yep. his past. The roses. Do they even have roses? Probably not, but I know where to get them. I have two roses. When the fuck did I get a beehive? Excuse me. Jack Shack recipe, Willow Snake. Garlic. While in snake style, you can constantly deflect with L1 and recover health whenever you deflect. I had to mute, so I can... Uh, it also knocks down enemies. Deflect. Do not have garlic. 
line. We're in Hamakita Park. Actually, you know what? I... I don't want to talk about how I just turned backwards and so went back to the elevator. While we're here... Looking forward to it. Uh, east, south, green... Five, two, three, nine. Okay, four, five, six. That's it. Ready, one right trig in the start of. Three, five, five, nine. ちょっと いいよ。悲しいことです。ジスモ、オセポ。エンフィルフ。ain't We have a choice here. We have a choice we can make here. Let's not go for it. Let's not be silly. Be a different kind of silly. Ton. Oh my god. I had a half flush. The thing I hate about Yakuza AI is one A Yakuza Mahjong AI. Is it's always the same guy who just wins and wins and wins and wins. Which is why it feels like the AI cheats.
See? See what I mean? It's always the same AI. Like, no one else gets to do anything, because this one AI keeps winning. Alright, how do we want to handle this? Seven. Wrong. Sweet. South wind, uh, half flush. So we got Cardinal so. wind, half flush. Dora, three. Oh, three Dora because we had the three eights. I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't even remember that. Um, uh, and yeah, we took first place from you because of that. Get fucked. Fuck my nuts, loser. I forgot that the door was the 7. Door indicator was the 7, so the 3 8s it took ages ago. That was a quick and dirty Mahjong W. Quest up there. Where's the bike? There it is. Side quest over there. Or back at school. We'll go ahead and have the one nearby here. Okay. What was that, my man? I was holding the log button for that one. What a waste. I call bullshit on that. Oh, it's Tashiro. Hey there, bro, looking for the hottest paradise in hmm? town? Huh? Tashiro Kun, is that you? Huh? Yagami? Ah, oh, it's just you. There was a surprise. Touch your cooking so the Masagane family back when the Tojo clan was still around. And as a self proclaimed fashion king, his clothes were just as loud back then. Uh, his clothes were just as loud back then. Once that's a Boro, those clothes for an investigation after knocking a flat on his ass. He ended up making peace after almost that done. We fought alongside each other at one point. So, uh, what brings you to Ninjicho? Just like to work. What about you? You barking now? Uh. This is no shame in that as long as you're escaping by. Just I'm freaking right, dumbass. I worked hard to get in the shop. Besides, this ain't just any old gig. I'm an event producer now. I'm gonna plan all kinds of cool shits. Concerts, rap parties, you name it. Huh. Huh. It takes a big show to run a big show. Nice. You're damn right. But for real, I should, uh, should've gone legit from the start. Kick more ass as an entertainer anyway. Yeah, you should check out my new hot new event in Eugene show. The grand opening of Paradise VR. Wow, man. You really have come a long way. Now what's this about a grand opening? 
Remember Paradise VR, the virtual arcade from Camera Show that puts you in the game? Yeah, where you put on a headset and run around a video game type thing. On that. And you know what? So we expanded it to Ichin Cho. Uh, thanks to my creative genius, we did a huge overhaul in the gameplay. Instead of letting you race them all by yourself, we put some AI rivals to stop you. I see. Nice, that's an added element of competition. Exactly. Now look, see that building? Paradise VR is in the basement. Tell you what, first game's on the house. Are you serious? Yeah, well shoot. It's free, might as well take you up on that. Sweet, then I'll see you there. Yeah, I remember hearing they added, like, an AI rival, which winds up causing it to slow the game down. Why it's no longer the most efficient moneymaker. On top of the fact that SP is so insanely easy to grind that you can just casually grind 30k SP very easily. Um, with it being more active. And then turn that into 4 million yen from gambling items. Welcome to Paradise VR! It's Nicey Daisu. I'm Nicey Daisu, I'll be your receptionist mm -hmm. today. I'm gonna recognize you from the Camera Ocho branch, just to think you're still in character. In character? Oh no, my name actually is Nicey Daisu. At least you remembered me. <laughs> Didn't know you two were acquainted. Funny how a lady named Nicey Daisu ends up working at a dice parlor, right? I'll just say it was one of my many selling points during the job interview. Yagami. So, Yagami, you here to play? Yeah. yeah, remind me. I have to compete against these rivals now. We got a whole roster of Monigo, all, mod mod uh, all modeled with the latest CGI software. Even Naisu Chan came up with a few characters. Fair warning, my creations aren't as Naisu as I am. Here we go. Let's do this. No, the music's still the same. No, no. In a fresh new face, how are you? The name's Kornya. Uh, born raised in Hiroshima, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same fucking thing. So you get to the goal before your rival. Rival rolls dice just like you, and moves around them spaces. Now. One. Two. Three. Wow, what present? Here we go. Bronze play. The rival goes next. Damn, he was slightly better than me. He beat his ass. Rival got a med space. What's it gonna be? I have completed the mission, though your enemy is still going to give it to him. We have got an item! Damn. Civilian level 1 gained 4 star? Close mission to the square, knock him out while you're having fun. Goal before your rival, uh, 2 skills, 13 turns, don't take damage, King Corneon, don't fail out in the space. Three, four. Parkour challenge. Oh, I guess this replaces uh, the lock picking. No, there's still lock picking. I see that up there. Parkour space. You got a reward depending on how far you make it up the wall. Rock climbing. doing for me.
The yellow orbs replenish my gauge, that I know. What are the red orbs doing for me? Why do I not just mash up? We should have read the fucking instructions a bit more. A hundred thousand yen! I gained seven stars! Idiot! Hold the one. So what's he gonna do in the event space? Legal mission. 3k yen. Gained four stars. Okay, so you don't have limited dice anymore, though. Now. One. Current yeah, yeah, I'll snatch up your stars and items. All your items and stars will be taken away if you know the space. Gotta chase him down, clean your stolen items, gain a bonus. I don't really want to get nab, do I? Never mind, it's uh, scripted. Here we go. Change pick depth up and down. Okay, so it's no thumb turn bypass. Normal lockpick. Almost there. That'll do it. use these stars for? I mean, skills, evidently, but why isn't it letting me learn about skills? I feel like that should be part of the tutorial. Okay, so you can skip the turn. Here. Right now, will activate. Number facing me will double. There's no pushover. Drone, fire, bullet. This is the drone battle from the last game. Loser. 
this. <laughs> Idiot, how do you fail a battle mission? Explain skills! Special abilities take when you move, you more space and whatnot. Uh, school you want to want use a triangle before you roll the dice. Stars you can find by a bunch of different spots, you get more skills by taking down your rivals. This will help. Roll them. Oh, Magnus and King Koronyan! It's Koromo! Koronyan Mo. Time for Koronyan Mo. Baby, you're blasting through this puppy. Ah, I, uh. Plus two, by the way, from my skill, stacks with Koronyan Mosquitoes. Or it's affected by Koronyan Mode. I can move eight squares. Which won me the game. Hell yeah! It's funny though, because you actually don't want to win as fast as possible. You want to get points along the way. Ugh. Easy. Quick half a mil. You unlock some skills you can use in game. Time for another big haul. Actually, found that pretty fun, right? This cube's the next level concept. You haven't noticed we're kind of oh. empty. Wonder why? I think the rivals in this game could use some work, kind of uninspired. The game really needs the roster of pure badasses. One you'll never forget, even after the fight's I done. I guess so. I get it. I uh, know what cheeks to make. Time to witness my mad producer skills in action. Expect to see some upgrades gotcha. next time you stop by. skills or whatever. What you M side cafe? What? Oh right, I completely forgot about this quest. That was mentioned. special. Pretty sure there's a spy at our school. Hashtag cafe special. Cafe special. One gulp man. Defeat three tigers, VR tiger drop. Oh, 
Do I have any free pass voucher? I do. I have free pass voucher six. Where do we have the others? Uh, 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 uh. Ice and cube. Squirrel search. Guess that's the uh, squirrel. Cat reward. Evans Door Casino for 10,000 chips. And side quest and skate park. If to do the side quest, squirrels just want to have fun until chapter in chapter five to figure out what the hell those squirrels are. Uh, the side quest of Forbidden Taste, which unlocks a night, chapter three, found on the bulletin board. That gets you the cats. Almost camp. One of them gives you the free pass voucher. Oh, well, you also got two skill books for me. Side quest six, which is in late chapter four. Casino's easy. Get the blackjack, the blackjack cheat item, and get a billion points. And skate's easy because I'm pretty sure I actually have enough. We're in the skate park already, so we wanted to buy the materials for robotics club. I'm skating. I'm age. Go beat up these high school kids. Swift as lightning at Crunchwell, well, that's why I got one. Oh, yeah, I can afford the voucher. Uh, I just gotta get this skill. Thousand points by winning. Check the only points I got from doing this. Race around town. Press X at the right time. Press circle to jump. Different items: gravel, fire aggers, energy drinks. Press triangle.
this is the Mario Kart mini game for this one. Okay. So these are just finish these races fast. We'll use the pay to win Hello. DLC bike that I got for or skateboard that I got for free. Are we trying to get 3,500? So we're almost there already. We're halfway there. Let's tear it up. race and we'll have enough. This is huge points though for skateboard points. Literally just doing this Check it out. a couple times. Doing each of the race you can probably buy one of everything. Okay that sucks. I got a bit robbed there. getting stuck in the animations all the time. Like, I hit that one before I, I made the grind, and it came out after. I'm just gonna not use the items from now on. They're just fucking me over. Cover this one. 
You're kidding me. It ran off right at the end. I'm mad about that. That race sucked. That's fine. We got the skill. Power slide. Uh, run with X while an EX boost and then press X. EX human ramp. Trick and attack performed from a power slide. Anyways, we're here for this. Give garlic? Yeah. We're here for this. I can afford basically anything. Worst case scenario, I gotta grind another 1500 SP and then buy the gambling item again. SP even in boxing stance. Um, well, I guess this is for drone racing. M Side Cafe, that's in Kamarosha. Meng Wu. The hell is Meng Wu? Yeah, that's the extracts. Why does it not mark it? Does that have to be a daytime? It says night, late night. But we're gonna do death races, anyways. That's all of my money. All right, we're back to being poor. That's fine. We can make money back easily. Uh, I'm missing the second person from back here on Ryu today. So Yagami decided to show up again tonight. He's one crazy dude, isn't he, Shunkiku? Yeah. I'm um, gonna send this Yagami asshole to hell. I'm Shunkiku, the fastest racer in Ibaraki. I've been riding wide, been riding wild bulls since I was a kid. I got balls of steel to show for it. Try me if you're brave enough. Put your stall on. Let's do this. He's not ready for my fully decked out DLC bicycle, motorcycle. 
Or to cycle. Or to cycle. Ready to tear it up. Oh my god, that's so annoying. What? I couldn't even see that. Oh my god. Die already. I mean, I say easy. We've got the the kitted out, fully finished, decked out motorcycle, the the pay to win DLC that I got for free. It comes with it on PC. Ah, hell yeah! No way. This is funny how canonically I'm doing this on a moped. What the? How did I lose to a wuss like you? I guess you got me this time. I like how the game's trying to make you not kill them to prove that you're just an epic racer, but you still have to kill all of their goons first anyways. The rule is absolute, or don't you remember? Yeah, yeah. I'm one of your brothers from here on out. <laughs> but Yagamichi, don't start thinking you can tame me. The man who's feared is, uh, who's as feared as the wild bull of Ibaraki. First match of uh, Matatabi, now Shungiku. I think you might actually make it all the way to the top. Heal level 4. Death race, again. If you lose, you start doing what I say. You got that? Hey! Hey. <laughs> Imogashira is not much of a talker. He can't really express himself outside of racing. Is that right, Imogashira? Hmm. See. Do you show anything that goes in this race? You can fuck with your opponents as much as you Whoever want. Follow the fast the guy. The I've just got guts. It's the only rule made in heaven recognizes. Uh, this is a lot of goons I'm going to have to get through. Uh, let's roll.
Oh my god. Fucking hit it. I hate this. I hate this part. The killing goons part sucks ass. It's so clunky and slow. Got any tips? <laughs> right as I say that. No, it's not just you. I struggle with this part. It's just like slow and clunky and awkward. Sometimes you just don't hit them. I didn't see that. Also, hey, I love this game. I do too. I this is the first time playing through. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh. So I gotta deal with these explosions that they're fucking, they're all rocketing me. Um, but yeah, this is the first time playthrough for me. I played through the first game a couple times, I loved it. I've been enjoying this immensely. I barely touched the main story. I'm, uh... I'm only as far into the main story as I physically need to to be able to be doing the school stories. I've been enjoying it a lot. Did you just blow yourself up because I speeded past you? That's funny. It's so many things, yeah. Just walk around first person so I can the IR locations. I did that in uh, Yakuza 8. I had a friend, because I have a friend who's from Honolulu. And so I was streaming that, and she was just pointing out all the real life locations. Ah, yes! <laughs> but yeah, I love this game. I love the, all of the, the games by the studio. The rule is absolute, so you do what I say from now on. Got that? Smile. Um. I think that was a yes? You're a hard guy to understand, but I'm used to it by now. Uh, ow! Hot, 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 hot! Hot, hot, hot! Oh, look, he does not care. He does, he just ignores the sparks. Well, I'm next. The gay biker club mark sure is something. <laughs> what? I'm not one to let other guys settle shit. Next race, Junpei Hanasagi's take you on. Finally, a race with Hanasagi. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a night no one will forget. Yagami! Yagami, you wanted to talk to us? <laughs> I feel so included. Ask us anything, brother. We all swore loyalty, right, Yamagashira? I want to ask about Bomber. Bomber Sun's fireworks are pretty special. They're not just cheap That's junk. Totally wild. In, fi uh, in fact, I almost said in fucked. In fact, riding your bike through the sparks and explosions of Bomber Sun's handcraft fireworks is friggin' awesome. Really gets you hyped up. <laughs> he, when I ride with Hanasaki Sun, I get caught up in all the lights and the heat. I love just thinking about it. I mean, damn. Whoa. Uh. Nearly creep myself when it happens. I see. Okay, uh, be that as it may, sounds like it's gonna be a dangerous race. Anything else mm. I should know? Was down for a while, just picked it back up yesterday. Uh, nothing else except I know you like sushi, tempura, and soba noodles. <laughs> now he's got a huge mole on his ass. Saw it when I went to the hot springs with him. Okay, too much information. Anyone got anything useful? Love. This is great love. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> hey, you, Mugashira, you got something you want to share? Anasaki is in love. Huh? In love? The bomber? Slipped into straight into a side case. I forgot I had a dog. I haven't even got to that part yet, though I do know that's a thing. I don't know it's who. He's got the eyes of a guy in love. You know, he sometimes stare, stares far off into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrassing, Seriously? really. And hard to imagine that kind of thing with bomber. Mm. Yeah, and who knew Imogashira would notice? 
something smells? I know, just do the call. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine taking a break from a Yakuza game and coming back to it and being like, the hell's going on again? <laughs> oh, don't worry, I don't, I'm not someone who worries about spoilers in general. And I already knew that was the mechanic of the game. Uh, and who knew Omega Share would notice it? Surprises all around today. Hey, I enjoy the occasional shoujo manga. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey. So where should I go find Bomber? He lives on the riverbanks of Eugene Show. Huh? The riverbanks? Yeah, it's family just don't know when he joined a gang, he has no place to go. The proper Edo, fire, er, Edo era fireworks making family and all. Bomber never has any savings. All the money he gets from shakedowns, he spends on fireworks. Huh. Let us send like a true Edo guy. They were notorious spendthrifts. You know the homeless camp near South Soccer River Street? It was close to there. I tried to find out who Barb was in love with. That info should come in handy if I'm uh, trying to make him turn over a new leaf. What's that? A weird homeless guy? Uh. Damn, I'm hungry. It's honestly helpful. This is honestly helpful for reminding you what's going on in this club. Hell yeah. I'm good for something. Yikes, he woke up. Oh shit, it's already time? No place to seat, got a smartphone in hand. How does he afford that? That was close. I was about to sleep through the meeting. I'm gonna meet someone, I should follow him. Our phones are too important. It doesn't matter who you are, how much money you have. Everyone tries to get a smartphone. Where in the main story are we? Um, we just met Kuwana, the handyman. And that's it. That's as far as we got. We met Sawa Sensei in the in the cafe. She uh must be seeing things. clearly got intimidated by someone. <laughs> yeah, I am extremely early on. I have played this game for what? Uh, four hours today, 15 hours, so we have a total playtime of 18 hours. 19 hours almost. And all of that has been school stories. We finished the skate club, the esports club. We're as far as we can with the dance club. Uh, we need appeal level 5 and to do more main story progress, and we need more main story for both boxing and robotics. So it's time to do the biker gang until we hit the first block, and then do whatever the hell this club is. Photography, probably? Casino? That is identical to my progress? I'm, uh, I'm someone who always, as soon as I unlock, uh, there's triangle on the ground, eh. As soon as I unlock, uh, side content like this, I, uh, I focus on it. It's the same thing in Yakuza 0, where I finished the real estate minigame as soon as possible. And then the Cabaret Club. Hey, I need you to keep staying here so I can hide behind you. Oh, okay. crap. I don't oh god, he's gonna see me. I'm so I'm so inconspicuous. How did he see me? In Yakuza 7, I did the business mini game instantly. Gotta get that essence of orbital laser. Definite side quest, Steven. Just casually looking for a nickel in the middle of the street. Cars are driving past me. Ah, oh, jeez. I guess I where did I where did I drop that that hundred yen coin? I also like how he's just this dude wearing Mad Max armor, just casually walking around. No one seems to care. More interested in the cats. 
gonna turn around. But it doesn't matter, I'm behind the car. <laughs> oh, well, those. <laughs> he scared those people off. Whoa, these directions are terrible. Weird. Whatever. Weird, I thought I was being followed. It's that guy who was looking for a for a hundred yen coin in the middle of the road. Oh well, he's just looking for directions on his phone, I guess. Hey, all right, Chan. You've been waiting long. No, I just got here. It's like Imogish, uh, Imogashira said, Barbara's got a girl. Man, talk about opposites attract. <laughs> Looks like you today, like an angel. See this candy too. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, oh, Junpei Kun. Huh? Uh, it's nothing like Oyax in the gang. cat stuff yet, you'll know that you uh, get to each, give each individual cat a name, you have to remember it every time. Oh no. Oh no, I have to remember the names I give them? Uh, what you want to talk about? Well, it's about what I saw on the phone. That was a joke, right? I'm so sorry, but it's true. But if your parents are that opposed, they'll just elope. It'll be just the two of us. We'll go overseas or something. Not possible, I couldn't do that. They're just gonna obey your parents and that's that? Pikun. Girl needs a friend. Maybe I'll go talk to her. Like, you name them based on appearance? See, my plan now that I know that is to just name them Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3. Oh, out of nowhere. There we go. And stay down. You have to choose out of four options? No, I can't name them Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3! Damn you, game, you've outsmarted me! Excuse me. Excuse me, got a minute? Huh? Who are you? Yagami. I'm Yagami. I'm with Made in Heaven. Oh, you're one of his gang friends. Or did you find him with Hanasaki earlier? Do you mind if I ask what's going on there? What? Um, you might be glad to know I'm thinking of asking him to quit the biker gang. <laughs> Wait, really? But... To do that, it would help if I knew more about him, so I can use his feelings to persuade him, you know? That'd be very good of you. If that's your plan, I'll help you out. Now, now I can ask her about Bomber. Well, why is a proper girl like you dating a motorcycle gangster? But half a year ago, Jimbe couldn't save my life. I was surrounded by a bunch of scary looking guys, he showed up and scared them all away. This is multiple choice. I got one right last night. Uh, I got one right last night named Bubbles because I knew I wouldn't name them Kiwi. That makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, I started by a bunch of scary looking guys, he shut up and scared them all away. Oh. The biker gang was named Made in Heaven? Yes. They are in fact named Made in Heaven. Uh, too much to eat as a thank you, pretty soon he asked me out. Um. What do you like about him exactly? I mean, he's just so cute, isn't he? That guy? Cute? Hi. Yes, and despite his appearance, he's very romantic. Loves flowers, we talk about them all the time. We wanted to go see an enormous flower garden together oh. someday. Bomber, talking about flower gardens? <laughs> Hard to imagine, isn't it? But he's very well versed in all flower types. What they're symbolic of. I was so looking forward to the day when the two of us can go on a picnic to a big lovely flower garden. Aww. That was an impossible dream because our love was forbidden. Sorry, it really takes some wild turns. <laughs> the BDSM get up screams romance. What you mean when you said your love was forbidden? Uh, parents are worried about their reputation. The members of the diet, and it'd be a huge scandal uh, if the public knew their daughter was going over the biker. Ah, I see what you mean. I resisted, but my parents got even stricter with me. Couldn't see him as much. Uh, nights when we couldn't see each other, I would look down on Eugene's show from my balcony and feel his presence. See colorful flowers all across the land, spreading from the night sky. And I know his feelings for me were growing with them. Does that mean? Wait, don't tell me those flowers are. Yes, the fireworks he pops off everywhere. Message of love he sends to me when I'm looking down from my parents' high-rise apartment. 
said to me, if you can't fly away from that cage of yours, I'll just have to grow blue, uh, beautiful flowers for you. Look down, you'll see your own gigantic flower garden. I'll be down in it waiting for you. You really said that, isn't it romantic? Seriously? Can't believe there's actually any meaning behind those fireworks. You should fulfill your promise, then you see, to go to a flower garden together. I'll definitely learn something unexpected about Bomber. No, I noticed Hanasaki was angry earlier. What was all that about? Yeah, it did bump him. Told Junpei-kun that I couldn't see him anymore. Hmm. Now why's that? You two are already dating in secret, even with your parents posing it, weren't you? I said if I keep saying Hanasaki, they'll talk to the police and have him arrested. Father, he's plenty of connections to the police. They'll do whatever he says. Okay, that explains it. I don't think there's anything else I need to ask. Yuri-san, there's one more thing I need to ask. <laughs> I don't think there's anything more I need to ask. Yuri-san, there's one more thing I need to ask. Uh, if I'm successful in getting Hanasaki to quit the motorcycle gang, it's possible uh, your parents will let you two be together. Well, I do think I can persuade them. The only reason they're opposed is because he's in a gang. Jibikung actually comes from a good family. They've been fireworks manufacturers since the Edo gotcha. era. Yagami-san, please do what you can for Jibikung. I'm waiting for him to come get me when yeah. it's all over. Sure, I'll let him know how you feel. Junpei Hanasaki, the bomber. I got plenty of info on him. Now all I need to do is beat him. Oh my god, where the hell were you guys? The building? Whoa, 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 what building? Which building? Oh, they found the body? Which building? This one? Right here? It is abandoned. It looks abandoned. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, right across, what, right across here. Yeah. I don't know yet. We're right across from the bike garage. Of course, I managed to hit the one thing. style, but you don't get barely any SP. Why is my skateboard so cool? Uh, because it's the DLC skateboard that comes for free with the PC version. Just like my motorcycle. <laughs> and my robot. I mean, it's free. <laughs> I didn't pay any money for it. Nagami, you ready for this? Yeah, of course. Let me confirm with you, Bomber. If I win, you'll do everything I say, right? Yeah. The argument there, rule is absolute. Whoever wins is the better man. That'll never gotcha. change. Okay, great. All right, you guys watch. I'm gonna throw out a fucking inferno of fireworks tonight. We'll be like a bunch of flowers exploding everywhere, winking in and out, each one like the Big Bang of the universe. Get ready to drink it all in, boys. Here we go. <laughs> He's raving as usual. That's not fair, I was sucking the animation. I was... It was right next to me. Oh. 
big boost. Alright, we got like three of them there. Oh, perfect guard. Sometimes the five years, five years, oh my god, it's been like ten years. Sometimes the ten years of being bad at fighting games pays off. And then that happens. I let go too early. That was my bad. That's not fair. I didn't even realize I actually did have health because there's no health bar. Like, we have got to have this cutscene photo finish, yes. but I'm already like miles ahead. What? That's bullshit! Yagami, you bastard. <laughs> wow, that's a little hostile. You're not even the guy I beat in the race. Promise you'll listen to my orders. You'll do whatever I say, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll honor the rule. Ah! From here on out, the Bakuan Ryu is yours to command, Yagami. Ah! By the way. Hey, right off the bat, I need one thing. Something I need you huh? to do. What is it? Anything you say. So quit the biker gang today. I want that what? Words. Bakuan Ryu doesn't need two leaders. What? No way. Come on, Yagami. You gotta think this over. Hold on a I wanna keep racing. I gotta keep planting fire flowers in the dark. Hey. Oh, because it's all for Hiyori-san? Huh? What? How'd you know that? Hanasaki, think about this. You really want to lose Hiyori-san just for this game. You have to break up with her if you stay in this Yagami. life. Nagami, did you... Did you only want to beat me because of her? Hanasaki, go to her, man. You say that. No, I but... can't. Hmm? Why not? Yagami. Tell you the truth, I just don't have the confidence. <sighs> No fireworks maker. I'm a homeless guy with no education. I don't know what it takes to make Yuri son happy. What should I do? Kanasaki. My parents disowned me, and now I'm not even the leader of my own gang. There's nothing for me anymore. I'm such a fuck up. That's not true at all. His voice. Sayama san. You may think you've got nothing going for you. But what about those Perfect. fireworks? You can drink some water. Aren't they your pride and joy? Ah, stuff it, old man. Junpei kun, listen to me. You have a rare talent for a respectable craft. So why waste it out here on the streets? Oh, don't give me that, Sayama. The streets are the only home I have. Besides, I can't exactly learn the family trade when it's my family that dumped me out here. Fair enough. Well, I was prepared for that sort of answer. I actually heard that Yagami-san was challenging you today. I wonder what he has planned. And I brought someone else who can recognize your town. Come on and say hello. Yeah. Whoa, what? Holy shit! Pops? Honestly, I've already approached him several times. I tried to talk him into letting bygones be bygones. But as it turns out, he's a stubborn man. He brushed me off every time. However, he heard his son was risking his life tonight. In the most dangerous the piano time. And he couldn't help but show. Now, 
Isn't there something you have to say? How could you be such an imbecile? Lighting fireworks while racing around on a bike like some hooligan? Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm sorry. I should tell you, your father was pretty surprised when he witnessed your fireworks in action. And I think it's clear to both of us how innovative you are, wouldn't you say? Huh, you call those noisy little sideshow duds innovative? I call it crap. Why don't you just tell him how you really feel? Just be honest. Stop being a tough love asshole, Dad. Last chance. Why the hell would I do that? Who spills his guts to his own flesh and blood? That's just, yeah, not how I was raised. Men don't talk. Yes, about they that. do. But if you don't ever communicate that to him, how will he know what his father really thinks? But that's your toxic masculinity is destroying well, your family. I suppose his work isn't too shabby. Didn't you say earlier how amazing he is? How much he's grown since you've seen him. Tiana, you traitor! You said you wouldn't... That sounds like a, a compliment? Pops, did, did you really say that? I... Yeah, did say that. I could see you put your heart and soul into those fireworks. Watching you flare up with them was like watching you run around as a little kid. Those were, uh... How do I say it? They were really something. No way! Yeah. I think maybe I've been ignoring some real talent. You also just been kind talent. of an asshole. Damn it. Maybe my age has finally caught up with me. Maybe you realize the way your dad raised you is not the way you should be raising your son. Don't you have something you want to say to your father? Huh? Well, uh, you see, I, I met a special lady. Real firework who lights up my life. And if it means making her happy, well, then I'm willing to make amends. I'll even quit the gang and, and live clean. If you take me back under your wing, I swear I won't let you down. I'll listen to whatever you say. I'm begging you, Pops. <sighs> I suppose I'll think about it. Does that mean we can be father and son again? That's what I said, you putz. Stop blubbering and haul it back home. Work. <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, son, the Mad Max gear you got. Oh, I think it just punctured my lung. Another club I can do. Yagami. Thank you, Yagami. Yeah. Take care. Give my regards to Hiori san. Yeah. Will do. And by the way, I love Aqua and Ryu in your hands. Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Not you bad. got me, Yagami. Never thought you'd actually get Hanasaki to quit. <laughs> on top of that, you got him to quit so you can be happy with his love. I think you're real softy, Yagami. Hey. Got something to say about it? The rule is absolute. No. If that's what Hanasaki wants, I won't stop him. Besides, you ordered it and the rule is absolute. Yagami! Uh, hey, you might watch my special show before I leave. Your special show? <laughs> I was saving this for just the right occasion. I love how it's... The, all the hey. fireworks are, are, for, are, are from, like, modified RPGs. What are you doing? Yeah, right, Sean. Look how much I love you. <laughs> Man, you really are a romantic guy. Speedboat motorcycle. Don't need you. <laughs> Throws you in the trash. We have two new clubs we can do, but we've still got more biker gang progress we can make. Can't do robotics, we can't do dance, can't do boxing. Message from Amasawa. Uh, chubbed by the club room, but I want to tell you about the professor. Yeah, that's just, they're letting me know I have more cool stories I can do. 
Let me quickly pull this up. Biker gang. Uh. All right. So it's the next set of uh braces. That's when it stops. Got, I guess, four or five more death races we can do before we're story locked. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, Asama, I heard the Raging Angels are around today. Is that true? Yep. Oh, they're riding alongside uh, the Shonen Shore as we speak. I think Suasan called them in to fight you specifically, Yagamichi. Hey. What do they like exactly? Raging Angels. The Raging Angels? They're an all-lady biker group. No men allowed, that sort of huh. thing. What's the leader like? Led by the smoking hot woman, Rina Minagawa-san. Hmm. Uh, they, uh, they have a few screws loose. So that's... Yeah, because of Rina-san. She's, like, not afraid of death at all. She says you gotta kiss the Grim Reaper and a uh, Grim Reaper in every race. That sort of huh. shit. Kiss the Grim Reaper? You watch her and it seems like not only is she unafraid of death, she's actually trying to die on purpose. Supposedly, if you kill in the middle of the crazy race, have a really crazy race, we'll go to Valhalla, the Bracer's Heaven. Oh no! Witness me! I live, I die, I live again! Uh, that does sound like some screws are loose. Hell oh, yeah, it does. She and all her minions are insane. Race against them, you won't see the next sunrise. Oh. What the hell's that noise? The bad bitches have arrived. Wait, that's the Raging Angel's leader, Mina Minagawa. This really is ah! Mad Max. Let's get this night going. This funeral march for all racers on their way to hell. A punk requiem to wake the dead. What's so loud? We are the Raging Angels! The Fallen Seraphim from Valhalla! Tonight, we are gonna thrash our way to the Underworld! Yeah! You're Yagami? Yeah. And you took down Hanasaki from Bakuon Ryu. Not bad at all. He must have been happy to die in <laughs> Still alive. I didn't kill him. I convinced him to retire. Retire? <laughs> Hear that, girls? What a wuss! <laughs> Once you retire from the death race, all that's left for you is getting old and ugly. And then when you show up to the gates of hell, the demons won't even let you through. <laughs> Did you just come with that lore on, that, on the hey. spot? We're gonna do this. Let's get started. Who's my first opponent, Minagawa? Rabaho! Show him who's boss! Oh, yay! A hottie! I wouldn't mind dying against him! Who said anything about dying? We need a chill. Oh, that's just how the Raging Angels see the world. To them, dying in a race is something to be proud I'm of. I'm taken. His name is Kaito. They die in a race, they go to sort of a race's heaven. Valhalla. Oh. Well, that makes perfect sense. Anyway, looks like that girl has chosen you as her suicide mate. Have fun! Woohoo! Let's go, handsome! I'll take you on a ride to heaven. Hey, yo. <laughs> how do I get myself into this? Lady, I'm 40 years old. I don't know how old you are, but you're not 40. Oh my god. These voice lines gotta chill. Alright. We're not here to kill them. Immediately kills them. Ooh. Where am I? I'm pretty far back. Okay. 
Die. Die. Uh, then get you. It's fine. Oh, shit, you're right here. I was wondering where you were. I wish you could do a boost while wheeling. I went over my head. Hi, bitch. Oh, right before that hit me. Right before that hit me. Oh, that's a one. Okay, so I have 100 health. Like 11 damage. It's hard to tell because it looks exactly like a 7. happening. You who rules the road and all that, that's your rule, right? Mm -hmm. So now you can ask me to do anything you like. Alright, here's my request. Quit doing these dangerous races. I put the thought of suicide out of your mind forever. If you're not saying you expect me to live in this cruel, shitty world. <laughs> yep, you're gonna make it using your own inner strength. That is more than just death races. More exciting, actually. More exciting than death races? Yeah, you gotta work a 9 to 5 job and uh, not get money. <laughs> you gotta work three of them. Uh, gotta work three part time jobs. Um, live with four other people. Barely pay rent. Be miserable all the time. Exciting, isn't it? And let's not even get started on taxes. Let's just say that life itself is a race to the death, and if I finish that race, then I can go to heaven? Yeah. Uh, no. It's not a race. You want to not finish first in that one. All right. Can I get that? Well, then I can just keep, can't just keep standing around here. The death race called life. 9 to 5 job is the true death race. The wage cage. Come on. What an idiot. Okay, that's one down. Welcome to something more exciting than a death race. The wage cage. There is no escape. Your boss will make a dollar while you make a dime. And then fire you for Yagami shitting on company time. Hanasaki? Hmm? Who are you? It's me, Hanasaki, former leader of the Bakuin Ryder you. Huh? What? Hanasaki? You mean bomber? Yeah, have you cleaned up? Yes! Hell yeah, I mean, bomber. Um. Wow, you really changed. I enrolled in some adult classes to get my high school diploma. I'm become a real fireworks maker. I'm a new man now. Study every day, if you believe it. Yeah, I'm real glad to hear that. Hey, how's Yuri, son? <laughs> so I'm going with her parents' permission, with her parents' permission this time. <laughs> nice, Thank congrats. From the bottom of my heart. Appreciate it, man. It's all By thanks to way. you. Actually, Onosaki, there's only one to ask you. Can you tell me anything about Rina Minagawa of the Raging Angels? I'm racing her next. Hmm. Ah, so you're finally going up, up against Rena. I got your back, dude. Tell you everything I know. Oh, I'll, I'll, don't worry. Uh, this is on me. <laughs> Why don't you give me the lowdown over some Thank food? From the bottom of my Great, heart. thanks for treating me. Don't worry, I got like 50,000 yen. I also can easily make 4 million. I just want to double check.
Okay, so there's two more and then Reno. There's three more races. Then we can go do photography and then... Just, oh. Well, I've got him. I can also ask him about Made in Heaven. I don't know about Sua. What's he like? Oh, Sua isn't just fast. There's something else about him. Like, he truly loves the thrill of it. It's all his heart and soul. He loves them? Those death races? That guy the road is a playground. Some kids are just destined to break bones while they play on them. Oh. Except it's a playground, because the guy must be fearless. No. No, it's the opposite. He loves death races because they're scary. He just overcomes his fear and wins, and then he goes on about how heaven is just one more step beyond fear. Mm -hmm. Heaven? Yes. Yeah, he talks like there's some kind of world only he can see. I have to admit, when he's racing, it doesn't look like he's got the natural world on the side. Seriously, it's like even the wind blows in his favor. It's as if all the laws in the universe are different when Suo is on the circuit. I see. This is the heaven that Suo was talking about, huh? That's why the rest of us are pumped whenever we get a ride with him. A whole hour of racing feels like just a minute. This feeling you get when your bike, your body, and the road all come together as one. The real reason he gets that feeling is just the hold Suo has over him. You know, Rina Minigawa of the Raging Angels she reaches to her members that they die in the race to go to a race's heaven or something like that. Yes! Uh, yeah, that's right. That's why she doesn't fear death herself. In fact, she wants to die. Her group has this mantra, ride hard against the hardest opponent, and if you reach ecstasy, you'll blow the gates of heaven wide open. Rina came up with it. That's a terrible motto. Uh, literally telling people to die during the race? That's crazy yes. talk. I will abstain from saying what I was thinking of a second ago. Where's the spray bottle? Uh, to that, it's the difference between Arena and Suo. He faces his fear and overcomes it, she just never has any fear to begin with. Because of that, she's a strong racer, even though she's not quite a skill. She rides so recklessly, it's like watching a toddler play with a stove but hasn't been burned yet. Hmm. Hmm, so she's intense. Now we have to beat her. Hey. Later the night Suo became rep, I heard him when he was still a disciplined committee guy. He confronted the bikers all by himself. He faced off against the whole crowd of guys and spoke out. That's when akatsuka son, the rep of the time, took some notice of him. He made a proposal. He said if Suo beat him in a race, he makes the Serious students quit the game. And then Suo absolutely crushed him and became the new rep. That's how it happened in one night. In other words... Did Suo just have a raw talent for racing? Yes. Yeah, or something like that. It's like a lion woke up inside of him. I think the race never stirred some deep-seated instinct he had. I think the race stirred some deep-seated instinct he had. After that, he just never stopped. Challenged the heads of the Baku and Ryu and the Raging Angels, beat them, and then united us all into one group, made in heaven. Hmm. How did a giddy, how did a goody two shoes kid turn to so bad in one night? Weird. Thanks, Hanasaki. I think I understand a lot more now. Oh, thanks for sharing that with me. No problem. Anytime, Yagami son. If you want to practice your racing? Just let me know. Sure, thanks. <laughs> See ya, I got a date with Yuri, chan Oh, he's certainly changed. Even has the exact same hair style jacket. We're all the way in Chinatown now. I guess while we're here, we'll give the garlic. Gotta give my man his garlic so he can keep those goddamn suckheads away. That's not a very boxer of you. Quite like a boxer 
fucking spin flip kicking a dude in the face while he's on the ground. Here's a garlic. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, rushing tiger. As you're uh? going, better thanks to you. Remember your Chicago sensei? Because uh, what you supplied us, he's been able to decipher all sorts of information. Each discovery is more thrilling than the last. Not exciting. You might actually discover something about your past mm. after all. Uh, he's almost cracked the code. I need you to finish gathering up those materials. Or leaf clover. I know I got a clover. Was it a four leaf or a three leaf? Okay, good, we're good. Uh, rushing tiger. Charge attacks and damage you deal and dealt from charge attacks with green. Okay, so more damage. Anson Crane. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Yeah, what's that? I've done it. Codex. All makes sense to me now. You don't say them? Please, tell me what's in there. Well, it might be hard to swallow, but choose to believe what's written here. Seems your ancestors, the Amazon, were in fact Chinese sorcerers who crossed the ocean in ages past. They later became the hermits of the mountains. Mm -hmm. Hermits, you say? Uh, your clan was fiercely devoted to the study of what you call extracts, but the Codex are called elixirs. The reason they emigrated to Japan is not stated. Not long after the arrival, they were made into vassals of prominent ruling family after demonstrating their miraculous powers. Elixirs in hand, they treated illnesses and warded off invaders and improved their domain's livelihood in many ways. But life was good for them. Mm -hmm. Not even from this country. Ever as the wheels of history turned, they eventually sought refuge in the wilderness. What does that mean? From what? Uh, well, a certain local lord became coveting their power to use it to conquer the surrounding territory. You're saying they were forced to use their elixirs for war? Evidently, that was the plan. An army that could heal any injury or summon supernatural strength would have certainly been unstoppable. The plan despised that notion. They fled to the remote mountains to prevent them from being found. They became, and to prevent from being found, they became nomads. Bots are out in force today, huh? We also begin writing in code, obscuring the secrets from those who would exploit them. We should explain the mystery of this codex. I see. see, the Niyama son may really be a hermit after all, at least a descendant of one. <laughs> so, my ancestors rena renounced a life of comfort and even defied the government all to keep their work from being exploited. But fine people they were. Now that I think about it, Niyama san also didn't want his work getting exploited, because he inherited their spirit. Chikawa-san, let me ask you, was this a historical record or more of a myth that the culture invented? That is the question, isn't it? Yama-san, as a researcher, it is my responsibility to sort fact from fiction. My understanding is that this codex was written as a way of passing down the clan's legacy. The story tells it something compelling. Unfortunately, I can't think of a single historical docu document that can corroborate the tale we just heard. As a researcher, I cannot acknowledge what's written here as indisputable fact. In other see, words. Don't most legends and myths have some truth to them? Depending on who interprets them, the story may change. You're very sharp. When we study ancient cultures, it's important to remember that imagination was just as real to them as observation is to us. All myths led to truth on some level. Uh, that makes sense. I can accept that. Look at this, Yoshikawa Sensei. In spite of everything, my ancestors managed to faithfully hand down their traditions through the ages. And now that tradition's been properly handed to me, uh, to me that's all I care about. No matter how true or made up, it's enough to give my life real meaning. Yes, you made a salient point just now. Yet any of a community or culture is built upon shared traditions. It's these traditions that have led, held communities together and allowed them to flourish. So that you're not, this knowledge is mm. priceless. Yeah, so thanks to what I learned today, how to put it. It's just my entire life, I was tossed in all directions by the wind. But now my feet have firm ground to walk on. I finally have the foundation I was searching for. I can only imagine. There's something else for you. Found another passage stating that somewhere in the mountains of Shinshu lies the secret resting place for your people. If you like, why don't we go visit together? You take me to my ancestor's grave? I'm sure they'd be proud of you, Yama-san, that you spent your life carrying on their legacy. But you greet them with your held, your head held high. Uh. Maybe so. And how about once I wrap things up at the shop, you and I take a trip. After a lifetime of searching for closure, I can probably find the answer to my past. Do not express my gratitude, yep. Yagami-san. Now they can help, Yama-san. And it was very low effort, because I just had everything on me. Uh, you can cancel most actions with quick step, you'll evade bullets automatically. Okay, that's kind of crazy, though. I'm gonna be real, that, it's kind of crazy. Especially... Ooh. I guess you don't have...
quick step attack. Maybe it's not in there. Also, be you know hidden in the skills I don't have. And I've also picked it up because it might just be called something different. Oh, that's why it's called Nimble Strike. It's exactly as I said it might be <laughs> if we name something different. All right, well, back to death racing. Why did I go into oncoming traffic? Oh, come on, dude. I was literally in front of you. You could clearly see that there was a dude running through there. You actively chose to hit him with your car. Dude went flying. Dude, that beginning of the, the crane style theme. It just has a little brief riff that sounds like the da -na 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 from Toxic. best you got what a waste they're literally just teenagers who decided to pick a fight with me for no reason and now have to pay extreme hospital bills and miss a bunch of class though they're probably not upset about that one It's so crazy because I haven't even touched actual side cases. It's just been school stories. So we still, after all of this, we still have more side content to do before we go back to the main story. So you're ragging me, huh? Good looking guy, just like they said. Wanna die alongside me? We can have a joint funeral. Um, no. I'm just gonna die sometime, better die pretty young instead of old and ugly. Besides, don't get many chances to die with a BD like me, do ya? <laughs> well, until this, let's leave this plane of existence together, handsome. Is everyone on Raging Angels hey. like this? Coconut, that's enough flirting. You ready to race? <laughs> like this guy's coconut shrink back up into his body. I 
I should have launched that one into the other one and killed them both. All, all I'm gonna say. Oh, uh, that's not fair. I accidentally boosted. And I automatically died to that. You boosted? Well, guess what? I got, I got more boost where that came from too. Wow, she boosted past me and did that. There was no avoiding that. Fun fact, not only can you only do death races at night, you also aren't allowed to be drunk while driving. Any alcohol in your system, the game stops you. No drinking and driving in this game. Alright! You beat me. Oh. You beat me, guess I have to live. If you listen to me now, yeah, yeah, I'll send you until you're in the grave, right? Double you and all your races from now on. <laughs> we finally die together and go to Valhalla. Nope. No, stop that. Stop thinking we're dying. You're retiring as a race to start your day. Hi, here. Then we go back to just being a regular yeah. girl. I guess in the mm -hmm. sand. What else gonna do when the guy I've fallen for tells me to stop? To be honest, it's always my dream to be an idol anyway. Huh? <laughs> you wear a key city fairly outfit, make all the boys who are crazy be a huge pop star. Yeah. Uh, alright. Live your dreams, I guess. Come on. She had all the hair outside her mohawk permanently removed. So she can be an idol now. Be a mohawk idol. Alright. Once we progress the main story, we can actually finish dance class too. Dance club. I love how there's only actually like four clubs. I guess five with photo uh, photography. But you're doing a boxing gym outside of school. You're doing a biker gang, not part of the school. The skate club was not part of the school. They're just related. How do you do, fellow kids? I am also a death racer. Mm -hmm. I'm old. Huh? Gangsters, get out! Hiker games are the scum of society. Kick them out of me, Chicho. Um. Some of those people. Yep. Like your game prevention group? Huh? Prevention group? Are they the ones who are working with at risk youth? That sort of thing? <sighs> yeah, that's them. They got pretty extreme lately. Definitely don't seem to have the same opinions as old man Sayama. Uh, these guys won't land a hand on us no matter what we say. Let's use them for a little stress relief, eh? <laughs> that was great. Ow! Bastards, think you can get away with that? I'll beat your ass. Stop! Don't touch them, you idiot. They'll get arrested.
Is that the vice rep of the bike, the bike gang prevention group? You're all sewer rats scavenging this city. The only reason you haven't been stamped out is you're smart enough to not bite the citizens. <laughs> you're Otsuki son, aren't you? You must be feeling pretty desperate these days. What was the promise you made to the public? I'll get rid of all the biker gangs in Eugene shows. Not what you said. <laughs> huh. Do you think there's such a thing as a sewer rat who understands politics? So there's such a thing as, as a sewer rat who understands politics. Surprising, but I think I'll exterminate you anyway. Bastard. Stop that. Hey, what are you doing, Otsuki son? Stop that. This is want them son. gone. We can't just sit around and be diplomatic with them. Stop that. I don't care. Just back off for now. We're going to lose everything you keep. You keep going. You say so. Corporate wants to wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. It shows these guys in bleached Japan. That was actually my first thought. The second the old people walked out, I was like, this is just old person's bleached Japan. Let's go, everyone. I guess Maiden Heaven isn't getting along with the other groups right now. But this doesn't lead to anything more. Yagami -sama. Nice to meet you, Yagami Sama. Hmm? Don't tell me you're my next opponent. Oh, but I am. Plus, I'm an officer of the Raging Angels. Uh, and Rina Minagawa-sama's patron. My name is Chachako Serioin. What do you mean by patron? What does that mean? Did you say patron? What does that mean? It means I've been sponsoring Inasama for a long time, ever since she pressed me through exemplary doctrine. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I gotta say, you don't really look like a wild biker chick. Parents were upper class. They gave me quite the comfortable life. I a heck of a drug, and all I needed. Never felt any real want or desire. Can you imagine how incredibly boring that is? You have my thanks. But Rina Sama, uh, Rina Sama gave me was a way to escape that boredom. That's what death races do. Mm. Think of it much for a fancy lady like you. Wouldn't it be more fun to go home and have a tea party? Are you mocking me? A little bit. <laughs> she changed her hair, too. You fucking shit! You better shut your cocky mouth, you shithead. I didn't have tea parties and shit when I was a kid, okay? And like I said, it nearly killed me with boredom. But I wouldn't let it. Wouldn't let it. I fought for my life and I found what I was looking for. You got gotcha. that? Sure, whatever. Look, I'll race you and I'm gonna beat you and you're gonna reconsider wasting your life like you are. Go ahead and try Yagami. Like I guess she changed her hairstyle too. Oh my god, every time. Die. Oh, look at that double kill. Did you see that? That was tight. Yeah, so they just rubber band to you like that. I think they only boost if you get too far ahead of them. Watch this. You know boost. Gonna boost to catch up now. Yeah. So it's like if they get minus 25 meters from me, they'll just boost. 
and the boost will automatically just bring them. Oh no. Alright, now. The boost does last for a genuine length. That's why you stock up boosts for the end. So they can't rubber band to you. There we go. Sweet. Oh. Did that really just happen? Yeah. Rina Sama has the god of street racing abandoned me. What have I done to deserve this? Hey. Oh, stop being so melodramatic. You lost one race. What? What? Listen, I don't know what doctrine the raging angels live by, but I know you're better off writing your own doctrine. Huh? But if we do that, the straight racing god a straight racing god will punish me. Helmet and visor on, Yagami almost looks like Namba from a distance. Yeah. You can see that. The street god is dead. <laughs> what? Dead? Yeah. Yep. Which means we'll have to walk on our own two feet. There's no one to carry you, at least on this plane of existence. I think I read that somewhere. The street god is dead and we killed him. The street racing god is dead. Uh, maybe that's true. At the very least, maybe I'm using to follow your instructions. <laughs> There's no street god, then the world might as well belong to me. The world is mine. Uh, she's surprisingly simple-minded, really. And now I've got three victories under my belt. Yagami. How dare you take all my officers? I see what's going on, you know? You're a messenger of Satan, here to sow chaos and disruption. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Tomorrow night, I'm taking you down myself in a race. Once I do that, the gates of heaven will open for me. Yeah! That's right! The gates to heaven! I'll beat you in this race and I will achieve Chim. So, to sum it up... So, can I take that as a promise to race yeah. me? Sure can, I'll be staring my ass the whole time. No, I won't. Even if I'm behind you, I'm not doing that. Told you, I'm taken, and his name is Kaito. Yagami-san. Good evening, Yagami-san. Seems like your races have been going well. Yeah, they are. Next time, next up, I'm racing Rina Minagawa. Mm. Rina Minagawa-chan. Now there's a femme fatale. After Reiji Murasaki, uh, Murasaki died, she became unstoppable. Reiji Murasaki, the front, uh, first representative. Yes. Yeah, she was always crazy, but Reiji was the one person she actually listened to. She respected him just as much as the other Maiden Heaven kids did. She gave him extra respect, actually. You might say she saw him as a god. A god. I should ask Sayama-san about Rina Minagawa. Eiji Murasaki was a very charismatic person among all the delinquent youth. Why were they so drawn to him? From what I know. Uh, he had courage, sincerity, smarts, and strength. Everything young people admire. In all likelihood. Those things made him irresistible, especially to a bunch of edgy kids. In other words. Rina Minagawa was one of those? Yes. Yeah, she admired him even more than the rest did. That's really saying something. To be honest, she was utterly, completely devoted to Reiji. Devotion, huh? Mm. When Reiji died in the accident, she saw it as some sort of holy event. Huh? Wait, a holy event? Do you believe that the very moment uh, Reiji's life is extinguished, she became a god? Huh. But she had a crazy idea like that. <sighs> I don't know, but she never went off a rocker uh, like that while he was still alive. My theory is that Reiji didn't actually want her to continue doing the death races. I have a reason for this theory, you know? Reiji secretly promised me something. That he would disband Made in Heaven. Huh? Really? He did that? 
I'll tell you the whole story. During my time in the traffic division, I tried a bunch of times to convince Ray G to disband his group. Eventually, I was outright begging him to stop the death races. Of course, he didn't listen at first. One day, one of his members was badly injured in an accident. Then he finally listened to me. Old man. I think I finally get what you're saying, old man. I tell you, I don't ever want to see that happen to one of my guys again. We shouldn't be racing as fast as we can towards death. We should be racing towards the future, man. I'm gonna support disbanding. I made a decision. I uh, made a decision you'll, you'll, you'll love, old geezer. I'm going to disband the EDF. Does that mean? Uh, before he died, Reiichi Murasaki had agreed to disband the gang. Yes. Yep. We were so so close. But then that stupid car chase had to happen. <laughs> Very next night, the traffic division tailed him, and then he was gone. Do any of the other members know about Reiichi Murasaki's last wish? I don't think so. I to tell them, they just wouldn't believe me. The Chanel the Vice representative, uh, Akatsuka Kun. In fact, he flew into a rage when I told oh. him. Rage, he would never disband the group. We're a family, he said. But seriously, he nearly killed me. So after that, I left the matter I let the matter drop. I see. This is all news to me. So now I'm imploring you, Yagami san. Please try to help Rina Minagawa and Yuma Suo see the light. They don't know about Rage's final wish. What if they do end up in a horrible axe and lose their yep. lives? Sure, I want to help them. That's the whole reason I joined Made in Heaven. Do a quick save because it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been three hours. It's been three. Holy. How has it been so long? All we've done is school stories and we're not even done them all. Ugh, as always, that's really loud. The throbbing heart is the beat of the engine. The one I love is the asphalt. My first kiss tasted of death. Riding to die. Let's go to Valhalla. Come on, angels. Let's ride out to the next life. Yagami. Now you must offer up the very last dregs of your soul to the race. Your noble death on the circuit shall be your road to God. Uh, no. We're going to come back alive. You and me both. You idealist. Let's fly, angels! Oh, yeah! Huh? Huh? The riding, too? Ah! Of course they are. They're the attendees and mourners who will really get tonight's funeral rites going. Ah, it's too loud! If you get hit with this thing, race is gonna be really bad. I'm really trying to not, uh, trying to make sure these kids disband and not die. Rams my bike into them repeatedly as they explode behind me. Boosted to five different girls. They explode behind me. What? How'd you turn around? One. Oh, I think you actually get a, a, a little boost of boost. boost we can get. Time to just win. There 
average is a couple of straightaways, but still. Alright, we're boosting. I, like, 200 meters away from you. <laughs> we're all gonna come back alive. Makes them crash out of pavement going 150 kilometers an hour. money back too. I just saw. Looks like I won. Hey. You're this absolute law. You listen to me now. Hey. 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 This is Yagami. Hey. So you're gonna make me quit too? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I get it. I'll leave the team. That's something I gotta do. Gonna jump out into traffic? Hmm? Hey, hey! Take me to heaven right now! Take me where to, to where he is! Uh. Ah! They would've slowed down. She was very visibly on the road. They would've slowed down and stopped. They wouldn't have just kept going full speed. Maybe they would have. I don't drive cars. I don't know how psychotic you have to be to be in one of those. Hey! Hey, what kind of stupid crap are you doing now? I can't do this. I have to leave the angels and there's no meaning in life. There's just no meaning. Minagawa? Hey! Girl, you need therapy, not death. Give me your orders. Order me to die. Why don't you tell me why you want to die so badly, Minagawa? You think dying in a race is meaningful, but what I saw you trying to do was a pointless suicide mission. You know, when I was a young child, I just stopped going to school because I didn't get along with others. I didn't have any friends, never mind any dreams of the future. It didn't help that my parents were shitheads who thought of me as a nuisance. I lost all hope in living. I was just apathetically waiting to die each day. Apathetically? Apathetically. Come on. Uh, the world seemed all gray to me. Hey. Minagawa, what are you trying to say? I'm saying he changed all that. The one and only Reiji Murasaki. He was like the sun to me. He brightened my world. The moment I met him, he showed me the joy of riding, the joy of living, and also the joy of falling in love. Ah, so you were... Oh, it was hopelessly one-sided. At least my world finally had some color on it. Color on it? Color to it. And then... He exploded. I watched my sunset forever. Does it make me just want to rewatch Zombieland Saga, by the way? I used to talk about death a lot, you know? He would ask me, where do you think we go when we pass away? When one of his boys got hurt real bad and almost died, he got all sentimental. Rena. Hey, Rena, do you know that a long time did you know that a long time ago the Norse Vikings had this belief that if they died in battle they'd go to Valhalla, the warrior's heaven? If you're saying if we die during a race, we go to race with seven? <laughs> so why you're spreading that stupid doctrine in the raging, uh, in the raging angels? <laughs> Thought if I treat you like a religion, it might actually come true. I thought I might go to heaven, for real. Same heaven where Reiji is. Hey. Look, Minagawa, I never knew Reiji Murasaki. But I don't think he wanted what? you to die. Oh, yeah? Uh, he promised that this band made in heaven. Yama-san told me that right before Reiji Murasaki died, he made a vow. He would make his next race his last, and he would disband Made in Heaven. What? What? Disband? Yeah. Because he saw one of his guys almost die in a race accident. It changed him. Why? Reiji really said that? No way, he wouldn't. What? Racing was his life. He would never throw it away. It's true. Old man Sayama? Heard it directly from Reiji himself. I swear it's true. You're lying. There's no way. He mentioned you too. What? what? Mina's got beauty and brains. Someone like her should be in a gang. Her dream is to become a nurse. She's perfect for that job. She's so ride kind. Toward tomorrow. By now, I want them all to ride toward tomorrow, not death. When I disband the team, we're going to tell that to Rina and everyone. Unreal. Reiji said all of that? Yeah, he really cared about you. Reiji wants you to go on to live with hope. You would have meant leaving behind racing, his former purpose in life.
No, Reiji. I mean, he shouldn't have. Hey. Minigawa? You loved Reiji Murasaki that much when following his wishes would be the least you could do for him. Yagami. That what you're ordering me to do since you beat yeah. me? Yes. Since I'm the victor, you should follow my orders, which is ride to, which is to ride toward Tomora. Yagami. Thank you. I get it. I'm gonna live for my own sake. I'm gonna live to the fullest in every way that Reiji never got yeah. to. Sounds great. This just makes me really want to rewatch the Zombie Land saga now. Zuo. So, you sure about this? Two of your officers just quit. The rule is absolute. You know the rules, can't complain. I, guess. I see, you're really standing firm on that. Hey. Ghost, you're up next. Think you can win? <laughs> Stupid. Don't you worry about a sure thing. Can. I'm gonna smother him in my dust. <laughs> Not very predictable. Mission main slash school story progress. This is so fucked up. But it's okay, because we have two new schools, uh, clubs to do. Well, off to Serio High. There's another club you want me to investigate. I already know this. So, peel is five, focus is five, everything else is four. What do you think? Need a Kurosan? Your face is telling me more than your mouth is. I believe I have one. <laughs> is that so? Then go right ahead. Hmm? But I'm a Sawa, I need a Kura. Huh? Ah, oh, the maid! I lost again? <laughs> Sounds like a good time in here. Old maid, huh? Just the two yes. of you? Yes, but primarily focused on the bluffing aspect of the game. Fortunately, I just lost for the tenth time in a row. She's too good at making me pull the Joker. <laughs> there are even a couple times I got you to take him the first two rounds. Hmm. Not sure if that means he'd occur as a card shark, or I'm a saw just an easy mark. So I'll be off now. Main story. Who? So keep you having fun. Now I'd be sound that wasn't a simple game. That was work for the mm -hmm. MRC. Really? Playing cards is gonna help with the case? It is. Found another community that I need you to infiltrate. This time, it's a casino. Okay. A casino? The school doesn't have a gambling club, does it? No. Oh no, it just has a town. So you'll be going undercover to an actual casino. No way. We moved from aping detective flicks to doing the spy movies, have we? No, no. Not at all. It's for a genuine case. A full fledged casino? What would that have to do with delinquent Serio students? Well. Actually, word's gone around that a Serio student's gained access to a casino in town, and that she's been gambling regularly there. Yes. This girl? Yes, Kohaku Ayakawa. She's a second year. Alright, fill me in on the situation. You know, so they usually let high schoolers gamble, do they? Yes. yes, normally they can't even get access to such places. The casino Hayakawa sons when going to wouldn't let her in under usual circumstances either. But... Then, is Haya... then how's Hayakawa getting in? Did she fake her membership? That's likely, although I don't think she'd be easy for a high schooler to create a fake ID that easily. I mentioned she does she's had help from a third party. What does that mean? By a third party you mean the professor. No bigger suspect when it comes to aiding and abetting delinquents than the professor. It's safer to believe he had a hand in this than it'd be to believe he isn't involved. I see. Gotcha. Considering the professor's connections, easy to figure out at least one of them would be a forager. <laughs> you know, I've been doing some reading from, on forgery lately. A job often performed by, from the shadows where fakes of anything from passports to driver's license, licenses can be crafted to serve all sorts of purposes. Yeah. And I imagine some membership card to a casino would be impossible for them to make, but they're impossible to get a hold of them with the cash or connections. So tell me, what kind of student is this Hayakawa-san? She seems to be a decent person, she's in the board game club. Fairly good student, no connections to or records of delinquency. Her reputation seems solid overall. One thing is, I've heard she gets very competitive when it comes to the games. Not only that, she's very good at them. In fact, she's won countless board game tournaments. Nothing seems to face her when she's in the zone, be it strategy, bluffing, or even the luck of the draw. 
that she find out she's going to a casino in the first place. She happened to mention it a bit too loudly to one of the other members of her club, that she found a casino she could get into, and she'd been having more fun there than anywhere else lately. That those games are much more thrilling than the ones they play in the club. Where the thrill at the I'm worried I worry that thrill may end up costing her in the long run, considering how she's already ramped up the stakes so highly. What's her win rate like? As unbelievable as it may sound, she's a perfect record. Mm -hmm. The Hayakawa-san has a rather unique talent. According to other board game club members, she has the uncanny ability to read people perfectly. Hmm? You mean by read people, exactly. Use any opponent's current emotions whenever facing them down in a game. Hmm. Doing that based on expressions and behavior? No one knows how she does it. Apparently she can even read players who are putting on convincing poker faces. Whatever it is, though, it's made Hayakawa-san virtually unstoppable in any competition involving psychological fortitude. Players who get antsy when they have a bad hand, or the excited ones with winning hands, all competitors have their tells. In other words... Someone created an opponent's emotions with a high degree of accuracy, they would be particularly good at games involving bluffing, such as poker. You're trying your hand at Hayakawa's ability when you were playing Old Maid with Yudakura. Yes. That's correct. Unfortunately, you could get a read on Urukura san once, while on the flip side, she toed with me the entire time. See, well, I think I get the gist of what's going on. Where's this casino supposed to be? Mm. Well, about that. It's an underground sort of arrangement. I don't know about its exact location. We need to have gathered as far as its members only. Hard to access. Words. First step is finding a yes. casino. Uh, if it's anywhere, I expect to be around Chinatown. When I would tail her, that's where I usually lose gotcha. sight of her. Not allowed to look at the buzz reacher. It's probably because it eases the map. Or not in this, uh, the main map. Funny to Kurosan smile. Hey. I'm a, I'm a Sawa Senpai. Will you please do something about this? <laughs> Why not just smile for her? She only needs one photo, she said. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> just annoying. Still want to waste, uh, want you to waste the miracle of youth. You to Kurosan, you need to have it documented. Go on, smile. Enough already. I said no, you bratty little shutterbug. You want me to break that stupid camera? Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, oh. Shit up at the perfect time, Yagami san. Excuse me. Yagami san, you must be the famous detective. Huh? Baby, and who are you? I'm Mei Toribe, president of the photography club. I've actually been dying to talk to you as a fellow documentarian. Maybe as a fellow what? Detectives take candid photos all the time. The text and the cameras are inseparable, aren't they? Uh. I'm begging Suppose. you. I can say the photography, photography club has been acting almost like a detective club lately. It'd be so awesome if you gave us some advice, Yagami san. Toribe san is pursuing the professor as a photographer? What? What does that mean? Yes. Well, I hope to get an actual shot of him eventually. In the meantime, I want to use the power of the photographic arts to enlighten all the students who led astray. Mm. Come again? Let's sit down and talk about it, Yagami-san. Have a seat. Yeah, let's see what Toribe has to say. Uh, uh... Tell me what exactly do you mean when you say we want to take photos to enlighten others? Well, all of us live trapped inside a cage, a cage of subjectivity, and the self is unrecognizable as an object because of... Uh-huh. Photography can free you from that cave. Uh-huh. Huh. Uh -huh. I explain. Or if you like surprised me, see a picture of yourself. No. Like, so you think yourself, so this is how I'm seen by other people? No. Hmm. No, this never happened to me. Okay, yeah, so that's what uh, objectifying the subjective is all about, Let's you look at yourself with objectivity. Uh, you know, you, you would... Rarely do evil, they almost always recognize it. Ones that actually do evil lose sight of themselves, typically. They also try to justify it just to avoid looking what's ugly inside yeah. of them. I understand that. But we need to take pictures of those delinquent students to force them to look at their actions objectively. Uh, it'll make their own stupidity into an object right before That's them. Design. That's design. Nah. Design. Yagami san. Uh, Yagami san. Sounding inside Tori Bay's rather esoteric philosophy. Is there any way the MRC can help? If you really get delinquent students to reflect on the behavior, they can be an effective countermeasure against the professor's influence. Mm. I get that. Can we really make that much yeah. of a difference? Of course we can. If you teach me detective style photography techniques, that'll make a huge difference. Hey. Why is the photography club involved with the MRC? Um. Apparently the club likes to take photos according to a certain theme. The current theme is delinquency, unless they're interested in the professor's story. Hey, we take photos of shoplifters, muggers, people driving without a license, helmet, middle-aged men getting beaten up, escort services. <sighs> Recently, we've heard that there's lots of seemingly innocent students who are getting into trouble around Ijincho. Supposedly, they're tainting the entire city's image. Entire city, not simity. 
entire city's image. Terrible, huh? Uh, you're gonna try to capture some of these terrible moments? Huh. Alright, two in pursuit of the professor, supplies with Tori Banks, one to support her. Smile, I'm a Sawa Senpai. <laughs> Smile so pretty! You sure seem to get along. You detected, but you have a lot of opportunities to secretly photograph your target. Or Tori Banks been trying to take photos of crimes, but just can't seem to hack it. It's true, the main problem is criminals trying to attack me. In other words... Her passion for photojournalism is putting her in danger. That's why I think she needs you to protect her. I know some teacher who takes care of students who seek out trouble. Make like some information with the professor while you chase the delinquent students, yeah? <laughs> Said where you're coming from, I'll help. Thank you so much. Third floor of the East Building. Oh, it's always the East fucking building. Gotcha. It's always the East fucking building because not in the fucking classroom building. Okay then. What? Go to up. Oh no, up! Oh. Uh. Damn. So, here's step number one. Do not scream photo op when you get one. Okay? That's all you need to know. Cheap as hell, why not? It also max out my alcoholism. Alright, let's see if the photography club is open this late. Oh right, we have a side quest here. It is. Girl, it's past nine. Go home. Yagami -san. Oh, yeah, san Oh, Yagami-san, I'm so glad you're here. If I recall correctly, you need me to help you with your pictures. Well, what am I taking photos of? Hmm. There's a student who's suspected of pickpocketing and uses a pretty clever ammo. I've tried to photograph him so many times, just can't manage it. You want me to snap a photo of him pickpocketing? Yes. I want to get a picture of him in the act so I can show him the photo and make him reflect on his hey. conduct. Get this straight. Sounds like you don't plan on telling the school about it, turning him into the police. Yes. Of course, all the liquid students should be given a chance to turn over a new leaf. All I want is to bring awareness. Bring enlightenment. Gotcha. Hey, I'm on board. Where am I going? Take a gate of Jinai Station. You're your student by the name of Jodai Fujimaru. He's like a harmless innocent student, he has a habit of stealing things. That's him right there. Uh... There he is. Oh, it's really convenient. Sorry, I was yawning. Uh, we seem to just wander into the street and start pickpocketing. Hmm. He's got me, how do you want me to take these photos? Uh, key here is to take pictures that'll make the target reflect on what he did. Catch him at the precise moment when he lifts the wallet and has some sort of evil look on gotcha. his face. Yes. Yeah. Uh, pickpockets, evil look. Okay. Uh. Glue to the wallet, puts a menacing face, taking a max zoo. Oh my god, that's annoying. I hit circle! I hit circle instead of X. I need to be at a completely different spot. God, that pisses me off. I hate photo ops in this game. Okay, let's 
He takes it from this guy. There we go. This took the last attempt, but third time's the charm. Hey, he's got a great shot. Look, his face totally looks evil. And he's got the wallet in his hand. Impressive, you're gonna be silent. He's that pick to enlighten hey. you tomorrow. Oh, hey. Guess I hit the jackpot. What the? Now be enlightened. Huh? This is the type of person you want to be. You're supposed to be pure heart. Do you see this, Fujimaru san? What are you talking about? Who are you, anyways? High school's mind is like a tabula rasa. Canvas with infinite possibilities, untainted by any color. Enlightenment will allow you to finally leave your child state. And photography will give you the opportunity for enlightenment. Are you from some sketchy religious group or something? If so, I'm not interested. Hey, hey Tori Bay, word of advice. You need to explain yourself in simple terms. You don't want to be misunderstood. Hey, uh, please take a look at this photo. Just the moment you pickpocket an innocent citizen. What the? Wait, what the hell is this? Who are you guys? I'd like to ask you the same thing. Who are you? You're not the kind of person who commits such a heinous crime. But you see, even through your actions, even though your actions can never be undone, it's not too late for you. Confront your objective self and be enlightened. Alfhaven, please. I'm the Alfhaven. Hey, you're trying to blackmail me, right? Right? <laughs> the only thing being blackmailed is your conscience. I don't understand anything you're saying, so are you just some crazy girl? I'm gonna fucking kill you if you don't shut it. Hey! Hey, stop it. You step off, or I'm gonna kick her ass. Freaking damn it, fuck. This is how the mission ends. <laughs> Everything is the result of your own actions, Fujimaru san. I just look like, it look like shit, just like my big bro in prison. See? You don't want to end up in there with him, do you? Take this opportunity to repent. Okay, yeah, fine, over the shit anyway, it won't happen again. Wait, did that really just work? <laughs> well then, Fujimaru san, I'm gonna give you this picture as a souvenir of your revelation. I don't want that piece of crap. Later, losers. That count is going well. Well, let's head back to the club room, I guess. I don't need focus. I have focus maxed. <laughs> Our photography is truly amazing. We really got Fujimaru to reflect on what he did. Hmm. Actually, it seemed like he just got tired of being angry, but sure, maybe we had some effect on him. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help today. There are a lot more delinquent students I want to take pictures of. Please come to our club room whenever you feel like it. Some more of them. This girl is even more reckless than Amasawa. It's too risky to leave her uh, to her own devices. I'll help her out again. Maybe we'll get some info from the professor at the same time. This gets me guts, but I need teamwork. I don't think I'm getting teamwork five. In fact, I literally can't get Teamwork 5 until I get back to dancing and robotics. I'm gonna go pee. I really need to pee. I really need water. Give me two minutes.
I'm back. Make oh. an appearance at the photog photography club later. What does that mean? Oh. That's what that means. It means walk away and come back. Hmm? How many do I have to do? Okay, so there's two. Two more. Ah. Who's this, Tori mate? Yagami -san. Oh, it's my mentor Ikawa san. Uh, a great and wise master. Nice to meet you. I'm Kanto Ikawa, former president of the photography club. Oh, you're the retired president. <laughs> Tell me the fundamentals of camera work. He developed his own philosophy of photography. Oh. Wow. You know, the science of photography first emerged in the 19th century, brought about a major revolution in mm -hmm. history. Uh, humans just used a mirror to discover themselves as objects, uh, but it was still just a mirror relationship. Photography gave him the power to externalize itself as an actual being in the world. This can only be done by cutting itself out of the perspective of the big other. I am not reading all that. Huh. Probably his mentor, Ken of an oddball. Got a whole stick from him. Son. Or I don't want to hear his lecture on the philosophy of photography. Huh? I think I'm writing a thesis paper for the university I'll be attending next year. I'm going to be examining the popularization of photography to the spread of... I uh, fucking... Ultimate call after um. Uh-huh. My throat is too fucked up to be reading all this. <laughs> Don't you think he's a member of the intellig uh, Intelligentsia, Yagami-san? Of uh... course. Being a witch, new delinquent. Dark target, Hot Rodders. Mm -hmm. uh, motorcycle yes. gang, aren't as big as made in heaven. Little troublemaker, uh, troublemaking bunch, riding on the busy streets of Eugene Cho without helmets or licenses. Mm. That doesn't sound, that does quite sound, tr <sighs> that does sound quite troublesome. And the Sarayu students. Uh, trying to take pictures of them to get, the reflect, get them to reflect on their bad behavior. Yes. Of course we are. Uh, if you came with me to photograph the hot rodders, please give me a show. I'm good. Let's go. Our double mission begins. Hmm? This is where the biker gang is going to be. We should be coming any minute now. Eek! Oh yeah, make me dust, Takion. Even I'm evil. Although my fa my face is still beat up from the cutscene fights, the story fights. Yikes! Stay careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Enough with the ass. But the police. What about the police? Are we just not gonna call them? I think someone already did. Doesn't matter. As soon as cops show up, bikers nice. scram. I'll have to photograph them before that happens, huh? Checking this area. Let's take the pictures yeah. before they leave. Uh, get the annoyed citizens. No, I want to... Okay, I see. I get it. That's fine. Now. There we go. Perfect. Got it, Tori Bay. Let me see. Nice. That's a disturbing photo. So we use it to enlighten the biker gang. Not quite sure if you're the one doing the enlightening with your photograph or if I'm doing the enlightening with my fists. Oh. They got some incredible brakes on their motorcycles. Unlike the brakes on that truck from last time. Uh, you, you trying to die or something? But you stopped, and I knew you would, because you still have a conscience somewhere inside. 
What? You're Kentaro Hanjo, first year student at Seryu High School. How do you know my name? Look at this picture. I mean, he would recognize his own school uniform instantly. What the hell? Do you feel any shame bothering us in public like this? The fuck did you just say? Please, I just want you to wake up. This isn't who you really are, is it? You tell me what the hell your deal is, little girl. Gotta do something before we end up in the same situation as last time. Hey. Hey, let's calm down. We're not trying to threaten or blackmail anyone. All she wants is for you guys to spare a little time to self-reflect. You say blackmail, so that's what this is about? Huh? Want to extort money from my pops because he's president of a real estate company? No, you C student. I just said that we weren't. Uh, Shut up. Go fuck uh, yourself. Damn it, why does this always happen to us? I literally said we're not. Dumbass, fucking idiot, loser. Piss yourself now! Oh my god, because I got four times 150 SP, because EX Surrender gives you so much point, so much SP. It's literally more SP to EX Surrender them all than it is to just kill them all in every stand. It takes um, a lot of meter. Shit. Look at this. That's Don't look away. This is you. This is your design. Uh? Okay, so what? Who cares? Does not looking at this photo hurt your heart? I mean, you just turned away from it. Uh... I bet that you already know whether you're, what you're doing is a sin. Just think. What if one of the people you almost hit had been pregnant or elderly? You could break an elder's leg and he never walks again. <laughs> Don't avert your gaze. Right now, as you speak, the good Takion and the bad Takion are fighting inside you. It's time to off Haven. <laughs> Please stop. Sorry, babe. Barbie, that's enough. Uh, Yagami hey. san? Now you've seen that picture, do you realize how foolish you've acted? Will you promise not to ride like a crazy person ever again? Ooh. Fine, I won't do it. Let's see, I had no idea that I look like this, riding around. Stop showing me it. <laughs> look, can we please stop now? <laughs> wow, that was incredibly effective. Brown power of photography, power of objectifying the ego. Also, the power of me punching them in the face. Master. Oh, hey, it's the master. Or your mate, Hershey looking to the professor. Yes. Your next theme is delinquency. When well, attracting the professor, he needs to mastermind and all. Stop doing that immediately. Huh? huh? Don't track him, don't pursue him. But why not? Should be uh, bring personal philosophy into a power struggle, Tori Bay. Mm -hmm. What? You're risking letting the ideology swallow you up. Trust me, you'll never find a way to marry philosophy and art together. But, master? Hey. Well, in the end, what do you think he was trying to say? Basically, he's worried about me. Mm. Not sure that's the right takeaway. He called us telling us not to see the professor, so what are you gonna do now? Uh... Damn it. But I got the fly. Right, 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 right. I remember this. Mr. Kawa once said to me, the words of great philosophers are not to be taken literally. In fact, he once said, philosophical language can get so incomprehensible, there are decade-long fights over a single sentence in a philosophy book. Huh. Although I don't know if Kawa is a great philosopher, what he says is definitely incomprehensible. That sounds to me like I'm free to interpret Master Kawa's statement however I want. That's a very generous interpretation. You sure see the glass half full. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time to put my nose to the grindstone. Or keep an eye on her to make sure she doesn't get herself killed. While we're here, let's go make the batteries for the robot, the the robots, the robotics club. Interesting that the fourth floor is not connected. Oh, because it's the roof. That makes
makes sense. There's no fourth floor on the school building. Class building, classroom building. Guys, it's past nine. Y'all gotta go home. But after I make these batteries. Need more sturdy iron for you. Horn magnet. Quality wires. Sniper! Ooh. Oh, you can finally upgrade this too. Because the cost was too high last time. You can do a practice match. Fortress. Fortress and Assault. This will give me a uh, Fortress. Baby Bot, Mama Bot, and Daddy Bot. Go! Yes! Yes! Nice. Holy hell. Kill them. Wait. Ah, oh, so close. Nice. Nice. And we win. Feeling good. Oh, we can get teamwork five from just doing this. And we're doing this for parts, so. What a waste. of seven. We need sturdy iron for that. At least it's the this shape, which is a lot easier because we're right across. Yes. That looks bad. Uh oh, they instantly killed us. Go. 
Oh my god, that was a lot of damage I took. Yes. Nice. Nice. This is all. Go. Nice. So much. Yes. Yes. Ho 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 ho! Go. Nice. That was so close. Do you see me back out just as he shot? If we just do one more, we can get Teamwork 5. Teamwork 5. All we need is Guts 5. Which would be boxing, which we can't do. Casino, though. Alright, let's go back to photography. Yagami san, what's up? Did something happen? I saw something. What is it? You know Saiga sensei? He teaches social studies? No. Nope. Don't know. Put it in the hallway, he dropped a piece of paper. Picked it up for him, and it was a letter. Mm -hmm. Sort of letter. Type letter, I think it was probably blackmail. What? What kind of threat was it? Take a look at it yourself. Got it right here. Uh, when I picked it up, I just ran off without thinking. <sighs> what's up with you? <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Anyway, here's the letter. Hmm. Uh, I know you're dating Moriko Machikawa, a third-year student. I have photographic proof. What a shameful thing to do, having an affair with your student while your wife and child wait for you at home. You don't want to share this terrible shame with the entire world? Uh, come tonight, the second floor of the parking garage, South Sakura River Street. Two million yen. Come alone. No funny business, or I'll my, tell my friends. The rest of the Neo Kaking gang, by the way. All about your disobedience. Honestly, let this guy get blackmailed. He deserves it. This is... It's in an envelope, which also had a photo inside. Yeah, alright. Fucking kill this guy. This the professor's behind everything. I know, I can't tell if it's true, but we can't just ignore it, right? I don't think so. Sorry, mate, where's that letter? Hmm. Oh, um, where'd you hide it? Give it back. You know, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm grateful for the MRC. No, I'm, I'm really sorry. A bit much for me to handle, so I give it to Amasama Sama the Mystery Research Club. Huh? What? What? So Amasama reads it, I'll be in way more trouble. Sorry, Amasama Senpai. Yagami-san, 
Uh, you're gonna be silent. Will you help me investigate this blackmail case? Just tell me whenever you're ready yeah. to take it on. Oh, you know what? I think this guy, this teacher who's dating, who's in a relationship, an illicit relationship with a student, I think we should let him get blackmailed. And get the shit kicked out of him by the Kahin gang. Maybe the Kahin gang is in the right this one time. Uh, specific location is inside the parking garage at the rear of the yeah, second floor. I feel like there's a lot of shady looking men yeah. in the parking lot. Might be the guys from the Neo Kahin gang. Uh, maybe blackmailer is telling the truth. Uh, the professor could be working with, uh, uh, working with the blackmailer. Yeah. Could be. What are you gonna do? Gonna sneak in? Huh? Yeah. Uh, Kim's farmers will stick it out for the end. <laughs> Got a picture. Blackmailer's face, please. Some great catch and raise. He's receiving the money. Gotcha. Better be careful here. All right, we gotta sneak in. Green powder. Come on. Why didn't he punch back? All right, let's go. It's a little dumb that this just that just game over as you getting caught like that. Like I haven't fucking kicked the shit out of dudes like this before. Like I get why I don't want to get caught. But having the game over scene be Yagami just gets his ass kicked for no reason? That's weird. The core on Yano over there, by the way. Throw off the pursuers. How am I supposed to throw them off? You got me stuck in a corner because of that. Ah! I hate stealth sections in anything. That's not a stealth-based game. All right, let's go. I'm just smoke bombing you guys. I don't care anymore. It's not fun doing the other parts. Hurry up. Thank you. 
What? Where? From where? <laughs> Fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. I hate this. Better be careful here. It's so slow and boring. Oh my god. This is not good gameplay. Why do I even care about these fucking materials? I'm like, I don't have a billion of them. And how is that helping me? Tracks that one guy. Ah! Why? Why does the distraction point make him fucking face you? Oh my god! Better be careful here. I hate this so much. I'm sick of it. It's so boring. It's just waiting. Waiting until someone just catches me because the game is stupid. Fucking hell. This is me mashing the throw coin button. I've got this. Thanks for your faith in me, Riska. How so have you been? Like, there's also, like, no escaping that, too. He just rounded the corner, instantly saw me, instantly caught me, instantly punches me in the face. That's a mistake. Don't do the coin there. What? Why is he coming here? Alright, well. Punch him. Punch him. Why? Why does it have you, like, get in a fist fight with him and then not fist fight him? I don't get it. I don't get why they made that a fail cutscene. Better be careful here. But also, good to know that throwing the coin there just causes you to lose. <laughs> you have two options, either throw a coin or a smoke ball, and if you throw a coin, you just lose. Now we have to fucking wait again. Ugh. Frustrating because I really like this game, but I really don't like these cell sections.
I forgot this stealth take down. I forgot because the previous stealth section doesn't let you stealth take down anyone. That's a good boy. I completely forgot about that because there isn't stealth takedown for most of it. God, if I had remembered that, then it would have been so much easier. Oh well. The Saga Sensei looks like he's waiting for someone. Is that Ikawa, the former president of the photography club? He's the blackmailer? Can't be. Whatever the case, need to snap a photo. Let's capture Ikawa's delinquency without being noticed. Does not show his face, by the way. Very clearly, his face is not shown. Take a good shot. Now it's time to get out of here. No way, Master yeah. Yukawa. Yep, let's question him later. I don't believe it. I know how you feel, but I'm going to question him. Are you? Oh. Oh, jeez. What was the point of me sneaking in there? If I was just gonna have to punch my way through. Oribe. Master. Master Yukawa. Sorry, may hold up. Stop, you bastard. Dog me, son. You too? Master. Uh, Master Yukawa, why would you blackmail Saiga Sensei? What are you talking about? There's no way you can even get his face because you're up against the wall. You'd have to literally be right there to actually get his face. So this is. Why would you do it? Hey. You only told us not to pursue the professor to cover your own ass, didn't you? Are you yogging me? Kogasan told me all about you. Here you're sticking your nose pretty deep in our business. No way. Out of the two million being extorted, how much are you guys gonna take as your cut? Who knows? But it shouldn't matter to you since I'm about to cave your skull in. You three stay back. The Kagin gang. Y'all are chumps. Hit yourself now. Ow. Shit yourself now. an SP. Top of the 5,000 I got from the photo op. And quest. Probably well, not. that's a lot of SP. I'll take it. Do 
Ikawa? Hey. Are you using the professor's underground site? Yes. That's what I found out about Saga-san's affair. Underground site? Tell me why that actually exists? The reason this room wrote you and Moriko Machikawa having, an, having a relationship. What? Is that true? In other words... The site is where you secretly took photographs in order to blackmail them. So when the professor contacted me. Then if I want to know more about Saga-san's affair, you'd be willing to tell me where I can catch them in their next tryst. Huh? The professor gave you a tip. Yeah, I don't know how he knew about the affair, but he knew the time and place of the next rendezvous point. I see. Ooh. That's an emergency alarm. Okay, that's not in my area. Uh, even for a detective, tailing a target for multiple days, investigating a fair, that's tough. It's easier if you know their travel route, of course. Can't believe any of this got out. Master! Master Yukawa, why'd you do such a thing? Using photos to blackmail others. Tell me so many times photography is art. I feel like we're kind of just... glancing over and, and... shrugging about the fact that this dude was banging his student. This teacher was in an illicit relationship with a student also cheating on his wife. I just need money to finish my education. Wait, at the university, but how much do you think it costs to attend a private university for four years while living alone? It's outrageous if you're doing a doctorate. <sighs> if that's true, look, I gave up my pride today for a better tomorrow. I'm willing to do anything to make my dreams come true. Master. Master Ikawa, please look at this. What is it? your face. That's the look of a total criminal. You want to avert your eyes, don't you? You don't want to see this photo because it makes you into an object you hate. Your face looks evil. I looked evil as I blackmailed Saga Sensei. Uh. I hate seeing your face like this. I respect you so much, Master. Urbe, I'm sorry, I... Again. Saga Sensei? Huh? Yes? Excuse me. Why don't we talk about what happens next? What are the consequences of what should we do with Ikawa? Don't worry, I won't be too hard on him. I mean... We got some consequences to do with you. Well, what we're gonna do with you? And the answer is, I'm gonna introduce you to my friend Kaito, and he's gonna beat you up for a bit. Hi, Yagami san. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, how did you see discussion go? Master Kawa's punishment? Yeah. I talked about Saga Sensei. He created he was not. He was partially. He was partially at fault. He was entirely at fault. He got his money back anyway. He decided not to punish Kawa. Saga Sensei seems to regret his actions. He's gonna step down. Good. Tori Bay. Uh, about Kawa. Hmm? I just submitted my notice of withdrawal from the school. Huh? What? Why? I thought you weren't going to be punished. I guess Sensei forgave me, but I can't forgive myself. Why don't you show me have that much of an impact? Say, in a truly Nietzschean eternal uh, realm of capitalism, I lost sight of myself as I materialized my own existence. <sighs> what do you do but get awkward? I can go back to school whenever I want. There's something else which can only be done right now. Hmm? But, decided to travel across various countries, take pictures, and all huh? of them. What? The demon within me whispered, Are you sure you want to indulge yourself in some old Japanese university I'll throw at your precious teens and twenties? Truth is, I've been lost the whole time. But I was about to break out of it, Toribe. I was able to break out of it. Toribe, thanks to you. <laughs> There's your off, Ben. Exactly. I haven't said any of this. Uh, I'm Asian, Asian mainland, India, Tibet. Places where Buddhism is birth. Places with chain philosophy of all creation. Where in these lands discover the body without organs inside of myself. Poison my consumerism. I want to be a sophist to get out of this knowledge and season in every time, I'd rather be an egg. Does any of what you're saying? Just don't go anywhere dangerous. Can't enjoy philosophy or art if I'm dead. Not for me to leave. Weird guy, at least he was excited about withdrawing from school. Something positive? Yes. The only incredible guy. He's his principles, of course. India, huh? <laughs> that guy must be end up might end up being a bigger deal than we expect. You know, one of those philo philosophical artist types. Mm. Should have gotten one last photo with him. Anyway, it's the professor. Yes. I'm stuck on the fact the professor contacted Hikawa Kun. Uh, does professor not contact the user of his, users of his site very often? No. Does it? I think this is a pretty rare situation. Maybe just thought he'd benefit from talking to Hikawa. What to say right now? Oh. Sorry, mate, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here for Ida Kurosan. I still have a capture of a smile in a, hey. photog in a photograph. Move on already. Ever. Thanks to Yagami san, I've learned that it is imperative for a photographer to have patience and persistence. Why don't you just smile for her? <sighs> ah, hold on! 
<laughs> oh, that was my chair. That was my chair and my arm. Like cracked my shoulder and elbow. Uh, I'm glad Unicurusan has a new friend. Mm. Call that uh, friendship. Alright, well, we've also got this side quest here. Might as well do this over here. You're all faculty. Hmm? Oh man, I'm going back to Osaka tomorrow. If it was today, I don't know when we're even going to dig up the time capsule. <sighs> Gotta do it today. These graduates in the school or something? Okay, so they're just graduates. Let's not go to time capsule. Too bad it sounds like they forgot where the damn thing is buried. My chance to show how great the Yagami Detective Agency in Yokohama 99 are. Excuse me. Excuse me, you guys have a problem finding something? For you. Yagami. I'm Takayuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. The detective? Yep. Normally I work around Comrade Show, recently been helping out Yokohama 99, which is my friend's agency. Currently I'm an advisor to the Mystery Research Club at the school. Oh, so you're with the school? Yep. Yes, and I think I can help you out. If you'd like, you can tell me what's causing you so much trouble. I don't need a fee since you'll be availing yourself of my office of services, but it'd be a nominal courtesy fee. Mm. Courtesy? Courtesy fee. Special detective, huh? Well, we do need someone who's good at finding lost things. Wanna have him do mm. it? Yeah, I'm good with that. You're hired, Yagami san. My name is Ogi Kubo. Ogi Kubo was the name of the politician in Yakuza 7. The one who was behind the uh, the counterfeit money scheme. I remember that's that's what I was. I knew that name. So I'm, I'm Hanamizuki, and I'm Yagamo. All three of us are graduates of the school. We met up today for the first time in a long while. Roller. Go. We're all here to dig up a time capsule we buried here many years ago. And all our memories are a bit hasty. We can't remember where we buried it. Do at least remember anything that could be a clue. Uh, another reason it's hazy. Uh. Hell yeah, it, uh, hell yeah, there is. We drank it on the day we celebrated our graduation. <sighs> yep, we were acting pretty damn young and reckless. You were really wasted. You were drinking? They were obviously all underage at the time. Um. Is there anything you remember? Like a marker or something? We do have some notes from back then. The giant's wheel lording over the tree with the most branches. Three steps south from the roots, two more from the east, and there a treasure rests. Hmm? Some kind of code? Oh. Yeah, it's based on a code from a game that was popular at the time. I see. That our meaning was down. Well, we don't have a clue now. Remember in the game, there was this giant statue with a wheel, but there's nothing like that at the school, is there? Hmm. Maybe you chose something here as the wheel. At the very least, I'll use this coded message to start up the investigation. Can I borrow that shovel? Hi. Here you go. This coded message possibly have. Lower it over something by glaring at it. Something that's similar to a giant's wheel is glaring at a tree with the most branches. This is also not the side quest I thought I had. Oh, I might not be able to do it at... Right, tasks. No, because this is stereo at night. I guess I have to look outside first. Well, thankfully this tells me exactly where I needed to go. My first thought was a clock. I guess when we get to where the thing is telling me to go, we'll find out what it is. The Ferris wheel, maybe? The Ferris wheel. Hey. That Ferris wheel? Maybe that's the Giant's wheel? So, the Giant's wheel lords over, I might be referring to a tree around here. Suspicious. The most branches must be the tree fits the description. I'm starting to understand the coded message. Giant's wheel that lords over the tree with the most branches. That's In this other tree. Words. Uh, three steps to the south, two to the east. Hmm? Huh? A shovel? I think it's got to be pretty close to the spot. Do some digging. 
Not here after all. Maybe you're only a little off. Just try digging in a spot nearby. Maybe someone dug it up already, hence the shovel. Oh, hey. Looks like I was right. Let these guys know. I am a little curious. Let's shovel. Someone used it pretty recently. Someone else was already digging around there. Get out. I was just curious if there was any static ambient noises and stuff like that. You could just catch on that. The answer is seemingly no. I got your ball. Find your time capsule. <laughs> well, that's amazing, Mr. Detective. A giant's wheel turned out, the, turned out to be the Ferris wheel that you can see from the backyard. Oh, the Ferris wheel! Now that I think about it, we did get all giddy calling that thing the giant's wheel. Wait, but this... isn't this different? I think it's the same color, but this thing doesn't have a keyhole, see? Eh? You're right, it doesn't. What are you guys talking about? The time capsule was lockable and had a keyhole, so we didn't want it to be opened up, obviously. This thing doesn't have a keyhole. It was in the location the code led me to. You remember that be? Hmm. The only thing left I can think of is it was stolen. There's a possibility that it's stolen. Yeah. Now, I doubt that. There are no valuables in it that would be worth stealing. It must be pretty crazy for a thief to be digging randomly and find the capsule by sheer luck. If some guy just wandering around digging up the ground, that would have been noticed. See what you mean. Probably didn't. Well then, there are signs of disturbance near the place where I dug up the time capsule. Maybe I can guess what happened based off of that? There's disturbed earth next to where this capsule... Well, that's the same thing. That's what I was thinking, whatever. Disturbed earth next to where the capsule was buried. Looked like someone had been digging it. What are you saying? Time capsule was taken by mistake. In other words... Another person who buried their capsule next uh, nearby mistakenly took yours. What? That's what yep. you think? Based on what I saw at the scene, that's my own hypothesis. The other person dug up your capsule, which does have a keyhole. It's been so long the person didn't remember his capsule didn't have one. Pretty sure if you got a look inside, you'd realize it wasn't his. You can't open it since it's locked. Actually, it does sound possible. Time capsules really were popular back then. Uh, whatever the case, it certainly seems like a time capsule was taken by a third party. The only way to get it back is to figure out who took it. If we took a look inside this time capsule we have, wouldn't we get an idea of who has ours? Point. Hope he doesn't mind. Track athlete number, stuffed bear, there's a comb here. Maybe it's not a guy after all, it's a girl. Anything that might narrow it down further than that? Hey, look at this. The letter, and there's a name on it. Um, <laughs> Saya Goto? This is Goto-san's. Whoa, no way. Hmm? You know her? Fine. Yeah, she's one of her classmates. We all adored her. <laughs> Oki Kubo, didn't you have a crush on Goto-san? Oh, well, yeah. You wanted to confess her on the day of graduation. You ended up chicken out and not doing it, remember? <laughs> Ugh. Let's see what it says. Let me see. Hey, don't just read someone else's letter. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. Oh, shut it. Whoa. 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 What? Hold on. No way. Seriously? What? What's in this letter? It's not great to invade her privacy by reading a letter, but now I'm curious. Hold on. Is this truly necessary to the investigation? No way. Why is this kind of kind of letter inside of Goto-san's capsule? This, this is necessary to complete the job. Here Excuse we go. Me. What's right there exactly? Well, you see... The love letter to the person she liked at the time. Yeah? What? Really? Well, what's it say? I wanted to confess to you on the day of graduation. Now I regret I wasn't able to do that. That'll hide my feelings inside this time capsule. Over the time I open this again, my love will be fulfilled. Oh, there was someone she really liked. Who was it? Did she give a name? Hey, you might want to sit down for this. The name she gives is Yuta Ogikubo. It was you. What? Yeah. Seriously? Hold up, you're choking, right? Let me see. Orcs. Idiots. It's true. Huh. Wow, that's an interesting co coincidence, huh? You also want to confess on graduation day, but didn't Ogikubo san? Yeah, but I never thought Goto san could possibly feel the same way. Idiots. Uh, it's Robert. Didn't you put a love letter in our time capsule, too? You never managed to give it to her. Hmm? Wait, so that means both of you buried your secret feelings inside of time capsules. 
And then not only did you bury them near each other, the first person to come back and dig one up took the wrong one. Only one way to describe this. No, don't say it. This is just a crazy coincidence. Yeah. You don't say it. This is destiny. Come on, Oyukubo. Can't just be a coincidence. Oh, really? Destiny? Anyway, what we need to do now is trade capsules with Goto-san. How do you find her? That's the problem. You haven't have a yearbook? Sometimes those old yearbooks uh, would list addresses. Oh, I lost mine. Me too, when I moved. I still have mine, but it's at the boarding house in Osaka. No time to go get it. If you can contact the school office, see the yearbook from yeah. then. Uh, that won't work. Won't work. I asked them that question before because at one point I wanted to look at it. They don't keep the yearbooks. Let's see, it's hard to find a lead from yearbook. You have an idea where she lives? I don't know her current address, but her call at the time I heard she lived around Chinatown in Jincho. Oh yeah, I think she was the daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner. Daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner of Chinatown. There could be a lot of people, but at least it's a clue. How about contacting an old classmate so you can get connected that way? Mm. I don't know about anyone else's contact info besides these guys. I lost touch with most people after graduation. Same for me, what about you, Yukubo? Yeah. Same, only people I kept in touch with are you guys. Well then? You at least know what she looks like? It'd be helpful if you had a photo. Uh, a couple of photo with the knowledge she lived near Chinatown, they'll probably be enough to find her. Do you ever have a picture of her? Definitely don't have one now. Never got a chance to snap, uh, Goto-san, did you? The picture did exist and be in the graduation album. Hmm. Don't have a picture, but I could draw a portrait. I don't know how she looked back then, oh. at least. Oh, that's right, you're an art teacher, aren't you? Yeah, that could be helpful. Could you go ahead and draw that for me? No problem. I'm done. Pretty sure this is how she looked. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, I remember. Yep, yep, that's Goto-san. She always had that sort of gentle look. You really captured how refined she was. Right? So maybe if I look for someone who looks like this, but ten years older, I can find her. <laughs> if he finds her, it's time to confess, Ogi Kubo. <laughs> what? Confess? That's right, man. You can't let this chance slip away. This is destiny. Your life could change forever. But Goto-san might be married by now. We're all 28 years old. Yeah. No, I don't think that's the case. I've heard through the grapevine that she's not married and not very interested in finding someone. Really? But still. Yukubo, enough's enough. You gotta make a move. We're all 28. Look at the camera. They are. Well, I'm not 28 yet. Not for another 20 days. 17 days? Uh, I can't remember your feelings. We go to sign for 10 years. Talked about her during all the rare times we met up. Uh, you need to get closure. You're right. Probably ready to get it done. Uh, fate is in your hands. I'm heading to Chinatown. Immediately makes a mess of things. Alright, people have been talking about a human body model that moves and even walks around at night. Right! I've just been warping in. Holy bull, may as well check it out. And there's also a quest right here. God damn. Uh, while we're here, let's buzz research. This weird guy's been hanging around our school. That's me! Wait! Hold on, I'm not a weird guy. Okay. I gotta go to Chinatown. For the, uh, the casino. for the time capsule. Well, what do these dweebs want? My friend said he saw a UFO! You mean abduction? Do you think they implant devices in the people they take? I don't know, but I saw it with my own eyes. Real UFO, right here in Uchincha. You know, I remember hearing about an alien abduction here in town a couple years back. Some third year that goes uh, here is dad up and disappeared. Jeez, talking about spooky. UFOs are all over chatter now, too. We were saying someone might get abducted again. Abductions by UFO? 
get out of here before they take us too. I should admit I'm pretty curious about this. One of the mentioned chatter. I should see what the fuss is about. UFO. Here we go. around the bar districts. Got my where and when. Uh, I'll need to keep my eyes peeled. Well, we're gonna go to Chinatown and do that instead. Suspicious. What the? Age. That girl matches the drawing a little, then again, with the portrait, she's a bit, her face is more rounded. Might not be the right person, I should talk to her. Excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Hello, sir. Are you feeling up for some Chinese food? Our restaurant has everything you can want. Authentic Chinese, based on our own family recipes. Like to call ourselves flavor, the Flavor Town of Chinatown. <laughs> I'll treat you extra nice. It's just handsome. This guy says Goto-san is a relaxed, kind, shy woman, and name. Maybe this is her. Me, you wouldn't happen to be Sai Goto-san, would you? What? I do you know my name. Have you met? <laughs> Can't believe we could possibly forget someone as handsome as you, sir. So it is, sir. Um... Well, here's the thing. Wow, so I took the wrong time capsule? I didn't think it was strange that it had a lock, I didn't remember having one. I figured it was so long ago, I just forgot there was a lock. Now it turns out it wasn't my capsule. Oh, clearly she never mentioned got it open. Didn't see Ogikubo's letter. I think I mistakenly took one that belonged to Ogikubo, couldn't his friends. Must be fate. Anyway, I should contact them. Is that Goto song? Yep. Yep, no mistake. She's certainly gotten rounder. You disappointed Ogikubo? Yagamo. Feelings had for 10 years aren't gonna change because of some service level thing like that. <laughs> Fucking prick. Even now she looks radiant to me. Alright, that's the spirit. Listen up, here's the plan. We open the time capsule in front of Goto san, but then the love letter you couldn't give her 10 years ago is right there. At the point, your affections pass each other like ships in the night will finally be known to each other. <laughs> the confession like that, not even Goto san, because it's just the tug of destiny's heartstrings. Okay, Ogikubo, go for it. Goto san. Huh? It's been quite a long time. Oh, you we went to stare you together? Oh, you we could. It's been so long. The detective told me about the time capsule. I'm so sorry, took the wrong one. I know it's fine. I'm actually glad this little mix-up made us cross paths again. Go to son. Hee hee, what a coincidence, huh? Totally. We need to take the time capsule. So it's going good. This might be it. Here you are. This is your time capsule, Ogikubo kun. Sorry again. Okay, here's yours. Thank you, by the way. Did you have to look inside? Oh, um. I'm sorry we did. We need to learn who it belonged to, and we read that letter too. Oh, sorry you saw. Oh wow, that's so embarrassing. Go to Sun, actually it's something I want to, want you to see too. <laughs> Finally. Good luck, Ogikubo. Something important I buried in my time capsule. Inside of it? What's inside of it, Ogikubo? Well, it's... Mommy! Oh, it's uh, didn't I tell you not to use the front? Huh? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Does that mean... Uh, go to Sun, is that your son? He's so mischievous. He's handful, but yes, he's my baby. You've been married? Huh? Oh, you didn't know? It was kind of a shocking wedding. Seriously? Oh, wow. But hey, Hana Mizuki, didn't you say Gonosan wasn't married? That was you, right? Oh, it was just gossip after all. If you want to blame someone, blame the rumor mill. You were totally wrong, though. Anyway, you said you wanted to show me something inside the time capsule? What was it? Yeah. Oh, that was. It's a bittersweet memory that needs to be left in the past. Huh? I'm so curious now. Looks like that was the dying gas of my teenage dreams. Yeah. I'll go this way, Kubo. Your youth might have ended, but your life has just begun. Huh? My life? Hell yeah. Now you can finally move on and find real love. Yeah, maybe you're right about that. Ever since I didn't confess to the graduation ceremony, it's been like a weight in the back of my mind. So time, I started moving forward. Now you're talking, Kubo san Excellent. You can finally get with the lady and be rid of the stain of virginity. It's not like I stayed a virgin for her. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's march Kubo to the nearest brothel and help him become a real man. Oh my god. 
No way to commemorate rejection and live with a proper ejection. You idiots. I'm just gonna... Ugh. <laughs> right now I can use a drink. Go get trashed. You and Yagami-san, you want to hit up every bar in Chinatown with us to cheer about you people couldn't hear? Not me? Of course, you're the whole reason no you people streaming in town in flames. Yeah, Yagami-san, drinks will be on us, so come on. Fine. I'll get wasted. Let's get wasted. I'm not wasted at all. Oh, no, I see. Here, let's go, Haku Hayakawa. Very conspicuously wearing her school uniform. A bathroom. Fine, I'll sweat her out. Man, she's taking a while. Damn, I wonder if that person exactly her build and suspiciously disguised was her. In over half an hour? Excuse me. Hi, excuse me. I'm an advisor at Sarah High School. Hmm? Oh, a teacher. Uh... Soon I was minding, went to the restroom, and waiting here, and she doesn't come out at all. I'm starting to get worried. Ah, uh, that is concerning. Please. Better be your father. Do you... Do you take a quick look for me? Sure, of course. I'm also not a teacher at all. Didn't see her at all in there. Really? All the lady came out of one of the stalls. The other ones are empty. What the hell's going on? Maybe she slipped out when you took her eyes off your uh, took her eyes off the restroom at some point. Mm. Maybe you should go look for her. Thank you. The college just up and vanished. I still don't know where the casino's located. Damn! I wonder if that person, like, very conspicuously wearing a fedora. Probably glasses. Uh, looked like they were going to a casino in a 1930s movie. Excuse me. Uh, if you're anything but a casino around here, I've been trying to find it. Huh? Oh, well, all I've heard is that there's a secret entrance to the casino somewhere around these parts. Mm -hmm. Secret entrance. Don't you wear some people talking about social media. Chatter, I think. Do the buzz researcher can lend me a hand. Here we go. Look, trying to find me at the casino, lol. Give me some fat stacks at the casino. This is the restroom. Are made. Guess we membership check it out. card? See the membership. Well, I lost it. Can I get another one? That's a reprinting free. You got any idea on? Hmm? Card. Use the bathroom. Something. Excuse up. me. Excuse me. I'm looking to get into a casino. Can't help you there, pal. When you just uh, weren't you just talking about a membership with that other guy? It's this not for the casino. Like, who are you talking about? This guy seems like he's involved with something. Keeping his lips sealed. That's no good. Pulls up my noise amp right here in front of them, facing the doorway, aims it at them. The password was again? I'll keep up with some take out if you tell me. Nice, now we're talking. Password for getting a replacement card. Bono Chic. Bono Chic, using the Jinsho Ebisu Pawn. That was the same password for my first card. Password to get a casino membership is Bono Chic. My card number WC Pawn. Not suspicious at all. Why do I always go into oncoming traffic?
think I'm asking to get fucking ran over. I just popped the X boost briefly for the extra bonus SB. Bony chick. Bono chic. Oh. Do you have ID on you? Anything in the photo wor you works? Let it be for 6,000 yen. Gotcha. That's nothing. Yeah. Come Battle boxers. Six power belt. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. By selling the excess fucking oils I got. I miss machine gun kiss. Machine gun kiss, they're just falling love. Whoa. Whoa. But um, but um, but um. Really, guys? Come on. I have 79,000 SP. We gotta buy the Art of Gluttony. And we can get Bottomless Stomach. We can get that off the completion list. I right, turn around. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just go up and around then. Why did you get off the fucking skateboard, Yagami?
card, good sir. Huh? Real, going in. In here? First all, pay attention uh. to the wall. Huh. Whoa, secret passage. He was inside. Oh, we have maxed all of my stats. Unreal, full casino like this in a bathroom? And see if Kohaku Hayaka was in here. We have an easier time finding her now than I did before. High school's girl on a stick at like short thumb in a place like this. <laughs> this kid. Looks like a high school kid. Should be enough of a giveaway. The only thing here is Hayakawa. She actually been disguised. Could she have actually disguised herself? Did I explain how she was able to slip past me? Look, it's so obviously her. for an empty extract vessel? God damn. Expert bat. That's their motor. Impossible. How can I be all blocked? Holy crap, so that's the kid everyone's been talking about. Well, how about we stop there for today? You're Kohaku Hayakawa-san, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Dr. Yuki Yagami, currently the advisor for Seryu High's Mystery Research Club. Right now I'm looking for a student, Hayakawa-san. Here she's at this casino right now. Uh, Mystery Research Club, huh? Well, Mr. Re-Research. Uh, well, Mr. Re-Research, your target. She's a chick and I'm a dude, so... Hey, that was a good one. No, it was a terrible. It was a terrible one. Not a single sign of panic for her when I tried catching her off guard. Looks like Hayakawa san really does have the skills of a pro gambler. Talking to Mikitaka Makari. Membership card proves it, so I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. You're gonna bluff me, huh? Okay, but you know you can't disguise yourself perfectly forever, right? You think I'm disguised as a guy? You're trying to find out if I'm really a man, huh? What are you gonna do? Uh, okay. The bluff, I have no intention of calling. We're not hey. here. We're not done. The outside counts of rumors seem currently looking at whether or not how God something's been seen coming to this casino. I'm also looking for someone who's been paving, uh, been paving the way for Sarah's students into the Jinchu underworld. People calling him the Professor. Professor? Thinking is maybe it has something to do with your membership card. At any rate, as advisors witnessed you here, I don't think I have any choice but to report you to the school. <laughs> you gotta do, pal, no skin off my teeth. Looks like she's the only one who's getting away with the bluffing here. Now, what do I do? But we bet on it. I bet yeah. you say it. Give me a poker. I forget everything I'm seeing here, but if I win, you answer any and all of my questions. Including how high school is himself got a membership to the casino. I say you appear to do a good job of selling your hand. You're here for the thrills, right? What do you think this bet would, have a, would do the trick? Oh, I'll kick you know me. I shall take that bet. That's why I preemptively bought the chips. Yeah. Pretty sure this is also a scripted loss. Hey. Uh, how about Kawa? Sorry, Makari kun. Aren't you able to read your opponent like a book? Any truth to that? You can say any gambler worth their salt puts an effort into picking up other players' emotions. Might get tougher, uh, might get tough, better put on my poker face. Might get tough, better put on my poker face. So we start, Yagami san? Freaking kid. Yeah, 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 Joseph Joestar, I get it. Did you see how many chips Hayakawa had, by the way? I do have a... I do almost have a flush. I 
have a flush. So what she got? Does she have a, a flush but with an ace? Oh, you got yeah. me. Oh, she has a royal flush. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, sure. That's definitely her bluffing me. Uh, Take a one. Do we raise another bet? Uh, I needed something else. What's in it for me? Sitting here waiting so long, I'm starting to get sore. How would you give my shoulders a rebel I play? For as yeah. long as I see fit. If I win, you're going to answer all my questions. How to figure out how she reads people? You see some by watching phones behavior, facial expressions, you need to observe. None of that has to do with getting a royal flush, by the way. Seems like she's just playing poker. Her eyes are closed. How the hell does she read her opponents like that? Try to observe her a bit more. Been paying any attention to her opponents, since with her eyes closed. What should be doing? Like she read her opponents without seeing them. Hmm? I oh, know, sir. Deception is out of the question. Luck was simply not on your side this time. Are you fucking kidding me? I call look over that guy before he even started flipping out. Let you know that was going to happen. If really is your near opponent, she's not to be just doing it without looking at them. How? Get out of here for now, girl, poor Tamasawa. She knows plenty of useless trivia. Maybe she'll have an idea of how Hayako was doing it. Again, being able to read your opponent doesn't lead you to getting a royal flush. <laughs> they just have to make it so even if you get a good hand, you can't win that starting poker match. Taxi? Take me to Sunrise Bridge. I would like to purchase the Art of Gluttony. I could also buy a 10 10 one shot, but I don't need that yet. Okay, so we need 2,000 more SP. Pretty much the next. school stories will probably give me the SP required. And since we're on the way, we'll hit up the weird body. Huh? What? No way. I'm a chase. Don't tell me that thing actually walks around. No, I really just need to get more sleep. Looks like it went upstairs. Maybe I'll poke around up there just to be sure I'm not crazy. Here's something nearby. Maybe the noise amp can pinpoint where they are. I can hear. That's not it. Student napping in class. It's nine. Why is there a student still in school asleep at nine? Like past nine. What's he doing? Oh, he's moving his hands. Hey, okay. he's searching. Hey, what are you doing here? What the? Holy 
shit, it's real. You're not getting away. Most insane body paint I've ever seen. Banger though! Holy! What is this song? Well, so I could literally just grab him right there. Did he just throw an organ at me? He just threw his heart at me. Now, kidney? Better catch him before he donates any more organs. The ball was right there. I should be able to combo kick the ball. Oh my god, that was a bucket, dude. It's a bit different than kicking a soccer ball at a kid. Got it auto decided for me. I don't have to fucking 50 50 and lose. Absolute banger, though. Holy. Hey. Hey, just what the hell are you? Ah, god damn it. Hmm? What? Yeah. Oh, I got a closer look. This kid just painted himself. At least he's got pants on. You a student here? Hey. What are you doing, man? That's some kind of prank? Oh, crap. Ah, cribbing test answers. Gotta say, you cooked up the most complicated strategy for cheating I've ever seen. I know, I'm Teruo Naito, a second year here. I've been falling behind this year to the point my teacher told me if I fuck another test, I'm gonna get held back. I don't care how stupid I look doing it, I just need a passing grade. I'm sorry. I mean, good for you for not caring about appearances, but I imagine with that amount of time it, got, it took you to get done up like that, you could have just studied, you know? Ugh, I don't even have a good answer to that. <laughs> But I mean, isn't it way faster to just look at the answers other people write down instead of trying to memori memorize them all? Yeah, that's not gonna fly with me. What's your grade even mean at the end of you cheated for it? You know, this kind of thing is grounds for suspension or expulsion, right? No way. I mean, seriously, a body model? Just why that specifically? Oh, well, if we got cheating one day, everyone would know it, right? But Mr. Gutsy came to life in class one day. Running out of the room would really freak everyone out and keep him away instead of chasing after me. I also made some fake guts to throw up potential pursuers to slow them down. You know, like Caltrops, but you already saw that. Decent exit strategy, right? Old plan, I suppose he's got a point. And all the chatter posts I saw about the model, no one ever suspected he was really a student. I'm surprised such a shrewd kid's failing so badly. Although I still got caught in the end, so I guess I could have uh, still could have had a better plan. You ever find, end up finding the answer sheet? No, last time, I tried, last time I tried the faculty room, but it was locked, so tonight I started in the classrooms. All that effort, dressing up, standing skill, still rooting around the desk drawers, and I came up with Jack Squat. The biggest story around the school just boils down to the sad clown of a failure in the end. Maybe we're gonna get a job in some kind of scientific circus. Like those are actually real? Hey. I gotta say, you don't seem very regretful about this. No, no, I am. I really messed up. I know that. Sorry for putting you through all this trouble, young me. I didn't mean to scare nope. you. Uh, you didn't scare me. Oh, alright. So what's next? I hope we made a commotion doing this, so first I'm gonna apologize to my teacher. He's willing to let this slide. I guess I'll study my hardest to you while I do on the test. I see. Well, you plan on owning up to what you did in setting for a test, because there's not much for me to say. Just leave the body painting to the art club, alright? No more posting up in classrooms like, the, like that. Yeah, of course. Okay, you better go home and crack those books. The exam's right around the corner, aren't they? Also, maybe join the art club. <laughs> Thank you again. I'm really sorry. See you later. Good grief. Well, things should simmer down here and now. At least mm -hmm. a bit. Wait, you still going home dressed like that? Ah, zombie! Ah, he really is the gutsiest kid at Serio. Wonder if Steve's just gonna make take the news, though. I should talk to him next time I see him around school. If I see him around school. Let me guess. Come back during the day.
Again, that is the most psychotic, unhinged disguise I've ever seen. Join the art club. <laughs> you'll you'll do wonders as an artist. As a fucking press of like like makeup artist for movies and shit. Holy. Uh, I see. Way to read someone's emotions without looking at them. Have you ever heard of anything like that? I mean, you read a lot, don't you? I suppose we exclude extra sensory capabilities in the pool of possible answers. Always we'd be able to determine how she does it. With sight eliminated, we've already down to four choices. I see. Process of elimination. We're going somewhere. Scientists and laymen have observed how the human body releases all sorts of information unconsciously all the time. Perhaps Hayakawa san can sense this invisible information with an unusually acute sense. Let me go in sight. Uh, you're the one who actually faced her. I'm sure you paid close attention. Uh, how do you surmise she could be reading her opponent's hmm. emotions? Now, one guy was going to flip his lid before he did. He wasn't even looking at him when she noticed him. I was not sitting at the table, by the way. I was standing there. When Kanji sent information, must be using one of her senses to receive that. What about smell? They're invisible. You pick them up without looking at the source. Let's see. And smell. Uh, I actually read something a while back. Research was conducted that indicates dogs are capable of sensing humans' emotions based on the scent alone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got animal senses. So she can get royal flushes. Uh, humans' hormone balance usually fluctuates as their emotions change. The scent of the sweat can also change to a degree. Do I fear a sign of surprise and patience? Uh huh. Dog is said to be able to cable using the sharp sense of smell to detect even the slightest change. Oh. Research argued could be a reason why dogs bark when they sense their owner is scared. Does that mean? Saying how Hayakawa's sense of smell is at a canine level. Dogs have far more olfactory receptors, but I don't care reach such a degree. Also, been reports the number of nerve cells in charge of human sense of smell are nearly as lacking. Huh? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another She's using a hundred percent of her smell power instead of just the ten percent that we are. Yes. But seen as all sorts of smells, though, how could she accurately pick out her opponent's scent from all the others in the air? Hmm. Like, you have uh, people with perfect ear for discerning sounds. Perhaps there's also something with a perfect nose. Uh, does it make the most sense? I'm a Sawa. Uh, you really are a wonder kid. Should you always take you far? <laughs> this guy can help you with the case. You should see what I can, and it'll help me to see you for a sense of smell. Welcome pharmacy. That is. I'll have to leave and find out. Okay, I was just making sure. Check the map and uh, saw that there was no uh, icon. I think there was a quest here. Alright, if I was a pharmacy, where would I be? Uh, Smile Burger food truck. The bun sauna. I should go stop by the bun sauna. Sheesh. Oh, it's marked on the map. Cool. Anti stun contacts. They're contact lenses that make it so you don't get stunned. Magic. Got my natural hormones, artificial sense. me. The loud burp. Oh, and that would be enough SP. We no longer have to worry about hunger. You know what that means? We eat everything. You were parked. Ow. You were standing still. Really? 
Sorry, guys. Yagami is literally the only person in the world I've ever seen get run over by a parked car. I've never seen anyone get run over, so I don't know why I said it like that. It's just the only person in the entire world who's ever been run over by a, a parked car. Starving. Pretty tasty, thanks. Twig is definitely not rare, but everything else I've gotten is pretty good. High end wire. High grade plastic. Oh, right, I drunk beer. I drunk beer, so skateboarding sucks. Might be three drunkenness, which doesn't affect me in any way other than when I'm skateboarding. But oh boy, is it affecting my skateboarding. Anyway, the primary reason I I did that bottomless stomach is uh now I can eat an entire menu to maximize my buffs like I did for the uh the rare materials, right? Imagine that but SP instead of materials. Uh let's go with preteen with the preteen level amount. Don't want my own sense thinking in there. <laughs> let's go with the uh, Fucking middle schooler's amount of axe body spray. Stench, this is enough to cover me up. Nothing will do. I'm sticking over the joint. We're gonna make this quick. Ayakawa. Ayakawa, I came for a rematch. Let's play some <laughs> poker. What are. Well, by the look on your face, it's saying I nailed your strategy. Hey. <laughs> look, if you're really doing this for thrills, it should be even better. Gambling without your safety net. You think stinking, po stinking at poker is literally all it will take to beat me? Don't underestimate me, Yagami-san. Yeah. Let's do this. Round two. Round two, yeah. kid. All right. Flush, all we've got is that pair. We got two pair. Two pair, ace. A eight, not ace. Ah, oh, you got me. Oh, fuck you.
for doing this my way. That's why I manually saved. Fucking cheater. Yeah. I'm not giving her the satisfaction of actually winning at all. All right. Leaving the flush. All right, there goes the flush. Come on, man. Why can't this be scripted to win? The other one's scripted for you to lose. This one's not scripted for you to win. Great. I got a pair of twos. That's all I got. Alright, she folded. Ooh, it's me and you, buddy. All right. Son of a... He had the two pair. That's fine. She folded. I beat her. Never mind. That doesn't count. Come on, man. This is annoying. This is annoying because it is not scripted for you to win. So you just have to manually win a poker game, but every time... Uh, every time you don't win the poker hand, it takes you back outside of it. So you can't just keep going. You can't just immediately start another round. You have to go, ah, damn, I lost. One more time. And then I'm being stubborn about it by not even giving her the satisfaction. This fake person that is not real and has no feelings because they're... Yeah. I video game NPC. You can't keep giving me the double like that, right? Every single game I've had two of the same suit. And then I don't get the flush. Alright, I got the flush. Hey, if there's an eight of hearts, by the way, it's the principal thing, exactly. If we get an eight of hearts, we get a straight flush. That's fine. It would be crazy if the eight of hearts did show up though. What could you possibly have? How do I see hands? That's crazy. Do you not get to see poker hands in this? You get to see every other hand. I guess they just assume that you know how to play poker by now. Flush. You had a pair. You had a pair and you were going hard. Holy shit. You were going that hard with just the pair. I I lost? You remember our deal? Now let's hear it. Fine. Even still, we called it. Ah. That's right. Sin of joy or sadness or fear, they're all distinct, all very real. You know, I'm looking at darkly the source. Mm -hmm. all sorts of smells in the casino, other guests wearing perfume or cologne, granted not to the degree Yagami-san was. With so many scents in the air, how do you accurately sniff out a specific person's emotions? I can see their scent. Each one gives off a different color. Mm -hmm. See? But you got synesthesia. Uh, all the smells in the world just have certain colors attached to my mind. Even if I'm not facing the source, anything I smell generates a color in my mind. In other words, 
not synesthesia. I think I've heard a lot. It's when information received by one sense gets recognized in some way by another yes. sense. Example, numbers generating mental colors. Down something specific colors or, sm or smells. Very rare ability though. Uh, send information high Kawasan receives. Also sent. The part of her brain that processes visual input. So explain how she can see the sense that she smells. Uh, sounds about the same as how my doctor explained it to me. He said it only happens to 4% of the world population. Not entirely true. He told me that all humans have synesthesia when we're still near newborns. The information they're able to pick up. Imagine telling poker hands is a lot less guesswork than it is for other people. Sounds like we found the ultimate trick for professional gambling. See senses colors. Hey. Right, Kawa-san, there's one more thing I want to ask. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Did the professor assist you in getting your membership in the mm. casino? Only heard the rumors from the professor. He's getting pretty well known here. It doesn't have anything to do with this. Actually, my older brother's, oh, older brother's membership card. We may not be the same gender, but our faces are nearly identical. Huh? That's your brother. But your last names are different. Parents divorced. Brother moved out with my mom. He changed his name to my mom's maiden name. That's why his name's Mikitaka Makari. That explains it. Uh, does that mean this case was a dead end? Nothing to do with the professor whatsoever? Huh? Yeah, but I'm a Sawa Senpai. There's just one strange thing. Mm -hmm. What's strange? Kids who go bad, who have a certain sense of them, it's like this unique blend of rage, excitement, and guilt. Thing is, started swallowing this a lot more often in the halls of Syria than I did when I first started in high school. Going to bed and send up delinquencies sprang so quickly because of the professor. Sprung across the whole city like it appears to be. The professor could even be students beyond Syria that are being targeted by the professor. Um, uh, I know it'll sound rich from someone who faked their identity gamble in a casino. I'm no fan of the sense of delinquency. All the paths for too long, you'll wind up with the sense of a criminal. The MRC is here to help people like you find the right path before that happens. Alright. That's everything that we can do for now. We are story locked for dance, robotics, boxing, and biking. And whatever hell the hell this one is. We're story locked behind that too. But we finished the photography club, esports club, skaters, and the casino. This is the, probably the best way to get SP now. But that means we're finally done with school stories for now. However, we still have normal sub stories to do. But it's been seven hours. It's 8.30. I gotta eat dinner. Uh, my throat is killing me. That's it for today. Holy, it just took three streams to get through all of the school stories that they had for me. Oh, Lord. Uh, but yeah, I gotta head out now. I'm hungry, I'm tired, and this is a good stopping point. But thanks for having me shut up, I appreciate it. I've been enjoying this game a lot, I'm gonna keep enjoying this game a lot. We're finally gonna be doing, well, no, we're not finally, well, we are gonna finally be doing main story tomorrow. We're gonna start with the sub stories I have, but we're finally becoming a main story Marvin. Uh, so we're finally gonna fucking progress. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone, shut up, appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow, around the usual time of 1pm Eastern. Uh, remember to join the Discord. If you want to keep up to date with the streams, the best way to do that is to join the Discord. And the stream will take you there. Um, it's the only place I post, uh, stream announcements, updates, delays, cancellations, all of that. If you want to keep up to date, the best way to do that, join the Discord. Also, it's a good place... For uh, game recommendations, I'm always looking for game recommendations. If you have anything that you want to see me play, uh, post it there, you know? It's also just a place to hang out. Remember, join the Discord. Panel will will take you there. Uh, another panel will take you to the VOD channel. It's where I post all of my past content. Nancy Drew Tuesday, Disco Elysium, Yaxis 7 and 8. Uh, it is a hell of a lot more. There's so much of my past content is on that vlog channel. So if any of that sounds interesting at all, check it out. Panel Will Stream will take you there. Regardless, though, thanks for having showed up. I appreciate it. I hope to see you again tomorrow around 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and I hope you all have a good night, day, evening, rest of your day, whatever. Whatever time zone you may be, I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.